Hello and good evening everybody! Oh my, oh my, oh my! We're starting up the CPL Premier Finals of the first season with La Tabla Ronde and Forever Young coming up this year because um, they did have with a second game because um, last year bet between Christmas and I believe uh, New Year's Eve we did have the first game and La Tabla Ronde did manage to win it. Now um, we had some lobby difficulties as in um, misconfigurations and reconfigurations configurations and stuff like that bam, 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 bam. but we're getting this uh, going and uh, sooner or rather than later I do hope uh, we're actually gonna get the game started um, the links are being sent and the uh, game the players are starting to join and the bands are starting to come up in the players minds and so on and so forth you know all of that amazing stuff William Graham good evening sir and welcome we got Sean's in the house hello hello uh, S-P-R-G-R-L-S-D-N-T-C-R Buenas noches uh, sir and good evening um, Boomstick is a dope song thank you so much uh, sir and uh, welcome welcome I do hope uh, you enjoy your time with us star spanky bonus sarah domino is been even need harem charm hello hello in loving forever young over here we do definitely have uh, very very good players on both sides i do hope um uh, we're gonna see them, um, uh, of course, uh, rise to the challenge tonight, and we might actually see a, a third game. This is a best of three series, and um, I, as you, uh, as I said earlier, La Tablerón did manage to win the first one. I have a big question lingering in the back of my mind: exactly what happened in the first game? Because it's like it's been like two or three weeks since then and i'm oh my god i don't know if i know it you know what i mean like it i need to actually watch uh let me see if i can find it in a quick access here uh, i know i actually uh, did so, ta, 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 ta. oh i see it i have it i have it now uh, let me actually also um, say Hello to Del Piero 84. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Ulas, bonsoir, monsieur, bienvenue. And um, I do hope uh, you're going to enjoy your time with us. I'm not going to actually speak that much with um, in um, French, but I do try my best to uh, get some um, sentences going. Good and up and justice, and um, of course, uh, welcome. Always uh, amazing to see you here. Bazooka Rock, good evening, sir, and welcome, welcome. We do have also uh, Chokera, Chok. Chakela, Chakela. Uh, hello there, and thank you so much for uh, the follow. Uh, much appreciated for uh, for that in uh, the lobby here. Uh, let me actually also take a look. We did have uh, William Great, by the way. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome, welcome, sir. Uh, Don Kerko, bună seara, domnule. Și bine venit. Mazel Chen, good evening, good evening, sir. And indeed, I am a full-time streamer. I do my best to um, improve uh, around me. So, of course, uh, we get to all benefit from this. And I do hope uh, you guys are enjoying the entertainment. You guys are enjoying the show. And, of course, uh, you're going to come back uh, to another stream. Uh, Big Z, good evening, sir, and thank you so much for uh, that uh, first shout out over here. I do have to give you a shout out. Good evening, and I do hope uh, you're going to have a wonderful evening with us tonight. Looking at uh, what's uh, going on over here, uh, how many spots in the CWC does each league or country get? That's a good question. It is uh, usually up to uh, what did happen in the previous uh, seasons. Uh, sometimes you do have um, the winner spot, for example, it's allocated to the team that uh, won, and it's um, it, it kind of depends on uh, from where it is. Uh, then um, uh, we did have some slots allocated to uh, the Deutsche Liga. With the Deutsche Liga didn't actually start anymore, and they gave it to some and so on and so forth there's like multiple things that are going on um ideally we do have like three slots for uh, cpls three slots from for the french league three th three slots for um, uh, the um, uh, russian league and then um, we do have the Chinese, um, we do have um, uh, Brazilian uh, and uh, uh, Australia, for example, right now, and uh, so on and so forth. And uh, depending on who they give the slots to and so on and so forth, there's like a big mess. Depending on uh, where the players do want to go, we do try to uh, adapt to it. Thank you so much, Anonymous Gifter, for the five gifted subs. Much appreciated, sir. Sifcon, uh, wow, hello. Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated, sir. Uh, Lumatics, uh, hello, hello back. Bonsoir, monsieur, bienvenue. And um, I do want to say, I did see something over here. Oh, Lithoxa, good evening, sir, and welcome. 
we do have uh, the players in uh, the lobby right now and uh, as you can see uh, Sprig with uh, Demonar with um, uh, Roy and uh, wait a second uh, I, these are from different teams I'm pretty sure <laughs> so we do have on one team we got Pompey we got Sprig we got uh, Tirits and we got JR coming up tonight for uh, La Table Ronde um, then Oh, that's I, I believe that's the round table if I'm not mistaken on the other side we do have uh, Roy with Timonar with Vladimir and SQ I, I I'm not sure exactly who SQ is 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 it Swatik if I'm not I think he's Swatik because I see him in the channels and I think it's Swatik um it is okay there we go thank you thank you so much uh Ferno, good evening sir good evening hey look at that you actually got the logo oh my god yes yes amazing work by the way a big shout out to um uh whoa, 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 wait a second uh, is it Phileas uh who's doing the work let me actually check his name so i don't make a mistake over here but oh my god amazing work man we need more we need more definitely we need more uh, in the graphics we need more everywhere uh Phileas, yes the greatest amazing yes indeed amazing uh why is there a french uh, team uh here uh we do have yeah is there a french cast to not i don't believe so we didn't see any uh, french casters actually uh, uh wanting it uh so uh we have actually two english casters if i'm not mistaken it's me and kacheka on the other side um we do have to take a look at the map pool choices by the way it looks like in the top right part of the screen uh, they are starting to uh, pick and ban the maps here we got seven seas inland sea pangea primordial and continents and islands uh, right for the picking they did take out tilted axis or highland highlands i believe um now they took out the uh, inland sea uh, we do have a few more autobans than usual as autoban civilizations this is the cpl premiere and i don't believe uh, there were uh, that many um, uh, updates in the previous uh, period except the new civilizations that 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 did get auto banned until the players do get more experience on them to, to, to get to um, uh, take a look how the met meta evolves and of course bbg also has a chance to keep on you know mean maxing the bonuses over there so they do uh, try to get it to a, a better level um demonar is uh, telling us over there that cooper babylon mali are auto banned uh Tiritz is saying also uh, the new civilizations mapuche i don't believe it's auto banned again uh but uh, we can actually uh, double check or do we have um Manjack in the house that's a good question um also angie chimi good evening sir hello hello uh, lida is saying bbg bbs uh, mph and bsm are the modes indeed that we are using uh, that's of course a better balance starts a multiplayer helper better spectator mode and uh, the better balance game um we do use these mods as a pack so we get uh, the best experience for the multiplayer scene and of course it does allow us to have this awesome staging by the way with um the active bands the picks they they go in sequence and so on and so forth great work by jack the narrator a uh, big shout out to him by the way he made so much of this um uh, about a year and a half ago and since then we just started improving like this just was an enabler for the whole community uh, mapuche is still auto banned we got a confirmation over here by uh, linda and even though it did get a uh, nerf in the previous um uh, in the latest versions of uh, bbg looks like it's still auto banned uh, we do have uh, an active band phase here with uh, four bands on the map looks like uh, Cree, zulu kublai china and um no is that kublai china or is that mongolia oh, i always like mistake those colors i think it's china if i'm not mistaken and then we do have the goals uh, in the fourth one um art uh, 360 uh, what's the difference between cpl premier and the cwc is it two different tournaments with uh, same teams um there um so the cwc actually is um coming out of the cpl premier league of the cvfr squadrons of the tournaments the qualifying tournaments for the different other areas of the world and um, all only the best of the best teams the top of the top the cream of the cream do get into the cwc so you can say basically you do have um uh, some uh, teams overlapping between the CPL Premier League and, of course, uh, the CWC. Uh, but most of the time, you're going to see a much more diverse uh, environment when it comes to um, the, um, the CWC. Of, of course, we do our best to keep that uh, competition uh, going and we're going to need to see how um, uh, it's going. 
Yes, the CPL Premier League definitely needs a website. I know, I know. Uh, yes, not nearly enough visibility. Yes, yes. I, I was trying to integrate it in uh, the CPL.gg uh, website um, with, um, I would say, with a few things over there, but it's, yeah. It's an ongoing, we're going to need to get there. We're going to need to get there and we're going to get there when we get there. Uh, I was a bit worried for the first season that I'm not going to get uh, to invest that much time because it's not uh, it's, it's not about money or something, it's just time uh, into getting everything done. It does take a little while uh, to get going and keep updated. That's the that's the problem with the keep updated because you can't make it like that. That's not the problem. But when you actually need to keep updating it, uh, yeah. Um, we do have uh, Norway uh, coming up over here uh, in the sixth one. Uh, looks like um, uh, Dido also uh, is uh, on the fifth. And now we're going to see the picks. Hojo Tokumen is going to be uh, the choice uh, for Pompey. And since they did pick up uh, the seven Cs, I do have to, um, of course, say this is going to be um, uh, quite, quite, quite a possibility to have naval action. Naval action. Um, I need an intern. Yes, <laughs> I need. Yes, I need. I need. Uh, I'm fascinated how uh, different if six is in high level multiplayer than it is for me as a single player. But on deity, uh, when is the next leader pass pack? That's a very good question. I think it should uh, at least have a shout out on the 15th Sifcon, uh, um, and then we might actually have it on uh, like 20th. Uh, but that's just me uh, looking at uh, what they did in the previous. Um, months and just um, uh, deducing from that i do not know exactly when it was gonna be uh, another seven seas game brody barhead also good evening sir and welcome i do uh, also want to say you have to do one in yeah exactly okay uh, give me a second over here to put up the map i did see them actually picking two more civilizations one of them is spain the other one is victoria england so it looks like they are setting up for some naval warfare and funny thing is the last game we've seen on the seven seas and uh, that's actually Actually, from a few days ago when we saw um, when we saw COC uh, go against um, Ulysses, they did go on the seven seas, but they didn't actually get to fight each other on the seas. It was kind of a east versus west situation um, with a different kind of east versus west situation. Uh, and uh, they did get to actually sim, get their economic zones in the water and so on and so forth. They were quite uh, balanced out until the final punches came out and bam 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 we had ben over there going crazy against um against his neighbors uh, we did have uh, that diplo victory also uh, about to start the culture victory was push being pushed by ulysses and oh the last second bam diplo activates 20 out of 20 points uh, lots of victories on uh, if uh, seven seas indeed it is going to be quite a diverse map and i do believe uh, we're going to see some land aggression some um, early uh, naval aggression if they spawn uh, close to each other they do have two remap tokens and i gotta say guys i asked you earlier who knows how to spawn the best the answer surprisingly was the barbs really the barbs know how to spawn the best like we got we got two amazing teams over here and you say the the barbs okay okay yeah i understand okay uh spoon hello there sir thank you so much hello, everyone smile thank you so much sir let me actually take a peek over here why am i not hearing stuff okay there we go we do have Aztec as the next ban. Rome was the fourth pick by Sprig. Rome can be a naval map, a naval, um, um, I would say, a pick. And uh, we've seen uh, very, very good plays coming up from Task for Fish with uh, Rome. It showed us how uh, adaptable that civilization uh, can be. And of course, even if uh, he didn't actually get to be on the seas, oh my God, he actually withstood Basil the second aggression uh, with Crusade, with everything on him. Uh, we do have also Vinam uh, taken down. Uh, on uh, the seven seas of course uh, there is a possibility for them to pick the tantra civilizations and that is uh, quite surprising we don't see them picked or banned over here uh, we do have portugal in the ninth one and uh, i'm pretty sure somebody's gonna pick uh, canada i gotta say jr 
is a big Canada fan. Man, you know, like he's gonna fit in his own element if he picks Canada and he's gonna be like, boys, we got this. Oh, let me at him. Hold my beer. <laughs> we got Basil the second actually taken down uh, in the last uh, ban and uh, now we're gonna need to see the picks here. We got Roy, we got Tiritz, we got JR, Demona uh, needing uh, to get their civilizations going. I gotta point out something very important. These players are picking in order of importance of the civilizations, not in the order of how they will actually play or even be in the lobby it's still gonna be a one two two one two one one two um uh, spread but we do have them in different uh, we might actually have them uh, switch around the, uh, the respective slots so they do allow the players uh, uh, with the civilizations that do need uh, more um, um, priorities to go on top for those great people to go for those um, uh, wonders uh, and of course uh, be more competitive in the game uh, Roy is gonna go for lady six guy interesting choice uh, who are the best players in the lobby? Oh, that's a hard choice. They're in the finals. They're all best players. I can't even say, oh my God, you know, like uh, him is better than him and so on and so forth. No, every one of these players I've seen in... Um, um, the war stances in sim positions in uh, culture victory uh, positions and so on and so forth i do believe uh, all of them do have uh, amazing skill on them and it's very hard for me to actually judge that he's gonna be better than him and so on because there's always like in the civilizations like you always have you always have um uh, uh, some preferences of the players to go for a little bit more sim than uh, the war and uh, different timings and they are comfortable with this but not comfortable with that and so on and so forth but at the end of the game they do just you know average out so i do believe um the players over here are uh, quite uh, equal to each other. We're going to need to see who is going to manage to get the correct choices on this particular map with the information they have available. That is the trick over here. And of course, uh, the map is uh, quite important to that. How they use the um, information uh, warfare, how they're going to get to scout, how they're going to use that uh, vision um, and not to mention uh, what they see on their opponent's lands. Um, also, barbs are not on. No, Felier. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, nothing is worth uh, letting some, uh, letting someone else hold my beer. Too risky. They might steal some. I know, I know. But you, you know, sometimes you gotta do it. You know, <laughs> you, know you gotta do it. Looks like Tiritz is gonna go for Peter. Very interesting. Um, they're gonna give actually Peter to Jr. Ooh, okay. I mean, okay. I got. Oh, we got this. Jr. is gonna pick Catherine de Medici, the black. Queen as the last civilization in leader in the lobby, and Demonat is the one that needs to finish the roster for Forever Young. Now, of course, on one side, we're gonna have Philip II, Victoria, Lady Six, uh, so uh, yes, Lady Six Sky, and somebody that needs to be picked here. And on the other side, we will have Hojo Tokimun with a uh, Rome, Peter, and Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen. Demonat going for Teddy Roosevelt, the Rough Ride. Well, this kind of tells me we're gonna have some aggression over here we know with the rough rider so with um, that extra combat thing that you get when you reach uh, an individual era mm, yeah yeah <laughs> very nice very nice uh, who is the best player in, the best in its style oh that's a good question you know what i'm gonna leave this to the lobby here i am gonna leave this to the lobby like when we're gonna see style points you guys need to put the style points you know just put plus one the name style points and that's it we know who's actually gonna get it and then we can actually check it out at the end of the stream and see who did manage to get uh, the best style points when they do their moves when they get the scouts when they deny wonders when they get their own wonders when uh, so on and so forth there, there could be so many possibilities uh, Chokela, there is a CFR ranking made every month and players are not uh, that mad, they take it as a fun thing, indeed, um, it does, uh, it is made, I believe, by HashK, if you guys don't know HashK, I believe he is actually streaming right now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, let me see if I can do this, a big shout out to hash k there we go, there we go, yeah, he is doing that, um, Uh, a player list, a player ranking. 
Petit Pascal, good evening, sir, and welcome. Peyton96, thank you so much for the following and welcome in, sir. Uh, also, some players uh, prefer the SimCity, some players prefer the Science Push, uh, some like doing strong early timing attacks, some later attacks. Uh, there are just so many things, indeed, so many things, so many things. Uh, I believe we do have everybody here. Do have some questions for the players. Uh, who's asking who is the best? Uh, to rephrase the question, who is the most experienced or the best overall? Um, I mean, they're all experienced. Honestly, like if I open up their uh, Steam profiles, you're gonna see like thousands of hours on everybody. Uh, heard great things about uh, Falcon and Leech. Uh, I don't know. I'm. Uh, I heard from someone. Noob sixty four might be top one. I don't know. I'm new to the scene. Uh, hours don't matter. Fairly uh, does uh, give us a read. And I agree. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, hours. Uh, well, some players actually do have uh, different ways of acquiring and uh, some are faster than the others the tools available for uh, most of us uh, right now right here are a lot uh, more numerous than we had uh, back then when we were just learning how to uh, use the civilizations how to get the meta going how to use the units and so on and so forth uh, while uh, right now everybody learns from everybody else and it is much much faster um, Anto Sac, where are the teams from? Uh, one team, La Table Ronde, is from France. Uh, the other one is from uh, CIS, or I believe uh, Russia. Uh, I have uh, tons of hours because I don't uh, close the app and just leave it open in my computer while I'm not doing it. Does it count those? Well, I mean, it does count those, but you shouldn't count those to your experience. <laughs> um, Well, would it be a good measure to see, for example, uh, who won the 1v1s, who won the 2v2s? I believe that might uh, might give you a read who's, uh, who's the best players, but who are the best players. But even there, we uh, do have some names that keep on popping up. For example, like Distoria, he won like three of them in a row, like three hidden cups in a row. Yeah, I have a SIF computer that basically plays uh, SIFs for days on end by itself. <laughs> wow, wait, really? You just let your computer play against the computer? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so what do we have uh, over here? Uh, first map, I believe uh, we should actually uh, put up the map prediction over here. Who, where, how many remaps? And we're gonna go for two minutes over here really quickly. And we are on the seven seas. We do have uh, the civilizations um, uh, locked in. And as you can see, they uh, have started spawning. We're gonna talk about first uh, Rome. And since we're on Rome, that means we're gonna talk about La Table on the, on the right side. On the left side, we do have uh, Forever Young. Uh, lovely puddle. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. By the way, I don't know who's on the on the puddle, but I, uh, as it is quite big, I do hope uh, we got more than a few of them. Okay, we got France and we got Rome. Okay, I'm I'm in mean, Sprig over here. It's not gonna be happy with this. <laughs> oh man, he can settle those two cities, but he's definitely not gonna be happy with this. Uh, anyway, uh, looking at the Rome, he does have uh, Mondro Nima to the west side. We do have a uh, second city over here for Pompey that is um, gonna give him the tobacco tile from underneath and um, a bit of uh, extra faith. Uh, he could settle the um, cattle and then settle the um, geothermal to the south. We're gonna need to see what his decision is gonna be like. Um, uh, he might actually choose to move even though honestly if he moves uh, he's gonna need to spend a lot of gold to get back uh, his uh, two two tiles. Uh, and I'm not so sure Pompey wants to do this. 
Now we do have uh, in the south over here Paris, and this uh, gonna be his uh, ally. He did move on the T tile here next to it, and he's gonna get an extra science point. He does have a 3 2 banana that he can acquire, uh, and I can't actually answer questions. Oh my god, do we have any referees in the chat? Have any, any referees in the chat? Uh, I think JR needs to be answered here. Um, what are the rules for technical remap? I believe it is um, uh, on the seven seas uh, specifically to. Um, how to say, uh, you cannot settle three series in total before shipbuilding and uh, walking distance is like seven turns or something like that. But let me check because it might be three other series. Um, mm -mm, it's been a while since uh, I've seen. Uh, uh, CPL referee is the only one I'm missing, yeah? <laughs> uh, let me actually uh, take a look here because I know there was a uh, da -da -da -da, pin message with the rules. There we go. Uh, let me open them up. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, remaps, remaps. So, player can only set the two cities excluding capital, so three in total before ship building. Uh, if a player spawns six times, oh, uh, da -da -da -da, and she cannot settle the third city within seven turns. So, it's not a technical. Um, yeah, not a technical. This is where he spawned. I know, I know it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, mm. oh well. Um, he can settle four cities indeed, it just depends on uh, how long it will be. I'm pretty sure they're gonna, uh, well, they're gonna make, need to make a decision if they want to stay here or just, um, get a new map going this is one of the reasons why i should have uh, remaps uh, not only uh, spawning next to your uh, opponents but also like this uh, we do have uh, next up uh, to talk about uh, jr 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 is over here and looks like uh, with saint petersburg he's gonna get uh, two one base with uh, he could have had a possible actually two to two uh, he does have uh, one deer tile in the capital from what i can see and uh, i do see two twos so that actually gives him a decent amount of food generation here now not that bad but not ideal either he doesn't have a lot of thunder to work with and it doesn't look like his land to the north is that great can be worked don't get me wrong can be wrong uh, can be worked but it will uh, take a little bit of time for him to improve it and he might not be that happy about it it does seem like uh, Petit Pascal is uh, calling out a, a, a remap over here and honestly it kind of feels like a remap for uh, the French team. Uh, Tiritz on the other hand he's on the northwest he did get a culture settle uh, next to the marble uh, on the marble tile I mean and uh, looks like he's also gonna have uh, one to two to work here to the south a decent amount of coast uh, around uh, this puddle over here of his is gonna be close to America and I don't actually believe that's gonna be that big of a problem depending on how he is actually gonna want to get the um, development going on Kyoto we're gonna need to see what his uh, development path will be like harbor or holy sites and so on harbor or holy sites actually not so on uh, Japan and America on the same uh, continent uh, yes they are on the same continent Japan and America are on the same continent on the other side let's uh, quickly take a look Tiritz by the way just got a relic well Japan just got a relic uh, we do have over here London uh, is uh, Swatik uh, is gonna have another city to settle to the west side on another continent easy peasy trade route there and um, he does have a decent amount of uh, land to settle here could go for coastal trade routes with uh, America that's gonna be very nice I'm pretty sure uh, London is gonna have a lot of trade routes from those um, half coast harbors and I cannot talk uh, okay one second Uh, give me a second. What is it? This. There we go. Okay. I messaged one of the um, referees. See. Okay, uh, next up, uh, who do we have? Uh, Vladimir coming over here with the uh, webcam now. Um, 
and uh, from what I can see here it's gonna have a lot of honey but I don't see plantations over here this is a bit uh, a bit it's not ideal definitely not ideal for uh, Maya yeah, we do have him uh, pumping out a scout here and he does have a decent amount of uh, settles to go for but unfortunately without those uh, plantations uh, he's gonna have to build a lot of farms or, uh, to actually get going that uh, adjacency towards his observatories Uh, we can't send links in stream chat, but if you go to the uh, CPL and the uh, rules, uh, remaps, uh, and that is uh, actually the rules for, those are actually the rules for um, uh, CPL in general. I can share you the rules directly for the CPL Premier League. These are the rules for the CPL Premier League. And this, and this is the document I was uh, taking a look at earlier when I was in uh, Altab. I'm sorry if I uh, stutter a little bit uh, here and there, but I'm trying to uh, message and then get messaged and so on and so forth uh, to actually get um, the information going. Wow, good evening, bonsoir, bienvenue à tout le monde, Legion, merci beaucoup pour le, pour le raid, uh, thank you so much sir and welcome, hello, hello and welcome everybody, we are taking a look at the uh, CPL Premier Finals, this is the second game between La Table Ronde and... Um, uh, and uh, forever young they will need to fight each other to see if uh, we're gonna have a third game or not la table ronde did manage to win the first game and we're gonna see who's gonna win the second one and uh, we are trying to figure out if uh, there is a technical situation or not uh, we are uh, looking at this uh, right here and uh, Uh, hello Bernardo, bonsoir monsieur, bienvenue, bonsoir Paul Luz, hello, hello Anatol 005, hello, hello and welcome uh, um, Crispy, I had to step out for a couple of minutes but the last thing I heard was someone saying they let their computer play, yes, yes they did. Uh, give me a second, I think uh, we might have over here uh, somebody talking with them or giving them a, an idea. We're uh, waiting for this. Uh, we're waiting on a... yes. Um, why do you ghost them? I don't, I'm not ghosting anybody. I cannot... Um, talk to the players in the games as a caster so i need to talk with the referees the referees uh, will tell me what to do and i'm actually doing just that i am messaging and i'm waiting this is, these are the rules uh sean's uh what should i say oh 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 okay i understand uh, they uh, said something in general chat Uh, recap hello there uh, Rafifi and welcome so we did have uh, first of all uh, the map uh, chosen uh, seven C's uh, second of all as you can see over here in the top right part of the um, uh, oh two re oh my god okay we got two uh, both teams wanting to remap this okay both teams wanted to remap this uh, Josie 6 thank you so much for uh, the Prime and coming up with um, uh, the next part of the, re uh, the recap over here. We will need to see how uh, they're going to fare against each other on the seven seas. Uh, they did go f very, very heavy on uh, these coastal civilizations. Uh, we do have uh, Tirits on um, Japan. We do have Dimonar on Spain. Uh, looks like uh, we do have um, 
Swatic on England, but we do have uh, some of the civilizations that uh, can be uh, flexible, like uh, for example, Rome over there on Pompey. JR is going to be in the tundra, and I'm pretty sure uh, he is um, going to try to. Uh, get that tourism going while of course we do have Vladimir here with the extra science they did they were in a bit of a weird situation over here with the technical remap um, a question one of their players that did spawn on an island it wasn't that small of an island that he couldn't settle at least two cities actually he had the more than two um, more than three cities um, i think actually yeah other than the capital uh, even four other than the capital uh, and um and they did uh, try to call a referee. I did message as much as uh, and as fast as possible with the picture and everything uh, moderated so he knows uh, what's up over there. Uh, Burgal, double, uh, hello there, sir. WCG got second place in regular league season. Why not in the uh, final? I think uh, the second place is at the moment not actual, uh, if I'm not mistaken. They do need to uh, play the next uh, or this one. I'm not sure exactly what was done over there, but I believe at some point there was an uh, info piece. Uh, let me see if uh, I do have the info piece over here. Uh, Magic did talk about the uh, divisions uh, for the next season. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Okay, so the, uh, to determine the season one winner, uh, now the round robin is complete for division one. Uh, they did have a deleted role going against La Table Ronde. The winner will play one last ride. I don't know who that is. And the winner of that in final match versus uh, Forever Young, which of course is uh, right now happening. So they did uh, get a, like a mini tournament going over there for... Um, uh, for the uh, this um, final okay so different map different day different week uh, we do take a look over here on the west side uh, looks like uh, we do have uh, america roy uh, with um, new Nya continent uh, he is gonna be i want to see how close or how far away he's going oh wait this is russia oh the, yeah this is russia so he's gonna have an opponent over here in the south in the form of jr and i do see he's gonna have an ally over here on the east in the form of spain uh, we do have him with a decent amount of land to settle that's like he has a few mountains here on the west side and um uh, he might not actually get to uh, get those uh, coastal trade routes to um, Spain anytime soon. Uh, the land is locked over here. They have Granada to uh, take out, but in the meantime, well, I guess uh, land trade routes are going to need to work. Uh, we need to take a look at Spain also. He does have a scout coming up in three. A nice adjacency over here. Um, uh, between the geothermal the mountains and the other tiles he has uh, some uh, nice uh, plus four plus five um, campuses over there and i do see some bananas for the second series now uh, he did settle on uh, two continents actually he settled exactly with the city on another continent he has uh, borders in his borders another continent on the west side has a third continent to the northeast and i'm uh, pretty sure he's um, uh, gonna need to figure out exactly how he's gonna try to use that magnus and get that perfect um Bonus, those perfect bonuses going uh, we do have him with a nice second settle on the t-tile here on the northeast side and uh, looking at what's going on here oh i need to uh, click off click this off uh we do need to see if um yeah this is live by the way this is live this is because both of them went for a remap this is it they don't have any remaps anymore this was it and uh, i do want to take a look over here choose the outcome it was one remap actually and we're gonna need to uh, actually i just realized i need to talk about the uh, spawns in more detail now uh, washington is gonna benefit from um, an island to the southwest well i do hope he's actually gonna get campuses before that that is a plus three campus that the iron tile is sitting on that's a bit of a problem uh, he does have forces to the south here fourth ring though uh, he can't actually get go and settle them and uh, looks like and we do have um, uh, to take a look how he's gonna uh, plan out his expands. I do like the fact that he does have a tutu in the capital with the multiple tutus that he will acquire. Unfortunately, before he's actually gonna acquire a tutu without spending gold, he's actually gonna need to work a bit that 3 1 sheep tile. Not that bad, but still not great. The players at the beginning of the game do prefer uh, as much as possible uh, to have a balanced approach uh, between food and uh, production, so uh, not ideal, definitely not ideal deal here 
We do have uh, in the south, in the east, actually, Spain coming up with Madrid. He does have one iron tile uh, in two tiles away from his capital, but I don't see horses uh, around his uh, first si uh, city center. Uh, looking at the northwest, he's going to have some towards Granada, and he does have some uh, towards the southeast over here. Not really places that he would ideally want to go first. Uh, we do need to see also how they are gonna scout uh, this land. We do notice uh, that Demonar is actually gonna go first towards the south uh, with uh, the scout. So that means he's gonna reveal this land over here before he's actually gonna reveal the detail I was uh, talking about to the northeast. This might be one of the um, reasons he's gonna try to go south here instead of uh, the east. Uh, we do have uh, next stop let's take a look at england london is gonna have one big continent can settle a second continent to the north it is gonna be a bit of a stretch but can definitely go there uh, we do have him uh, pumping out the scout in one and it looks like he's gonna have a two to one tobacco over here with um uh, some horses to the northeast uh, he does have uh, some uh, deer tiles for the one threes and uh, multiple cities on this coast uh, on the same coast he might actually need to fight uh, pompey depending on how pompey decides to do this uh, we're going to need to see if um, uh, he is uh, actually gonna uh, go on land food land against uh, england or uh, try to um, settle the coast not really the best situation to have especially when you have um, uh, ve such a close proximity between um, your nation and the opponent nation which is you know navally prone oh i don't know about that man <laughs> yeah uh, it is a good temple of artemis on uh, viki we're gonna need to see if he actually wants to uh, do that uh, japan and viki are on the same seas they will fight each other at some point and uh, we do see that blue color over there to the southwest well, uh, first i do want to um, uh, just keep on watching uh, forever young and then we're gonna see la table ronda um the horses are gonna be the two tiles out uh, from london we do have an iron tile to the southeast where he does have a few reef tiles uh, plus three Royal Navy dockyard in the capital with as you can see two scouts three scouts that he popped out of his capital going for a settler next um, on Vladimir we do have him this time with uh, this uh, one big continent but he at least has some bananas to work with here uh, that's like he's also on the tea tile continent and uh, that is a uh, tea and tobacco okay so multiple uh, types of plantations will be available for him to um, e improve and get the bonuses towards his uh, observatories that will give him more size <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that i'm sorry uh, we do need to see also how he's gonna plan out these settles unfortunately the mountains do take out a little bit of uh, his um i would say of his territory over there to the northeast a few tiles that could be used in something else oh thank you thank you uh, spoon also telling us rome and spain might also end up on that sea uh, yes that could definitely happen we're going to need to see uh, how uh, they're going to plan out uh, this um, this development uh, on uh, web camp down we do have horses in the first ring looks like uh, iron tile is going to be second ring over there to the north and um, uh, in the meantime you do see the builder starting to scout a little bit uh, over here with uh, the warrior and so on oh that was a close call it's good thing that the builders don't die anymore uh, we do have vladimir with five science at the moment with two culture and definitely will need to get uh, some culture with that science but he you know he's my he's going to get a lot of science anyway doesn't really need to uh, care about uh, the fresh water that much and uh, from what we see over here uh, he does have uh, that place for the um, octagon on the other side we do have um, sprig Catherine de Medici is going to be right next to uh, Maya and it looks like the continent split is going to favor Maya here uh, France is not actually going to get uh, that um, ability to attack with uh, its unique unit uh, sprig is gonna get to benefit from some turtles in the cattle not really rushing them he does have an amber tile for an extra culture point and i do see um multiple uh, two twos uh look he does have an iron tile over here to the east uh, three tiles out with a horse also uh, in four tiles out a bit unfortunate that he can't actually get that horse uh in the southwest we do have um, him uh, able to settle another city which will allow him to get more culture going a very nice by the way two uh, coffee tiles right next to each other uh, it's gonna allow uh, france over here to get a little bit of boost uh, just 
just a tiny bit. Uh, we do need to see where is he actually going to move uh, with the first settler. And I do see him uh, pumping out three scouts from his, from his capital. He does have Vladimir to the west to worry about. And uh, he did just meet him. We do also have Tirits in the south here of uh, Maya. Well, uh, Tirits is uh, actually going inland. He is going inland. We do have him with another settler in production from London. He just got his reef fish improved. And you do see he's actually moving his uh, settler towards uh, the river instead of actually going on the coast. Uh, well, Japan over here does have some 1-3s in the capital. The fact that he can couple them with the fish will give him the nice uh, boost uh, in his uh, population growth to work with that extra production. And uh, that's actually going to help him um, uh, quite a bit. I'm a, a bit curious where does he actually wants to want to settle. He can settle the cattle. He can uh, go and settle to the north over there uh, next to those bananas to get the extra food. And it looks like, yes, he is choosing to go to the north for that marsh style. Um, I was thinking maybe... You know, maybe it's better to go on the banana, but I guess that's another turn, another life. Yeah, you, you should be careful with this. Now, uh, he's actually going to get quite close to Maya. There is a possibility for him to do a samurai timing, which is going to put a lot of pressure on um, Maya, especially if we also have France coming in uh, from the east side. We've seen it multiple times how um, uh, there is a possibility, especially at the beginning of the game, to uh, try to push your opponent. And uh, because of the meta or how they call it, uh, we uh, do see the players uh, getting caught out of uh, position with uh, not enough time to get their, to their classical units and uh, put up a dec decent defense. Uh, we do have uh, Kyoto on a T-tile over here. Yeah, that's a T-tile underneath. He's getting a bit of extra science. He does have his island in the third ring. Horses are going to be also in the third ring from the capital, but second ring from the second city. Uh, so uh, much easier to acquire from that. Uh, next up, we do need to take a look at Pompey. Pompey is on the peninsula to the southwest of England. And it, Oh, no. Well, I guess it's fine. He's, he's going to settle. He's going to settle. He's going to do... Okay, he's, it's fine. It's fine. Now, okay. Now we do have uh, England coming up over there with uh, the scout from the north, but it's uh, three turns away from actually uh, getting even close to Ostia. Uh, we just saw him put down the city, and of course he did reveal the scout. Um, Bombi does have over there a warrior to actually help out with a possible defense, and we do see uh, him uh, going for campuses first. He does have an iron tile between his two cities. His horses are going to be a bit too far away for comfort. He does have another setter coming up in two, so that might actually go for these horses. Uh, going for uh, only plus two campuses over here from both uh, cities is going to allow him to uh, get a, uh, quite a strong uh, pen brush and voice uh, gold range. And from what I do see, he's going to have to contest to, uh, Spain on the same seas as well. So that's definitely not an ideal placement for um, Rome. Uh, he did see what's going on over here in the city of Madrid. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to be happy to figure out that his uh, only option of the expanding is going to be to the north, to the northeast towards England. His coast is not going to be available for um for colonizing uh, JR is also with 4 and 4 looks like um, in the south he is going to get a decent amount of tundra to work with this is actually very nice land oh Torres Torres del Pain oh my god that would be very nice very nice I, man let's hear it chat let's hear it how good is this Torres from a 1 to 10, how good is this Torres? You've seen so many Torreses. I go, I'm going to need to bow down to the wisdom of the chat over here. Send me your thoughts. <laughs> it's a 10, it's a 8, it's a 4, it's a 6, it's a 3. Oh my god, it's a 3, it's a 5. Oh, <laughs> so okay. So we're going to go on the average. It's a 6 out of 10. We're going to go, oh my god, a minus 1, Marus. No. <laughs> yes, yes. With, of course, for Russia, he's going to get an extra point of production over there. Uh, we do need to see how fast it is going to get settled. Does he even know about it? That's the biggest question here. Does he know about it? No, he didn't scout. He didn't scout. Man, oh man. Can you imagine? It's going to take a while. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while to get that. 
da mori tier <laughs> uite mai a fost a mori tier we might also bonsoir da mori pia veniu monsiu malus good evening sir good evening uh, taxo es nul capa hello there sir and welcome welcome small soldiers hello <laughs> bolbuș hello hello We do have um, Goddess of the Hunt here as a Pantheon for uh, Russia and uh, we do have some Lavras coming out over there from uh, Astakhan and St. Petersburg. He is going to try to get that early religion or the only one who's actually making great profit points at the moment. Uh, Tirith is going for uh, Celestial Navigation. That means he is going to go for Harbors and not um, Holy Sites. Means he is up to some shenanigans over here. We might see some form of an attack uh, early on against Maya. Uh, in the cities of uh, Russia, we do have uh, horses already improved he does have another tile to improve there um uh, underneath that settler underneath that slinger i'm sorry and um looking at his um, uh, early choices here going for the goddess of the hunt pantheon does give him two four four tiles to work to work with uh, two three four over here in the south and uh, he does have another deal tile to improve in the southwest but it is after the mountains which poses a bit of a challenge it will take so long to get a builder there like they, man that builder that builders 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 ancestors will actually get to improve the deer tile that's how long it will be in actual times you know like we're gonna have like hundreds of years pass when he leaves St. Petersburg and gets to that deer tile. Now on uh, the last one we do have uh, Tirith to uh, take a look. Oh wait, we did take a look at Tirith. Sprig, Sprig. We did take a look at Sprig. That's everybody? That is everybody? What are we missing? Iron? Oh, Iron over here in Astrakhan. That's uh, gonna be two tiles out from Astrakhan and that's about it. Uh, let's go 3T. Good evening. Good evening, sir. It's ghost. It's ghost. That's how I need to pronounce that name. Thank you so much. Or Z Ghost. Z Ghost does sound better actually than Z Ghost. Uh, winner prediction. Yes, winner prediction. We do need to put it up on the screen here. Uh, manage prediction, start prediction. Who will win? Uh, we do have on one side Forever Young, on the other side La Table Ronde. And I do have to uh, put 30 minutes. So let's go. While I do want to put uh, really quickly on um, the team labels. On uh, the left side, we do have uh, Forever Young, and then it's going to be FY. There we go. On the right side, we do have LTR. That's a La Table Ronde, the round table. There we go. Okay, so we're good to go now. We can actually talk a bit about the city states, their moves, and so on and so forth. Since we've seen the position of the players, we've seen uh, the different uh, positions of the teams over here and uh, their early moves uh looking at uh, what's going on here uh, looks like buenos is uh, gonna give the builder to uh, jr jr is gonna try to get it back to his land and of course uh, gonna uh, try to make something with it we do have him uh, getting moksha established in st petersburg in five and uh, getting another settler in two not really rushing the religion yet he's gonna take his good old time to discover it uh, on washington we do have lady of the reeds and marshes as a pantheon chosen he has a decent amount of uh, flood plays that i can see to improve and uh, well curiously enough he did go for a plus one campus over there it does look like cincinnati did also put down a plus one campus and charleston might actually go for um, a commercial here soon we do have um, a builder coming up from charleston is gonna get to improve the horses with it and i don't see uh, a need to actually buy that many tiles at the moment he does have a decent amount of uh, tiles acquired in the cities for what he is working on spain though we do have city patreon goddess on uh, those uh, two continents or three cities and it does seem like uh, he definitely is going for campuses first this is going to be a lot of science from the extra jcc he's uh, benefiting from these um um geothermal fissures uh, we do have him also going for the monuments he does need something uh, to actually give him the culture alongside that uh, science and as you can see over here he is going to get um, three of these campuses very early on the fact that he is also on two continents does allow him to get the double yields from the traders uh, he's going to get a lot of gold with um, that production and the food here 
Dimonar is only on uh, five signs with four culture. He does have uh, the most production in the game here with 31 production per turn. And uh, we do see him uh, pumping out these uh, campuses extremely quickly. He does also have a galley also being produced from Valencia. He does want to see exactly how the land looks like to the south. If there is a possibility to uh, attack one of the Roman cities and if uh, he can get there very, very quickly. We do have uh, also London with the God of the Sea already acquired. Uh, looks like uh, he does have two fish tiles improved to the southwest and the trader coming up from uh, that city center. Um, we do have uh, two two in the city of Leeds and uh, I do see a settler coming up over there in the north. Um, with the tobacco tile acquired from the beginning, of course, he did manage to get the faith uh, much faster than everybody else. Uh, I can't really say he has a lot of coastals. Uh, the resources but he does have a decent amount of them uh maya 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 going for oh plantation pantheon oh goddess of festivals oh yeah he is gonna get this um culture coming up from his plantations and as you can see that actually gives him um an extra point over here for each of these um improved uh, of culture we do have him also putting down his observatories to get the science so nine science and five culture now i can't say that's a, like amazing science adjacency for these um, observatories like only plus twos here and there um but he is um, going to get a lot of them very, very quickly. And that is going to be important. Uh, we do have also Demonar building that first galleon. I believe it's pumping out from Valencia here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, going to move to the south. Um, on Japan, we do have religious settlements as a pantheon. He is uh, trying to... Well... I, I wanted to say he's trying to prepare himself for a lot of uh, cities. But then I remember like he's so close to Maya... He might not want, I mean, he might actually spend a lot of production into that warfare and religious settlements is just not going to be uh, that important at the beginning to give you that extra, uh, those extra points of uh, production towards your settlers and so on because you're not going to use them. But, you know, that might be a snatch away from your opponents here by Tirids and uh, he's still going to get uh, the bonuses a little bit later on when he's going to try to improve. He does have a decent amount of land to settle on uh, the east side, a uh, bit of land to settle on the west side. But but I'm, I'm not so convinced he wants to trade punches with England. They do know what's going on here. Rome does have a scout right in the London East City. And they do know they're on the same coast. I am not that... Um convinced that Japan is going to try to go for a caravel timing. If he goes for Samurais, that is going to be a bit uh, hard to handle when it comes to the gold. And even the actions per minute of the player is going to be hard to hold. Uh, Riklum, good evening, sir. Uh, does anyone know why Maya is played in competitive? Because it does get a lot of science, a lot of uh, a lot of it fast, and you can't manage to keep up with most of your opponents. It is a very defensible civilization. At the beginning of the game, it's quite hard to actually push through it. It does benefit from uh, extra. Um, uh, damage points when it comes to the defense a very good opening uh, unit with the Hulche uh, the replacement archer which as you can see it's uh, gonna need to be upgraded here from a slinger uh, so all in all it does have quite a few bonuses uh, England lost a settler wait it did no I don't think so he has three cities it, it just took a while to get to settle this city to the uh, to the north i guess that's why he didn't uh, appear of having three cities uh, Chapelis, good evening sir Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we do have uh, France also with fertility rights. He got a free builder and uh, he's using it to improve some of the farms over here. He does have uh, wheat bonuses uh, and I do see uh, the cattle is getting that extra food. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see him improving his uh, coffee tiles uh, right away. Looking at Sprig, uh, he's going for currency and stake workforce. I can't say I can uh, see at the moment if he has uh, the ability to improve the plantations. He does need irrigation. So, you know, that, that's not something the players actually want to rush that early. Um, well, not all of the players. Some players, wink, wink, under the gun, would definitely want to go for um, uh, irrigation. And we do have pearls also available for him to improve the fact that he is going to get uh, one amber tile, one turtle tile, one pearl tile is going to give him... Um, a bit of a happy uh, empire over here. The happiness level is going to be at least at content. And that is going to be quite important. There we go. He just went into happy uh, for uh, the city of Paris. Very, very important to uh, get that early bonus. 
or not be, or not actually have a penalty uh, good afternoon home all hello there sir and welcome Gathy Anthony hello Patriot of good evening good evening hello sir how are you doing how is everybody doing um, in, uh, da, 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 da. okay now we do need to also take a look at America with those uh, I'm oh, I'm actually quite curious what is he going to do with these early campuses and yes there we go in Charleston he did go for a commercial here on the horse style didn't even discover animal husband interesting and I do see him getting a few slingers out uh, Buenos Aires could be right for the taking it is um, going to allow him to get another city there on the fresh water towards the southeast towards the mountains and I'm pretty sure he's going to try to lock in Russia uh, Russia 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 oh my god it didn't figure I really hope he figured that out. Like honestly, it doesn't look like he figured that out, but I really hope he did. Okay, guys, let, let's hear some yes and no's over here. Did JR discover Torres? He sees it, you think? You think he see? Well, he did. Oh, yeah, he did see it. He did see it with uh, Novgorod, right? When he settled the city. Never mind. He did see it with. Uh, he settled the city. Yes, yes. It's the three one, right? I mean, yeah, but oh my God. Yeah, there we go. He sees it. Never s didn't settle it. Oh, um, okay. I guess you know it will take a while. So many of these yields wasted over here. Like you see that, and you know it's like those eyes. You see, you know how in the cartoons you see those eyes with the casino eyes, and ding 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 ding. ding, ding. That's exactly the yields over here. You see the food, corn, and then you see another one, and you see the production. You know? Oh my God. Anyway, we're we're gonna see probably another settler here soon. He does have a Temple of Artemis coming up from Saint Petersburg. He's gonna get the extra amenities in that city center, not to mention the food and uh, the housing. Very important to have a healthy capital over here on uh, Russia. Uh, he's gonna need a lot of settles. Uh, not to mention, he's gonna need a lot of uh, faith. I do see Demon are actually benefiting from faith for faith. Uh, turn. Does he have a relic or something? Where the, oh, oh, no. Where did he get that? No, he doesn't have a relic. Interesting, uh, interesting, interesting. Now we do have him uh, with uh, some movements coming out of his cities. His um, Gani is coming uh, out in the south here, and he's gonna start to um, take a look at these amazing pastures uh, of Rome, where Rome did pick up uh, open sky. He's gonna get an extra culture point on each of these, and you do see he already improved three of them. Could actually go for more. He has a horse style here in the south, but that's about it. But still, that's a bit of extra culture. Very nice. Uh, he did get his uh, third city put early on a horse style, unfortunately, that actually, um, uh, well, denies him the opportunity to get another culture point and i do see quite a few builders coming out from his cities uh, also two settlers ostia and uh, rome are both uh, getting settlers out and uh, we do have uh, moksha establishing in ostia while rome does also benefit from magnus uh, over here going for those internals doesn't actually have uh, anywhere to go for external so uh, that's a bit bad uh, rome is uh, bad he can't settle coast yeah a faith from the trader plus four continents uh, split oh, oh right 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 that's that's what it is that's what it is yeah 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 um hmm, two, two foot to gold oh yeah that was the comment on uh, torres the two foot to gold yeah okay so city states what do we have in this in the game we got bologna and mitla coming up for the science city states uh, looks like uh, one of them will be on the coast over here mitla uh, between uh, japan and england and we're going to need to see who's actually going to get there to uh, spot it at the moment uh, there's no vision from forever young and i don't see any vision from uh, japan on mitla so that uh, will need to be revealed a little bit later in the game uh, we do have um, also bologna bologna is going to be very very, very far in the north and again it is not actually going to be in the pathway of uh, some of these uh, Jap uh, scouts it's going to take a while until somebody is going to reveal it or maybe it's going to reveal itself uh, trying to scout out the land a Mogadishu with Pandar Brunei and Zanzibar are going to be for the trade bonuses uh, we do have a few uh, attacks over here between America Russia and Spain nothing major you know but worth pointing out uh, looks like 
uh, Zanzibar is gonna be next to Japan, very close to Japan, and can be acquired, can be worked very nice. Actually, extra amenities is always, always gonna be good. Uh, we do have um, Kyoto content, content, content. Okay, Takamatsu and Shizuoka. Granada with a cat will be the ones for military bonuses. So we do have Antananarivo coming up for culture. Antananarivo is uh, gonna be. Oh, over here? Wow. Okay, I mean, he might actually spot America, or America might actually spot one of these galleys. We'll see when it's gonna actually appear there. Can it? Oh, yeah, he does have a connection. He needs to go all the way around. Even France might spot it. Uh, we do have Buenos Aires as a um, single industrial city state, which might actually uh, go poof in the air because America is uh, relatively close to him. He could just get uh, two or three horses. Bam! Goes uh, Buenos Aires, another city for America. Uh, Armag with Yerevan will be the ones providing the religious bonuses, and I'm pretty sure JR is um, uh, gonna uh, try to um, uh, soothe them so he gets uh, extra faith points uh, we do have uh, arrived at, oh Singapore actually wait a second there's another one there is another production city state over here Singapore in the north of Maya okay I mean that works uh, I can't say it's that big of a city but definitely can work yeah Singapore is industrial too thank you thank you yeah definitely I for some reason like I totally blocked off that first um, first city state there Uh, we got commercials coming up from uh, France. Uh, Spring is going to try to get uh, those trade routes going. And of course, uh, there will be a race for the merchants with America leading the way now with uh, one great merchant point at 10. On the science screen, we do have uh, also Spain and uh, Maya coming up with three scientist points. Rome is 2.3 and uh, America on one. Uh, Maya is going to try to get that early Hypatia. It's not yet uh, revealed. We do have uh, Zhang Heng as the next great scientist. And uh, they, they might actually go through one or two or three, even three of them to get to Hypatia we're going to need to see who is actually going to get those up usually the one that wants to go for Hypatia and you know there are quite a few of them um, will pass so he tries to get the next one uh, Kyoto is going to put his government plaza next to the mountains here he's going to get the extra adjacency bonuses towards his uh, harbors and I do see him um, uh, benefiting from a very strong campus if he wants to uh, looking at uh, what uh, going on over here okay i'm sorry my my phone gets beeping under my feet over here under my yeah there we go um mm -hmm. Uh, can you show if it is uh, going to find us? Yes, below him. That's a very good question. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Vicky, 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 Vicky. This you mean uh, a cat or uh, Mitla? Mitla looks like uh, it's he's getting there. He, he does have a galley out and he's moving to the southwest. Uh, it does look like uh, slowly he's uh, getting here. Uh, the esteem rallyon uh, that is yes indeed that is amazing of course uh, welcome everybody uh, we do have uh, Rome getting a scout out in the mainland of uh, England he is uh, trying to figure out what's going on here how is uh, England actually developing his land and um, what are the weaknesses uh, looking at um, uh, looking at uh, the three cities that uh, England is uh, benefiting from at the moment he's gonna have a fourth one and he did put a city uh, to the north not really on another continent but it is on another sea he's starting to uh, scout over there because he did get his um, early Royal Navy dockyards uh, giving him a free boat and there we go he just got uh, Birmingham I, I'm actually a bit surprised he didn't go for the stone tile to the northwest so he gets a free trader uh, capacity no well uh, he does have a few builders coming out of his uh, cities and I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to defend himself against Pompey while uh, Pompey is getting builders out he's um, uh, trying to focus his empire for, with audience chamber in his uh, government plaza and I do see him uh, already benefiting from a decent amount of science and culture on 12 and 18 
versus England's 8 and 14. Uh, we do have him with a bit of a lack of gold here and I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to get uh, some commercials at some point. We don't have the same strategies as we've seen yesterday, uh, two days ago actually by Test for Fish with the four encampment opening, uh, but we definitely have a possibility for him to go on encampment and you do see him actually placing it down from Ostia. Uh, that is uh, gonna give him the opportunity to get um, general out and uh, use that general to uh, defend himself and or uh, attack his opponents uh, there is a possibility that he could actually end up um, going against London at, an, uh, at the next stage of the game in the next stage of the game uh, Spain building granaries no oh no come on he's not building granaries man he's building monuments oh my god what gave you that idea was it valid no 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 he built one in Valencia. I think he it was a misclick, guys. It was a misclick, you know. I'm pretty sure Dimona knows the way over here. It was a misclick. Major river flooding coming up uh, somewhere. I can't actually see where. Um, I do see America is also settling Baltimore to the west side. He's going to get that fourth city uh, working for him. He does have a campus uh, just being put down, a plus three. And uh, we do not see him yet actually improving his um, uh, strategic resources. He did settle on one. No, he did not settle on one. No, he. we do have... Oh, wait, no. So no horses improved whatsoever. He did get that 50 on the east side on uh, Philadelphia. And I don't see a horse. Oh, horses. He did settle the campus on horses. I wasn't seeing it because of Charleston. Okay, there we go. He has uh, horses uh, underneath that uh, commercial and Baltimore is um, in range of that iron tile. So it's the captor. He just needs to get a builder and improve the strategic resource. I did notice horses coming up from JR. Uh, it, it might uh, give him the opportunity to take uh, Bandar Bunei altogether and even uh, get some pressure on America from an early stage. Uh, but Torka, thank you so much for uh, the follow, sir. Do I really need to explain that you have to build a granary on a coastal if you don't go harbor first, have no other housing source? But do you need to? He's four. He's four pop, bro. <laughs> do you need to? Ah. Oh. No, no, come on, man, it did, you know, like you get, you improve resources, anything else, not a granary, not pre time 50, you know, anyway, we do have uh, the encampment coming up from Ostia, it looks like Pompey is uh, settling right in the face of England, blocking another settler here from uh, Swatik. He does have uh, another settle to the northwest and that actually will expose his empire to two uh, possible attacks uh, on a front on the London east side to the northeast and a front towards uh, Spain to the northwest not really an ideal placement over here for Pompey but I can't say he has uh, that many opportunities to get out of this he's gonna need to uh, see if um, both of his opponents are gonna try to build an army and or pressure him while I'm pretty sure uh, both uh, are thinking exactly the same you know like let's keep Keep Pompey as much as possible in that uh, area, in that peninsula, so he doesn't uh, get big and, um, you know, just use our positioning of the cities rather than our armies to keep him um, in check. I don't think Pompey is gonna want to take that, you know, he's, he's gonna try to punch his, his um, uh, enemy out of here and we're gonna need to take a look how this is gonna evolve. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be um, uh, getting an army soon and uh, will test the um, English defenses and or these uh, Spanish defenses. Uh, Lu Kang, good evening sir, I think it could be a great play if it forces uh, them to deal with him and leaves naval potentially for Japan later, definitely that could be an opportunity. Uh, I, do, uh, I do think so myself, I do believe uh, we should actually see some form of a naval fight, but I gotta say on the other side, there's the same thing happening on Japan. He w might need to go against Maya here and looking at uh, how close he is to the Mayan cities. Uh, he's going to need to make a decision relatively quickly. At the, big, at the moment he did go for those harbors, going for those um, uh, I would say theater squares, I do see him chopping his audience chamber out uh, as soon as possible so he gets the bonuses uh, throughout his empire from these uh, great, uh, from these um, uh, governors established. We do have him uh, getting some uh, more lighthouses and started to 
discover the west side did anybody meet mitla yet nobody met no nobody okay not yet not yet that's the correct answer uh maya in camon well uh, yeah there we go i mean he knows he knows he's gonna get pressured from two sides france is over here on the east and we do have um japan in the south japan has a very strong timing when it comes to those samurais but i can't say i see um in camon being put down he's actually going to focus his empire towards uh, generating more stats rather than anything else and since we do have uh, the golden age started we can, do need to talk about uh, each of the golden age uh, chosen by the players uh, so i think with um England did go for a Pembrush and Voice uh, Golden Age. We do have uh, Oligarchy coming up over here. Uh, looks like uh, Teddy Roosevelt, America, Pembrush and Voice uh, Golden Age. Uh, we do need to uh, also take a look at his empire. He is not actually putting down his government plots yet i don't see it i do see more of these campuses coming out i see another commercial over here from cincinnati and uh, he is uh, maxing out his uh, markets to get those trade routes to get those merchants there still is an ongoing race over here for the early great people while uh, spain is getting very close to the next uh, scientist we do also have america there and the rome coming up really quickly from behind maya does need a project and uh, i don't see a project coming out I'm actually very surprised we don't see a uh, government plaza here from America just to put it down for the sake of putting it down uh, and uh, with this might be his government plaza uh, very surprising fact that he did go for this commercial instead of this com well, anyway we'll see we'll see how Roy Roy must have a plan like I'm pretty sure he's thinking he's doing the math over there and he wants to see okay how am I gonna place that spaceport you know at some point in the first 20 turns you need to figure it out that's the most important question of your life of your game where is the spaceport uh, we do uh, take a look at um, also Demonar here with a pen, brush and voice, uh, Golden Age on uh, Spain. Uh, he does have uh, four cities with that city Patreon goddess specializing his empire with audience chamber. He did place down his government plaza so he gets more adjacency towards the campuses. So he's going to have a plus four campus over here, another plus uh, four over here to the west side. While he could ideally get a not, oh my god, he can't. Oh yes, he can. He can put a non freshwater city here and get another. Um, campus over here to the west side it is three tiles out uh, looking at the um, uh, demonar with 26 science and 26 culture he's uh, checking along he does need more traders working for him in the city centers um, of course uh, going towards the magnus internals uh, we do have him plugging in moksha in the capital and from what i do notice uh, he is uh, not that aggressive doesn't have that many units to defend and or attack with Vladimir is going for apprenticeship. He does have a classical republic as a government, and I do see him with uh, four cities uh, going for audience chamber as a specializing building of choice, and even uh, settling face first into uh, France over here next to the mountains. He's going to try to get the positioning on his opponent. Unfortunately for him, he's uh, going to get further settled by Sprig as well by France, and you do see that uh, France is uh, trying to get over the rivers here with a scout, so he can um, make a create a staging post for those uh, upcoming attacks uh, Maya did prepare himself with um, an encampment that is going to be giving him an extra point of generals and he could try to get the um, projects in so he gets everything um, he didn't have bronze working and couldn't place it on the river oh you mean yeah but he did place it here look oh, I, yeah, yeah he did place it here I still don't know why well I guess sure bronze working like you said but oh man that just you know takes a, a lot from its adjacency anyway I guess merchants are more important at the beginning yeah discounts for sure exactly <laughs> I pay got recruited by America oh Morica we got a Roy over here getting that free library and an extra point of science for each of these libraries very important at the beginning of the game not so much at the later stage but anyway it is a good bonus to have uh, throughout the game it's two gold versus two science you mean here uh, I guess oh we do have um, 
a defensive force a screen coming up from Spring. He did notice that Pompey has started chopping out these uh, horses. We do have uh, multiple ones uh, coming up over here. And uh, from what I do notice, um, Rome is going to need to get at least one great general project. Is at the moment focusing his efforts on getting more horses out rather than a uh, general. So he gets an extra plus five for each of these units. The warriors for some time will be able to withstand the attacks. He, uh, Pompey will need to choose his targets carefully and uh, try to go around to uh, do as much damage as possible with those units. I do have uh, also G Sprig over here with Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen, on five cities. Uh, he does have... Um the campus is coming out of his cities and I do see his government plots. I did already build the audience chamber. Uh, he, he's um, gonna get a few more of these markets. Oh, wait. Hello? Oh, I guess uh, it, it, that's the location. That's, you know, very important, guys. Very important. Location, 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 you know? Oh, man. Have you guys seen the ventriloquist with the skeleton? Yeah, it's very important. Location, location, location. That's the first thing, you know. Uh, I guess they decided, Roy, we'll probably get to see him and Maya won't. Yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, Roy, I'm pretty sure, might have a uh, hands full over here at the later stage with uh, Russia. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Pompey with five cities is uh, with a pen passion voice uh, golden. She does have 18 science with 35 culture. Minus three gold at 10 because of the, all of that army. And uh, he's working on getting a few more commercials out. Uh, I do see the libraries also coming up from Rome. And uh, bu more builders. 51 production at the moment definitely going towards uh, english territory uh, to uh, force out some upgrades here from england at the moment i do see england is barely making two uh, iron at all but he does have demonar and the uh, vladimir generating iron as well so that should be fine for him or putting down an encampment here from leeds he's going to get the opportunity to also recruit one of those generals on jr nine science 24 culture did actually establish a religion and still needs to go for the big torres del pain totally ignoring this wonder by the way uh, he doesn't want those two four tiles man doesn't want the two four tiles we do have um uh, Russia managing to establish that religion Buddhism uh, going for pen uh, for wow uh, feed the world with uh, she shrines and temples providing him the food and the housing we do have a lay ministry uh, holy sites and theater square districts in the following city will provide him um, the plus two faith and plus two culture respectively we do have a war declaration wow Zanzi Zanzi is very aggressive got recruited here oh I see Zanzi gonna die Zanzi is definitely gonna die here. Okay, the horses are already going towards that city center. I'm pretty sure we all know what's gonna happen there. Uh, we will see big full Irel riders attack. Yes, Bandar Bunair looking too strong. Where is Bandar? Wait, Bandar? Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, you're right. Oh, Bandar Bunair. I think justice said it perfectly these city states in the desert man they're so good then you know they're so good yeah definitely zanzi is the one of the best city states uh, we do have uh, st Petersburg also getting uh, hanging gardens he did put down his first uh, theater square over here from the second city and uh, he's uh, gonna benefit from that uh, 40 faith attempt to develop his empire does have a settler coming up from novgorod and this might actually be the torres del pain mega city yeah you know if anybody got to see judge dread that's what what's gonna happen there in torres del pain it is gonna be the mega city one you know uh, the nazca spirit lives on yes yes nazca spirit yes we do have uh, Tirits also with uh, 21 science and 39 culture uh, is uh, not really able to keep up with the science advantage of Vladimir he, um, 49 versus his 21 but he is on the same uh, level of culture uh, we do have uh, lighthouses coming out to, from his cities and he is actually going to go for the early expands uh, did manage to put uh, Zanzibar under uh, siege and by the looks of it he's uh, taking down that city center strength one by one uh, well I guess the builder uh, is not actually going to get to do anything there the warrior in the city is going to pop next turn and he can take it back 
Merovinger man, thank you so much for the follow, sir. Uh, is America sending external? How does he have uh, 40 gold per turn already? Uh, he did go for commercials uh, right after the two campuses he settled. He went for commercials, and uh, by the looks of it, he does have. Let's see it. This I can't see. This I can't see. But I think these are both internals actually with Governor Magnus. Um, I can't really say he has a lot of. Um, I will say gold adjacency here, plus two commercial, another plus two commercial, sooner to be a plus three. Uh, he does have some cotton tiles improved, some maze worked. But yeah, he's that 40 gold a turn, doing wonders. And another trader. Yes. When Nerf Maya, yeah, good question. Uh, Avignon did get settled over here to the south of Lyon and uh, we do have uh, the first encampment coming off from uh, France as well. Uh, it is a bit of a uh, late blooming over here for these uh, journals. We do have Rome already on 3.4 points, uh, America is on 2.3, Spain 0, Maya on 1.1. They're gonna want to get those projects going just like uh, Copan is doing uh, so they can actually get the necessary points to recruit the journals otherwise they're gonna lose them. We did have uh, all of those horses of uh, England, oh, oh, sorry, of uh, Rome managing to force England upgrade while he is now going towards uh, Spain. Uh, you can see Pompey actually repositioned uh, all of his horses to the northwest because he did uh, notice uh, that might be a bit of a problem for um, his, uh, how to say, force his units to go towards uh, English uh, territory. Let me actually take a quick peek on something. Uh, what the heck is he drinking? Oh, we got a fire axis. Rip. Let me take a peek over here. What's going on? What is he drinking with me? Me? I'm. I have coffee. I'm actually this is a new type of coffee I, I did manage to get um every month or so or actually no every two months when I actually get new coffee I'm uh, trying as much as possible to uh, get different types of coffees and uh, it's been a while since I've actually changed uh, my coffee but this is a new blend. Um I have two of them right now. Let me let me actually show you. Let me see. Okay, so I have this this for this is what i'm drinking right now and i have this that's gonna follow up next it, it usually takes me because i only drink like maybe one or two coffees a day it usually takes me like maybe two months or something like this to go through this uh, much coffee like for one bag for two bags that's gonna be like four months but yes, very good coffee. I, I can, I, you know, the Russia three city still. He's doing his best to actually get to the next one. Not actually happening though. Wow, wait. Oh, little kick. I was keeping my. Uh, Never mind. Uh, so uh, Russia is uh, gonna get his fourth and fifth settler over here uh, to the east of Novgorod. He's gonna get another one. He does have one the south of Petersburg, and uh, we do see he's uh, trying to find Bandar Bunei. But Bandar Bunei is fighting back. Good for you. Good for you, Bandar Bunei. Oh my God! Look at that. He's keeping all of those horses. He's sending them back. Of JR. JR didn't quite go against the city of Bandar Bunei with uh, that many units from the beginning. He thought it's an easy kill. Man, it wasn't like that. Definitely wasn't like that. Uh, I think uh, I was saying he redeemed no water for 2000. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I see. But Rafifi said drink water. 
And oh, he did. You did put another one. Oh, I see. Water words. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. That's not. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see. I didn't see, man. I can uh, give you, give you the points back. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, this Electra actually. Okay, there we go. He saved me. He saved me. You guys saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Able to drink water right now. <laughs> more. More. I I don't have water next to me. The ma the water must flow. Yes, exactly. Okay, so yeah, we do have them uh, starting to get back into the game here, get back into the motions. Uh, Rome is um, gonna get his uh, horses towards uh, Spain, while Demonar, Demonar is gonna build his own um, horses over here to stop any kind of aggression and defend his territory. Uh, Spain is actually putting a settler in the water. They're going towards the north, uh, trying to settle that uh, coast to, next to Granada. Uh, we do have more harbors also coming up from him with uh, those uh, traders. Looking in the southeast, uh, we do need to see if... Uh, oh, Zanzibar got taken over. <laughs> that was fast. Tirits over here was the most efficient city killer of them all. Uh, we did have um, uh, Tirits also benefiting from a builder. He's going to start to improve that amber tile. He did put down one of these harbors on the eastern coast. Where he... I can't really say he has any trade route to send. But it's fine. He's still going to get a plus two adjacency uh, from that harbor. Not to mention um, get some boats out, you know. Like you, you gotta see what's uh, on these seas. Uh, we do have him also getting a great admiral, and he he, he did actually see. England on the west side I'm not so convinced he actually saw Mitla uh, let me actually take a look over here Sprig and Demona okay so they did um, immediately after they saw Mitla they just put uh, those uh, points in and uh, they are already fighting for it they want to keep uh, Mitla for each other and as you can see Demonar with Sprig uh, and Tirits over there fighting the city growth is 15% higher in cities with a campus that is going to be quite important over there for uh, both of them uh, the city of uh, Kyoto is um, uh, gonna get to the seventh population next turn, and that will allow him to put another district on. Uh, I'm actually expecting him to go for uh, for theater squares over here, not campuses from the capital. Uh, he should have a decent amount of science already on 23 and 42 culture, but he does need a lot more culture usually at the beginning. Uh, he does have, uh, of course, a very strong campus if he wants to, with the Gavron Plaza, with the, theater, with the um, mountain, the arbor, and the city center. He's going to get a very strong um, campus to put here. What is it? Five? Oh, we got a re-lobby, by the way. Quick re-lobby here. Okay, we're coming back into the lobby soon and we're going to need to um, wait for all of the players to get their respective slots here. Uh, they're connecting, we're going to need to check their zero MS and so on and so forth, so everybody's going to be happy. We know the drill, we know the drill, you know, it's happening. Um, really quickly, I want to check if uh, everybody has uh, access to the link here. Uh, sometimes you just don't get that access, so really, really, really quickly... Uh, okay. 
Okay, there we go. It's here. It's here. It's here. I mean, now we do have zero, zero, 50, 50, 50, 70, 50, 58, let's give it 76. It should be fine. We're just needing to uh, get uh, Maya in. Uh, Kachika is asking, Kachishka is asking the same question. And I do need to uh, know that answer as well. Uh, BSTR01, good evening, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Old Triangle also making a comment about Granada. Granada being next to Spain does feel good and historically accurate. Yeah, yeah, but it, you know, it might die to uh, America. That might happen. Let's see what's going on. I do want to quickly take a look here at what happened the first game. I'm going to ready up and then we're going to take a quick peek at this. Let me actually see if I can, uh, I should be able to open up the screen, right? Yeah, there we go. Pam, 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 pam. Let me turn off the volume here. There we go. Uh, we did have them going on uh, Highlands and we did actually uh, get this game with, um, we commented this game with Justice. Uh, what happened over here? We did have a uh, table ronde with uh, JR on Zulu Damori on uh, Rome, under the gun on uh, China. Kublai China with uh, Barsake coming up on, um, uh, oh, this is, oh, I remember Damori. The Damori Irel special, you know, when he had those four series of Rome, but he lost the first one, didn't improve almost any tile or almost any mine, and then just, you know, uh, uh, went on to build the, so many of those horses, sent them all over the map. That was amazing, right? Uh, the settler steal indeed from the beginning that's what's happened okay so and then we did have in the late part of the game with uh, Roy and Vietnam just Diva on uh, Phoenicia uh, Vladimir on uh, Inca and Propagandi on uh, Russia Russia was also trying as much as possible to do the damage against the China couldn't actually attack into him he was bu quite bullied uh, during the game as in uh, his um, wonders got snatched uh, that um, uh, belief uh, the feed the world belief uh, got snatched also uh, he didn't have have that much food in his captain and he was forced to build granaries uh, we did have as you can see over here zulu managing to push through uh, the phoenician defenses and um, justima did succumb to the strength of uh, jr uh, with, uh, later on in the game we did also have on the other side uh, kublai khan china managing to uh, get some attacking force towards uh, inca and uh, it was just no way out for them uh, yeah that's that's it uh, Tooth Bias, good evening, sir. Uh, didn't Sprig play on uh, Ulysses the other day? Yes, he did. Uh, these are uh, two different uh, competitions, though. Uh, so on one side, we do have the CWC with uh, the rosters um, that have been um, entered, or I should say uh, registered, a few months ago, uh, in uh, actually more than a few months ago, in the qualifiers. And uh, these are uh, pre-CWC. Ooh, ooh. Oh, so many three disconnects. Those are three disconnects. Wow. Okay. Uh, under the gun, unavailable again. That's a good question. I don't know if he was available or not. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, also, hey, BCS tears. Thank you so much for um, joining the Discord. Welcome, sir. Wait, they didn't ask you under the gun. Hello there. Hello. You wanna, by the way, you wanna join uh, the stream over here? Because we're gonna have a re-lobby and we got a few uh, more seconds. You wanna give us your re read on uh, what's going on in the game? You have a risk 1v1 tournament in 13 minutes. Okay, let me see if I can uh, just join the channel and I... Uh, Drag you. Uh, FFA 10, maybe? I'm just um, trying to join. Okay, there we go. I see you. I see you. Hello there. Good evening. Hello there. Good evening. Oh, man. Oh, man. Risk tournament. I didn't know they actually made those. 
<laughs> yeah, there's um, there's a digital version of it. It's lots of fun. I've okay. played a couple of tournaments. Yeah, it's, it, it's still with uh, the dices and you roll the dices and you get the units and the, those like you get territories yeah. and you move from one. Okay, okay, very nice. It's it's the same game, but there's like 60 different maps. There's you know blizzards, fog of war. There's ton of oh. settings. There's some uh, balanced blitz, so you don't have to roll the dices all the time. It like just happens immediately and then also influences the the outcome there's a lot of uh, math you can actually do <laughs> it's pretty good oh my god uh i got pushed into a lobby link that was actually an ongoing game for some reason jr uh, shared the link in <laughs> the cpl for <44 laughs> links oh uh, my god no. yeah Agreed. i'm so sorry man i'm so sorry i'm gonna delete this link because everybody's gonna try to join them to join it uh, let me join through another one. Yeah, so how about this game? Looks uh, looks close, looks interesting for sure. Yeah. Uh, one second. Okay, so uh, on one side we did have um, Japan very, very close to Maya, but I think Maya should be more than able to uh, withstand the attack, at least for the Samurais. Uh, he does have uh, double the science, he does have um, um, also the cities uh, set up, and I did see him uh, with a decent amount of uh, culture also. Um, yeah. On the other side, I'm not sure what uh, Russia's plan is going to be uh, looking like. Uh, JR over here with uh, Peter he did have a bit of a problem to get his uh, city-state next to him. And uh, it's still going to need to develop his uh, empire. But he does have Taurus in the Tundra and actually not a bad Taurus. You know, like his chat over here was saying uh, uh, 6 out of 10. You know, like they some went for 8, some went for minus 1. But all in all, in average, is like 6 out of 10. Yes, it's, I don't know, it's a typical JR. It's a classic. They only bring two horses to a CS and not three, and then be like, uh oh, surprise yeah. Pikachu face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't get work. The job done. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so three cities, like his city count is quite low, but he's getting the settlers out. And I, I think he went for probably discounted theaters. So he probably has like his holy sets and the theaters down. Yeah. And he has a couple of wonders. So he has Artemis, he's getting hanging gardens. Like, he's going to scale very well uh, with the Goddess of the Hunt. Those nice deer tiles are improved. Like, uh, JR knows after all what he's doing, he's, he's excellent simmer. It's a bit of a slow spawn because there's mountains in his cap. He can't go to the left side, right? Yeah. Like, the capital is in a weird location. But he he'll, he'll be relevant uh, soon. He can't even improve his uh, third uh, ring tile over there, uh, the um, other, the third camp. He did get Goddess of the Hunt, but it's like be behind the mountains and it takes him so long until he gets there. I mean, maybe one charge builder you could, like... Uh, have uh, taken send the it away. <laughs> send it away. Send it away. Yeah. <laughs> I, some point, yeah. I'm very I'm, curious what Rome is gonna do between uh, Spain and uh, England. He's gonna have a hard time uh, attacking and or defending against both of them. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Damori already messaged me. You said uh, such a bad spawn on Rome, terrible land. So yeah, it's it's difficult. It's tough for Pompey. He'll just try and irrel as much as possible, put some pressure on Spain, right? Put some pressure on on Vicky, as he already did, and hope that his teammates can carry. So Sp Sprick is actually having a qu quite nice game, and also uh, Titi's on Japan, and like with the food prod, he's, he's doing very well. Uh, he got the CS kill, uh, so that that's that's very good. Um, I don't think we're gonna see a samurai push. It's not happening. Like not against Maya, right? Maya is just such high stats. Yeah, does make a lot of sense. I think he. Will take a slower uh, scaling approach and uh, put pressure maybe on maybe there's going to be some curious here field cannon uh, action maybe Maya's going to be the aggressor uh, we're about to to find out yeah that is uh, I'm, I'm not I mean would you go on aggression in a two versus one situation would, would you be that aggressive I guess you know it is kind of a task for fish kind of style over there but would you do it I mean as, as Pompey yeah, uh, as Rome. As Rome, no, yeah, as Rome. Oh, well, good. as Rome, yeah, as Rome, he doesn't have any situation. He doesn't have any uh, other. As, but Maya, maybe. As Maya, I mean, if you have like only five, six cities, you have audience chamber, you go for high stats, which Maya usually does, and then you want to have a timing push. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, it could be a play that they might want to try and make. 
Yeah, we, you got some fans over here in the chat, by the way, Vista Electra is uh, saying hi. <laughs> hey, hey there. <laughs> yeah, I, re I remember you, Viz. Maybe I should be streaming uh, again. You should, you should. Now, what, what did happen, by the way? Oh, what are you doing? What are you playing these days? Uh, I, I play a lot of Civ. I played some 2v2s. I mean, there's lots of CWC, like there will be three games uh, this weekend again. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, there's a lot of action uh, for sure. And yeah, there's also, I always on the side have some uh, risk tournaments uh, going, some practice here and there. So it's, it's uh, not easy to handle all of that uh, <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. But how was your, uh, how was your um, New Year's? How were your, uh, um, how to say, um, yeah, Christmas yeah, the celebration. Song. Yeah, the celebration. Yeah, th thank you for asking. Yeah, it was amazing. Like uh, Christmas was uh, very nice, uh, just with the family, had a good time, and mm -hmm. then I started traveling. Like uh, for New Year's, I, like I did, uh, I went on vacation for a week. I was in Copenhagen, and I was in, uh, in Sweden and Malmo. I, I visited uh, Potato Sandwich. We we hang oh, out. Oh really? Amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. How, guy, how is yeah. it? How is it? Did you enjoy the cold over there, or is it like in uh, the other parts of Europe? Europe, it's not that cold anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Further north, it gets colder. I mean, I was fully prepared for negative 10 degrees. I had all the equipment, you know, the skiing uh, yeah, yeah. stuff that you put uh, under your clothes and then all. But it was uh, it was plus five or plus 10, like a lot of rain, <laughs> no snow. So it was a bit disappointing with the weather, but uh, it still was amazing. Like yeah. uh, it was so much fun to travel. Not Open as expected. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we planned on going uh, ice skating on like a frozen lake because there's so yeah. many lakes. Like uh, Malte, a potato sandwich. He lives uh, in the nature somewhere in southern Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of lakes around. Like it's just a small uh, village in between Malmo and Trelleborg. Anyway, um, it didn't happen. But we 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 did some ice skating just in a you know on a venue like on a in a park where they have. Uh, yeah, but it was it was lots of fun. Like I really enjoyed my my New Year's. Yeah, cool. Uh, did you get any negative uh, degrees? Because uh, honestly, in Romania, we don't have negative. It used to be like we had like ne negative twenty right now, negative fifteen, and it's like plus five, plus ten. <laughs> it's such a yeah. No, it's it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. the same for for uh, like right now in Berlin, it's the same, and also in Sweden and in Denmark, even like even far up north, it. Uh, has been positive degrees like it was negative 10 negative something early in december but like all over new yeah. year we just have like it's warm weather uh, everywhere so it's the climate change right so, yeah. oh, yeah, we don't know. very very warm uh, winter one of the yeah. warmest uh, it's definitely different than it was 20 years ago <laughs> yeah, well, yeah I, I do like snow so it's uh it's sad yeah <laughs> Well, I, I'm on the other fence. I don't like the cold that much. <laughs> like maybe I like snow watching it from a window, but I gotta be in a warm position, you know. Yeah. Okay. I so, guess you're so used to it yourself. Okay, the game. Yeah, the game yeah, is the going. Game. So my recruited uh, general looks like uh, France also is uh, gonna need one. He did put down the encampment, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna work on one and get and gets a few builders. Uh, maybe he's gonna get to chop a project. Uh, we do have Rome uh, two turns away from uh, recruiting his own general. I did see he's also putting those horses, uh, forcing both of his opponents to just get um, defenses up, not really attacking into them, just getting defenses up, and that this forces your opponent to actually use some strategic resources use some of that gold that can be used for something else and uh, usually does uh, matter quite a bit to force it not to mention it does put a toll on the gold per turn you are making when you uh, start upgrading these units they do get uh, costlier um, yeah it's for sure it's, it's a good move like forcing spain here to make uh, horses not of building as harbors and getting ready for for feudal timing so it's it's, it's definitely a nice way to to put some pressure i would want to know um is Spriggan and pompey like uh, do they have feudalism right now because they have builders everywhere they're preparing uh, heavily for the for the feudal timing like uh, don't seem like uh, it. because uh, I, I would imagine those are our five chargers like why would they why would he be spamming uh well he does have let, <laughs> let me see uh yeah true I guess we're gonna. Uh, yeah, he does. There we go. Five, five build charges. There we go. That's yes, he amazing. does. That's amazing. That's so he's fast. Good. That's really good. He has a good game going. Yeah, so he's synchronizing the, uh, the carrier. Uh, 
we're going to see him put down uh, probably some uh, chateaus over here uh, to get some of that uh, nice and juicy extra culture. And uh, I did want to ask you something about uh, America and uh, Russia. Looks like America is already putting down a, an encampment. Uh, you do see he spammed uh, campuses, even like one adjacency campuses everywhere, did get the, uh, mark, the commercial hubs with very low adjacency also on them. It, do you think he's preparing the Rough Rider timing or is just like f discount seeming without caring uh, what's going to happen in the late? Yeah, I think for sure this this got to be like a timing push preparation. Some odd choices on the districts. I guess Washington could have had the campus to the left next to the mountains, but yeah, just going heavy campus in every city like that, trying to get the signs up. He's planning maybe even to grief, uh, grief first with some Corsairs, upgrade those horses, maybe you can kill the CS. Yeah. So he, if I was him, I would be killing Buenos Aires with a couple of horses. I would then probably proceed to upgrade Corsairs and try mm -hmm. and put pressure on Russia and then annoy him. Uh, before then, maybe an all-in Rough Rider push. Hey, uh, JR got Bandar. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And yeah, no, JR is quite big. <laughs> like he's, he's looking pretty big. I mean, it's going to be fine. Like JR, like this is, uh, you know. The city's yeah. coming up, the food and production getting re like rolling. He's probably controlling writers. Like, did he get any writers yet? Turn 43, maybe he could have had one. Uh, that's a good question. Let me see. Japan, 1.1 grid at the point of turn. Even, uh, sorry, Japan is 2.3, Russia is 1.1. Uh, no, the answer is no. He didn't get any. Okay, so uh, he didn't went for the triple discount with three holy sets and three theaters. Yeah, I think he prefers to actually play it where you go for a fast government plaza. You discount the plaza and you only do one or two theaters. Yep. And But but uh, this way you have a very fast audience chamber. And he really likes to spam wonders. So Artemis, Hanging Gardens, Oracle, Magnus Chop. Yeah, this is the typical JR uh, Russia gameplay. So he's, he's going to be a threat for, for culture and he's going to scale pretty well. It's not too bad. High adjacency holy sites. Probably the reason uh, Rough Rider uh, Roy is already thinking about uh, how he's gonna take him out. Uh, he did manage to take out Buenos Aires really quickly and gotta build that out of this attack with uh, two charges. Uh, we do have him putting down his uh, Diplo Quarter and uh, since we're getting uh, quite close to the switching of the era, we're gonna see them voting. Um, Pompey here did recruit his general. Looks like uh, he there is a weakness over here in Spanish defense um, yeah, next to Valencia, but I don't see actually Rome knowing about it. This land is a bit tough to push through. If if Spain puts his defense in these rainforest hills, it, it's so, so hard. Actually, I would say even impossible to push through. The horses take yeah, way too much damage. He's not going to go through. He's yeah. not going to be able to push through, but it's just about putting pressure on forcing him to respond and put production on those horses. I'm curious, the settler in Valencia, it's going to swim south? Like, he has shipbuilding done? Um, <laughs> I know he... Uh, Probably, yeah, right? Yeah, I saw, I saw him uh, with the settler in the water. Look, this one. This one. It's okay, in the so, water. So he's... He's expanding, okay. Yeah, he, uh, this is actually quite a challenge, and we've seen this even in uh, COC versus um, um, uh, Ulysses a few days ago, when they were just expanding on every little island they could uh, get their uh, settles on, and didn't stop until the late part of the game. Even in the late part of the game, they kept on expanding. Um, Rome, though, Rome is in a serious challenge here. He does have two coastal civilizations left and right of him and no mm -hmm. ally to help him japan is way too far away japan is uh, gonna need to do his own um land warfare here and he's he definitely is not gonna have a priority to uh, help out against england yeah it's gonna be tough especially when those uh privateers or even the sea dogs come show up pillage the campus pillage all coastal tiles yeah, yeah rome and he's, he's stuck on those five cities he cannot really get more i mean he could maybe get one sixth city to the south that would be pretty good, oh, south that... of Rome, and then trade with JR, right? Like, JR could get a coastal, there's some naval trade potential. But on the other hand, it's controlled by Spain, so... Yeah, the sea is not, uh, yeah. not Freritos. <laughs> the, the moment those uh, carnival fleets come out, that's gonna be easy, right, for the picking trade routes, easy gold. Uh, I'm not sure they want to settle there. Yeah, probably not. How does that's looking? I imagine... Um, uh, Forever Young has really high stats, like uh, good campuses on Spain, good ones on Teddy, good ones on Maya, and they do, they have high science. Yeah. They, they have higher stats overall, actually. Um, 
well, I guess Tidditz is on 59, which is a bit of a surprise. JR, slow start, is uh, going to need to get more stats up, but he's in the more mentality, so, you know, slow burning here with 18 and 32, or 46 faith. He does have those libraries coming out, uh, 2, 4, 6, 7 cities at the moment. That's pretty good. That's actually, I think, the most cities in the game. 246, 245, 245, 5, 4, yeah, it's more cities in the game. Yeah, the yeah, sacrifices is, you it's make. Gonna be doing well. Long yeah. Time. Oh my god, massive gift. <laughs> Wait, did? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Oh my god, Anonymous Gifter is so good, man. Tonight, amazing. Thank you so much. TRT, Big Rusty, H, Def T, Sugar, and Gonspark. Welcome, sirs. Welcome. Uh, on. Um, Rome, what do you think are his possibilities here? Is there a possibility to try to force himself uh, into a nation, uh, try to um, attack somebody, or just try to uh, go tall as soon as possible? What you try and go tall and you're trying to survive. Like, just surviving is very important. So you get big stats and you're making like an unpushable line of uh, pike, pike and shot or something <laughs> like that. But yeah, on tanks, maybe he's going to be... It's gonna be done. I mean, for now he's struggling for the gold and making great buff, making some industrials. I don't know. I mean, there's there's multiple approaches. You could try and really heavily rel your opponents, but they're quite far away and there's rough terrain. Still, I mean, he will be sending corsairs to to grief left and right. Um, oh, he's trying he, to he get in. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> Using the last move, first moves, uh, trying to force Demonar here to build as many units. Demonar, I gotta say, he's actually. Uh, using this defense to its maximum with minimum units i only he only has two horses and two archers and usually you do see like a line of uh, horses uh, stopping any kind of aggression in in this uh, defense he just wanted to do just enough units to not allow the horses of uh, rome to have free reign over here whatever they do they still need to trade punches with the spanish horses yeah it's it's well played well, uh, anyway, my, my time is up. My opponent is waiting. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you so much enjoy for your uh, cast. Yeah. Thank you so much and good luck. Yeah, thank you. And uh, of course, I, I wish the best for, for my Freiritos. I hope yeah. they can. Uh, I mean, it's La Table Ronde, but uh, <laughs> I hope they can manage yeah. to get it done. All okay. right. Cool. Have a good evening. Yeah, I think. Bye bye. Yeah, have a good evening. Bye bye. This, is a, this is, looks like a very close game. This could be a fun one for sure. Could be a long one. It does. It does. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we do have. We just heard from under the gun, by the way, giving us uh, a bit of information um, from his point of view, what uh, he thinks will happen, how the moves, how the players are uh, getting their empires going, and uh, their early moves. Uh, we did have uh, Rome trying to poke in over here on uh, the cities of Barcelona. He is uh, gonna get next to Barcelona soon with a great general and some horses, and you can see Dimona is trying to block his uh, path. I did notice uh, Roy managing to get to 75 cents and 50 culture, actually more than Vladimir, uh, starting up with those early campuses. He did get uh, he, to build a Temenanki here in Cincinnati a few turns, and now he's four turns out from uh, finishing it. Uh, we do have Philadelphia also getting uh, another commercial and getting Buenos Aires gave him an extra city. That was uh, well spent, two horses. Uh, we do have Russia with a few horses from the south that did manage to take over Bandar Bune and are now scouting towards the North Sea what they can actually get um, going I'm very curious so uh, if uh, Roy is actually gonna try to go and get as soon as possible to uh, his opponent with those uh, Rough Riders the Rough Riders are a, a quite a strong unit to handle and I'm pretty sure if he does manage to nail the timing properly uh, they won't be able to be defended by uh, JR especially since JR is going wide he's trying uh, as much as possible to uh, get uh, the cities going and uh, after the stats it uh, this is uh, quite a sacrifice that he's making but most of the time the players that do uh, want to go for the late game sim do this do tend to do this uh, we do have Etemenanki also from uh, JR in Russia's land and this is a question we got uh oh uh oh okay so this is one of those poll time guys poll time question who is building who is finishing actually who will build Etemenanki is it Roy America or is it JR on Russia? Do 
there we go who do you think will build it poll time we do have on one side astrakhan benefiting from governor liang he does have three turns to build it no chops from what i can see are easy for him to use um and from uh, what i do see he's actually getting more uh, population rather than anything else to work more tiles uh in the north uh, cincinnati is also three tiles out but uh, america is uh, gonna get a, a chop if he wants to oh no he actually moved the builder away so this is gonna be same turn is this gonna happen wait a second Who's first? Who is first? Roy? No, it's JR. Oh my god, JR is actually one, one slot above Roy here. It looks like another city got taken over. Granada did take over, um, no, or I should say Spain did manage to take over Granada. Uh, Spain is also going to get one of these um, huts to the north. And of course, with Granada building a ho government. Um, oh wow, an encampment. He's gonna start uh, to acquire those uh, general points. Uh, Spain is gonna have a bit of an issue here. You can see these horses are starting to trade punches. The Spanish horse, I don't think it moved, and indeed that he didn't move. He has four out of four. He is. Um, gonna get some heels off and uh, it looks like there are more horses coming up from Madrid. Uh, Dimonar is still not actually uh, going crazy with this uh, offense. He does want to keep the 45 bonus on his horses and we're gonna need to see uh, what he's gonna do to actually keep uh, Barcelona intact and working for him. Uh, the biggest question here for uh, Etemenanki is are there gonna be any chops? Uh, do we, we do have a Cincinnati 8 pop and I believe uh, also Astrakhan was 8 pop is gonna go for the ninth population soon and that um, that's a slim chance of actually having one turn faster uh, slim chance but anyway JR is above with one slot so he might get it anyway looks like uh, we got uh, the votes coming in Roy with 23 votes JR with 13 definitely need to see what's uh, what's up i do have to also point out that america does not benefit from a pen brush and, uh, for the for the monumentality so he doesn't get the extra speed on his uh, builders the fact that he chose to move uh, to the forest next to philadelphia and not uh, over here on the two one forest uh, does actually deny him the chance of building a temenanki chopping a temenanki down yeah we got astrakhan actually with uh, two tens even if uh, the population went uh, up to one uh, to nine it doesn't actually make a difference there's still two tens between them okay america chopping some more tiles improving some more coffees but in other cities than cincinnati on England's uh, territory, I do have to point out, um, England doesn't have a red coat push. It is the same continent as uh, Rome, but he did manage to get a city on the other continent, the city of Manchester is over here. Swatik is going to get an extra trade route capacity. He did also build his uh, Stonehenge, and uh, that allows him to get a religion soon. I do see him with uh, John the Baptist, a great prophet, and we're probably going to see him uh, activate that religion as soon as possible. Since the players are getting closer to uh, the medieval era, everybody in the game does want to get their uh, golden age uh, started. And of course... Um, uh, kept in the next era. Swati is 52 out of 52. He does need 63 to get there. That is going to be quite uh, long. We do have uh, Roy 40 out of 50. Uh, he's uh, going to need 10 more points. Dimonar is 42 out of 49. Very far away from getting uh, the golden age. But of course anything can happen in the next uh, few turns. Vladimir 51 out of 57 uh, is preparing a push against um, France. If France doesn't look like he's uh, preparing or even is aware of this, uh, he has a few scouts going on and of course the scouts does uh, skew a little bit the uh, number of units he actually can put on the field. Uh, with uh, only three horses, uh, the cities of Avignon and Lyon will be in danger. We do have Mayan knights available to attack the units of uh, France and split up uh, these um, uh, these tiles. That is going to be quite a problem, especially since Maya does benefit from a general. Shun Tzu is also going to help out uh, France here. The extra movement for both of them will be quite important. We do have a uh, Sprig with 51 out of 50, uh, 54 out of 52 points. He just got his um, uh, Golden Age activated and I do see he's starting to put down his uh, chateaus, uh, getting the food, getting the culture, the gold. Uh, he does have quite a few of them actually to place and getting those two, two, two twos is going to be quite important. Uh, selling them next to a wonder, uh, next to a, sorry, um, amenities, it's uh, going to give you that uh, nice and juicy boost. Um, it's Kali, uh, good evening sir and welcome. Uh, also, is there any big war situations? It looks like we're starting to come up on a big war situation here between Maya and um, 
Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen, Sprig is uh, still trying to get these uh, campuses going and the library, while we do have uh, Vladimir with crossbows and swordsman getting upgraded in Uxmal, with those uh, knights uh, waiting for the last moves, is going to manage to do enough damage against the French units to um, uh, possibly take them out, very, very, very dangerous here situation for France. I can't really say they benefit from a lot of gold to actually um, counter this, but I do want to point out Sprig did manage to get 70 science with 74 culture. Very good uh, performance at the moment to have the same uh, stats as Maya uh, since uh, Vladimir did build an army he made a sacrifice uh, not actually uh, jumping up in stats that big and uh, as you can see over here it does take a toll uh, he's now actually putting a few more of these um, commercials out and i do see a holy site coming up from koba uh, that is probably for the ena score he needs uh, the extra ena score points from the splendid holy site uh, plus six from a spine the friends uh, french may help uh, some uh, defense if it upgrades in time that's the issue right it's a big if and it does look like uh, france over here is getting hit by those uh, knights uh, very very fast while he does have settlers on the motion he doesn't have any units in production he did manage to get those um, science points up and uh, looking at the text screen he is uh, getting his castles he just got his castle so he can upgrade into coursers with um, guilds coming up next turn he should have the half cost card already activated from mercenaries i'm not sure if he has it on i don't think he has it on let's see change policies yes he does have professional army it's just not um, established in his government okay knights going in vladimir did manage to push back uh, the french and uh, general in the city of Avignon while he is uh, getting crossbows uh, from behind the crossbows will manage to take down the strength of his opponents without any shots on behind and then uh, the remaining units are going to start pushing that is uh, quite dangerous the good thing for France is that aren't that many Mayan archers that is actually quite an important fact here uh, in the era score screen we do have Pompey also getting his golden age 55 points out of 51 we got JR 81 out of 65 uh, again Getting some um, strength back on these Russian units. He does have multiple cities that got settled. Tver in the south, Novgorod in the west. And uh, we did see Smolensk also get there. Oh, Astrakhan got it, guys. JR, the biggest. He did manage to get the Temenanki away from America. Well, it is what it is. Now we do have a campus coming up in two turns from that uh, city center. Uh, we do need to see him uh, work these uh, 4 3 1 tiles, 6 3 1 tiles, and get uh, as many yields as possible uh, in that city center. On uh, Tirits, we do have him also with 57 out of 51 points. He is to the south of Maya, and I gotta say, he is a much juicier target than uh, France was, uh, especially for Maya. Unfortunately, I do think. Um, uh, I do think uh, Maya did underestimate uh, the ability of Japan to upgrade those units and get those samurais going. Yes, monarchy. Yes, Tirits. 48 science. Yes, 121 culture. He definitely has uh, samurais. It's just a matter of uh, getting enough pre-builds or enough uh, hard builds to defend your opponent. Uh, we do have uh, Maya actually getting in um, the borders of the city of Avignon, right next to the city center, uh, able to start attacking the French units, but not actually doing it from the beginning. He keeps on um, pushing on and uh, did manage to get the builder away from that um, French unit. That actually allows him to uh, stop the uh, chops. I believe uh, that builder might have wanted to chop the um, banana over there. That's not going to happen. And in the meantime, it does uh, seem like at the moment uh, Wuxmal is uh, going to need to get some more chops going. Uh, like, and not to mention units if he wants to be successful on this uh, attack. Now with the French courses activated, it is going to be uh, much harder for these knights to push through. Yes, there is a possibility, but at the same time, uh, these courses uh, can push back at the moment, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see more of them appear from the French uh, side. Um, while we did have an advantage earlier with uh, the science and the culture of... Um, uh, forever young now we can actually see the opposite uh, we can start seeing a uh, lot of around the members uh, not only getting back on track but also managing to overwhelm uh, their opponents uh, stats uh, looking at also the production i see 
all of the, um, or I should say, each of the players of La Tabla Ronda on over 140 production, with some of them going up, upwards to 161. While on the other side, we have uh, situations like Vladimir here on only 84 production. That is uh, going to set the tone for the remainder of the game if. Um, La Tabla Ronda does manage to convert that production into actual stats, into actual advantages. That is definitely going to put them up ahead. We do have uh, City State taking over. England did manage to take over uh, the city of Cad in the south, and he did get that religion. One, Zen meditation with the Defender of the Faith. Um, La Table Ronde meaning, uh, oh, uh, LTR, what does it mean? It's La Table Ronde, it means uh, the round table. There we go. We do have uh, bags coming off from um, Rome, they did go into the medieval era, and uh, we do see golden, normal, dark, golden uh, for uh, Forever Young, while we do have uh, Sprig Golden, Pompey Golden, JR Golden, and Tirith Golden. Uh, this uh, might actually be a bit of a problem here for... Um, Forever younger, two of the players did not manage to get a second golden age, and that's a lot of stats that will won't be acquired. A potential free inquiry, a science, or potential um, uh, culture from the pen, brush, and voice, not to mention the gold, uh, will hurt them in the long term. We do have uh, Roy, for example, with 87 science and 39 culture. He does have 135 uh, production as well, and uh, 33 gold. Uh, that. Uh, what, that is kind of half his culture because of the loss of a pen, brush, and voice. On the other side, JR next to him is 64 and 81. Did choose to go for a pen, brush, and voice at this point in time with 131 faith per turn. He's um, going to manage to keep on improving his land and getting more stats at the same time. Grandmaster Chapel getting built in St. Petersburg since JR did uh, get to, into monarchy, his next year government. We do have him uh, with a strong possibility to uh, try to get to his Cossacks quite fast. Right at the same time as Roy is gonna get his um uh, Rough Riders. Um, it's been a while since I've seen actually Cossacks against Rough Riders. So that, that's actually uh, a good question. What will happen? Who, who will uh, push through? Uh, we do have uh, Rome also with uh, these uh, few units. Rome uh, with uh, 64 science and 81 culture is on a mission to survive over here. Getting intelligence agency from Rome. Uh, he's uh, getting more knights out and uh, will need to prepare for the defense against both opponents. The city of Ravenna, the city of Kume are being transform right now into big fortresses strongholds to withstand the, these uh, attacks from his opponents with i'm actually quite curious if we're gonna see spain over here try to do some um, uh, crusade uh, uh, sorry some um, conquistador push i don't think so but would be amazing to see uh i think i'm a right i'm i'm first yeah hello hello Give me a second, digital democracy. Uh, wait, didn't they take out the uh, city state? Yeah, they did take out the um, in Cameron ones, the military ones. Okay. Hey, Crodello, thank you so much for uh, the follow, sir. Trojan man, hello. How are you doing, sir, and welcome. And you know, the round table, see, uh, uh, King Arthur's history. Yeah, exactly. The, they went for that kind of a name there. Uh, Shirley Rocks, so thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome, welcome. Uh, also, VAT53I, uh, Forever Young uh, looks like in a kind of bad situation if Japan and France does uh, a, an attack on Maya. And it does seem like Maya is starting to lose steam over here, especially since he is going all into this attack against Avenue. And it uh, doesn't look like he's going to have uh, that much of a success, especially with the new units coming out. Uh, he's going to have a hard time actually taking over the city. Uh, we do need to see if he's going to have the production to follow this up, even though looking at just the production numbers, Spree is on 140. We got Vladimir on 99. And that actually uh, gives you an answer to that question. Yeah, how's the game going? It's pretty interesting. We got a few uh, conflict zones over here, a few developing areas, and um, I do believe we're going to um, 
uh, see uh, quite a bit of action. Uh, the most worrisome fact is uh, Maya over here with uh, Japan in the south and uh, France on the east, which kind of refuses to attack uh, and uh, tries to get uh, more defenses up. It looks like they managed to overwhelm uh, Maya quite easily. Uh, looking at uh, Japan, he's already on 82 science, a little bit more than Maya. He's on 104 culture. That is amazing, right? With 40 more than Maya, uh, not, uh, that is going to put him uh, in front. Uh, this game is gonna end with nukes. We got a prediction over here. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, foreign ministries uh, coming up from uh, Paris is gonna get the extra influence points. We got some uh, arches also coming up from Avignon that should turn into um, crossbow soon enough. Uh, he just finished engineering and going for diplomatic service. Um, actually, a bit surprising we didn't see intelligence agency coming up from Paris. Uh, usually, that's the way to go with France. So you get the free spy. You get um, you try to build also terracotta for the extra. Um, the promotion uh, and uh, you settle it in your opponent's empire with uh, the intelligence agency ability to get you more successful chance uh, i believe let me see intel agency intelligence agency there we go all spy operations have a higher chance of success this is quite important so you do manage to um, uh, succeed in more missions than normal of course that's all also luck dependent so you got to be careful with that don't take take it with a grain of salt now we do have uh, quite a few Russian builders uh, starting to come out of his series. He did get hit the card of Binger here uh, on uh, Russia. He's okay, very nice, very nice. He's gonna get the science adjacency uh, out of the faith adjacency of a uh, holy site, and he does have a plus eight here, Lavra. I uh, did manage to get uh, campuses uh, being built in Kazan. I do see Banner Bonnet here with the campus as well. Uh, looks like uh, slowly, but surely JR is getting quite big. Uh, he does have a, quite a uh, quite a bit of luck and a breath of fresh air going against uh, Roy, who missed his uh, golden age. Uh, and this is going to be quite a question if uh, Roy will keep to his stick to his plan and try to attack his opponent here, even in this situation, or he is he going to switch gears to something else? so he can actually um, deal the damage against his opponent well, uh, keep up with his opponent in this situation. That's what I meant. Uh, JR does have 175 production, and this is something that I definitely want to mention. Plus the um, converted faith into production, of course, uh, with uh, the Grandmaster Chapel starting to come alive there, uh, starting to finish uh, four turns away from being finished in St. Petersburg. You can convert the faith into uh, units, direct units, which, of course, uh, you don't need to build giving you like what a 2.5 uh, per one point 2.5 points of faith uh, per one point of production that is uh, quite a bit of extra production that he's going to benefit from so you can imagine jr actually being around 240 240 we do need to see um, uh, also how um, uh, england is going to try to get his um, gold going and uh, try to up, keep his opponent, uh, his uh, allies land. Uh, he did manage to get uh, his golden age this time. He is in a free inquiry golden age, getting the extra science and trying to keep up and even overtake uh, Pompey right next to him when it comes to the science out, uh, advantages. Uh, we do have him with a few more galleys coming out, and um, we were thinking maybe there will be some aggression between him and Japan. While Japan, you can see he's not going that crazy with boats, he is aware that England can push him, so he is definitely preparing for this. With uh, Tirith benefiting from 106 science and 111 culture, he can uh, get to cannibals and uh, defend on the land. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's getting cartography next turn with mercenaries in one. I'm a bit actually uh, surprised he is gonna discover a cartography at the same time as mercenaries and the, uh, putting galleys in production maybe he is gonna actually hard build this maybe there is a problem with the gold and yes there is a problem with the gold they just don't have enough gold for him to upgrade those caravels from even with um, um mercenaries uh not necessarily actually i really like the chances on nukes on bbg as it's uh, being the changes on nukes as it's being right now very expensive and only occasionally seen but we've seen so many justice come on you know don't don't take away our dreams we've seen so many oh my god i can see it right now that big nuke the, the thermo nuke in the lands of uh, liege over there it's Wow, yeah, yeah, it happens, man. It happens. Just uh, Kublai China going crazy with the production over there. 
sneaking it in, sneaking it in. Uh, give me a second so I can. Oh man, I still have chocolate on my on my desk. I need to get chocolate out of my desk. No. What is this? 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 Okay. No. Hey. Not this. Okay. Not this. This. What is this? So we do have more courses coming up from uh, the cities of uh, France. Looks like uh, he is managing to, um, um, I would say, uh, to get the defense going against Maya. That is quite unfortunate. Maya is uh, bringing new crossbows on the front line, which will allow him to uh, deal the damage against the courses. And we'll see if uh, the knights are going to be strong enough to uh, push through the remaining strength. Uh, Max the Joe, what happened to Nukes in last BBG? Um, the production did get significantly increased. What was it, twenty five percent increase or something? They they got a lot more expensive. Like the projects got more expensive overall. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just hard to get them now you need a lot of production was it 25 or 50 i'm not sure but it was amazing it was a lot it was a lot i can check though let me see better balanced uh, dev log not this what is it uh, announcements i guess or patch note one of the two um nukes nukes changes on nukes nuke no Oh my god, there's no... Um, what is it? I guess I need to uh, take a look here. It's scrolling up and down. Oh, that's actually pre-501. No, that can't be. Oh yeah, it is pre-501. Never mind, it is pre-501. Pre Let's take a look at the last moves here. Now what's going on? Mm. Anyway. Um, honestly, not at all. Building nukes uh, used to be way too easy. Very true. We had a few free in games recently to get a big production numbers for uh, nukes. Yeah, you do need a lot of nukes. We do need a lot of nukes. A lot of production for the nukes, I mean. Anyway, uh, let, I don't want to keep more time there. Uh, we do have uh, France with a few crossbows of his own. Uh, that is also going to allow him to defend here much easier w against the Mayan aggression. We do have uh, some horses from Japan also appearing on the scene. Now that Japan did manage to get the um, technology to actually go against his opponent on the seas, uh, you can uh, you can actually take a look here. The galleys did start to attack the boats uh, next to Mitla would be quite important to um, keep this city state or take it over. Sprig did manage to plug in his um, money and he's going to try to keep Mitra for himself while we do have uh, England getting a few boats over here in the city state uh, of uh, Cat Borders. If he does manage to upgrade those into caravels, they are going to be a serious challenge for the Japanese boats. Japan does benefit from um, an advantage when it comes to its uh, strength in the shallow water tiles, in the whitish tiles over here. They do get an extra plus five, so that's going to be nice. He does have a great animal with them and uh, did upgrade one, at least one of these caravels. Looking at the great animal screen, we do have uh, Leif Erikson on England, Rajendra Kola on England. He's getting the plus three combat strength for all naval units. And with uh, Leif Erikson, he is either going to get the extra range, uh, side range, or he's going to get an extra plus five on his other boats. Uh, Zenki only got recruited by Japan, and looks like uh, Francis Drake is the next one up. It's still a Renaissance industrial one. It doesn't look like it's going to be that expensive. Uh, 59 points out of 155. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, sir. Uh, to be fair, this is more about the new old age. BBG doesn't add that much uh, production. Indeed, uh, we do have a few things actually on BBG that do uh, get changed. For example, the um, uh, water mill change that gave the extra production and uh, some others. Um, I guess there is a little bit there. I would say it takes production away, especially from the monumentality changes. Um, it takes a lot of production away from uh, from the game. Well, gives on one side, takes from the other one. 
um, Max Dejo asking for a recap here. We did have uh, from the beginning of the game um, a lot of uh, action going on uh, between Rome and his two opponents. Uh, he did try to push him first into England, couldn't get through, and then he uh, tried to push into Spain and force him to build a defensive range here, a defensive uh, screen. We do have now in training projects coming up from Spain, and of course, uh, Rome is uh, starting to get his uh, units in the north. Uh, I do see a religion here by Spain. This is going to be quite dangerous. Uh, the religion B is going to be Jesuit education with crusade. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> we might actually see Rome getting uh, overtaken by cross, um, conquistadors crusading his opponents. Very nice, very nice. I can't wait to actually see that happening. Um, we did also see a war raging between France and the Maya. Maya is in a two versus one situation and uh, it does it did prefer to actually go on the offense rather than uh, sit still and defend his territory. Now um, France did push him back and did manage to get more stats up um, for a while against Vladimir. And now Vladimir is starting to catch back up and we're going to need to see if uh, Sprig is going to manage to keep on walking. Uh, we got Terracotta Army from Lyon in five turns. More universities for the extra science from Paris from uh, Toulouse, from um, Rouen. We'll see um, how he's going to manage to uh, stay afloat there in both, uh, in all aspects of the game. A bit of a discrepancy here in the gold generation between the two teams. 81, 38, 97 and 17 on Forever Young. While uh, on La Table Ronde, we got 38, 8, uh, minus 5 and 58. Uh, on this side, uh, Russia did manage to get a decent amount of cities out, uh, got um, Etemenanki going and uh, has Torres del Paine to benefit from, did build Oracle and now he's starting to get a decent amount of uh, points, uh, you do see Russia on 7 great writer points a turn, while he does have, let's see over here, 14 great scientist points, I don't believe actually in Novgorod he did manage to get uh, theater square yet, but he is going to need to build it at some point. I do see uh, Pikeman getting built over here to the north. He is aware that Roy might come at him with um, uh, Rough Riders. And it's going to be a, quite a tough uh, unit to uh, take out. And I'm pretty sure uh, Russia is aware of the danger. Um, uh, Trojan Man, it adds more production for works. Uh, Pantheons are just better. Plantations get production on flat tiles and fishing boats. So like a 10 pop a city will have an extra 10, 15 more production. Uh, it's a faster game overall. Yes, uh, on BBG, I have to agree. Uh, extra gold is kind of game changing for some uh, for some reasons. Uh, Rome will die if it works. Yeah, Rome will die if it works. Yes. Uh, I, you know what I don't see, by the way, on Spain? Conquistador pre-builds. Like you need um, you need melee units and not horses. I guess uh, is we're gonna need to wait to see when he's gonna get those going. Uh, Tripote La Table Ronde uh, got all the great writers. Let me see. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. We got uh, the new ones right on 60. So let's see what happened over here. I think uh, they didn't actually get all of them. Let's see. One on Japan. One on uh, Russia. Two on Japan, three on Japan, four on Japan. Yes, four on Japan, one on Russia. That's uh, at the moment the ratio between them. None on uh, Forever Young. None of on Forever Young. We do have uh, Victoria exploding to 150 science and 49 uh, culture. He is uh, now actually keeping up with uh, Tirith's 145 and a half 14. Tirith did go for his own free inquiry golden age and uh, probably double his uh, harbor counts, uh, but he doesn't have uh, the same amount of units to defend with. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, English uh, Rajan Dracola and his uh, Amul is going to allow him to uh, try to. Keep be able to push through Japanese territory if uh, that happens. Of course, we would need to see also frigates come into the mix over here, and these caravels will probably not be enough uh, to totally demolish the Japanese fleet. Uh, we do have uh, some builders coming up from Akad. I do see more of these uh, pre-builds uh, showing up here. Uh, and London is starting to build the warriors uh, with some horses here in Leeds. Um, he is aware that uh, Rome is attacking him and he needs to take care of the threat over here. Pompey not actually standing still to be uh, taken over. He is uh, going to try to go on Sheffield. And I got to say, there is a good chance of him uh, taking over that city. Uh, there is an English builder ju that just popped out of that city center and can actually actually um, chop the walls there we go he's actually gonna go for the chopping of the walls Pompey did 
see what's going on what actually is going for the pillages the gold is extremely 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 important here for them and getting the pillage on the trader getting the pillage on the mine did give him uh, did give them 210 gold and we're gonna need to see how he's gonna use uh, that gold per 10. we do have a uh, rome with an ability to take out a few of these archers and the uh, swatic is being put into a position that he needs to defend against this aggression with um, the great general on both sides they're gonna have a decent amount of damage and the looking at sheffield over here doesn't seem like it's uh, gonna go anywhere and i don't believe uh, the choke points will be um, left unattended yeah there we go we got some uh, first moves here uh, being set up uh Hugh Hugh can imagine yeah, let's see and Sasu good evening sir hello hello on the other hand the base game has a lot of very abusable mechanics and compare vanilla monumentality to BG for example yes that that exactly the monumentality man oh my god monumentality wow you know that's uh, what's the good thing in um the base game you don't always have civilizations with so many bonuses when it comes to uh, uh how to say religion right in bbg bbg did give uh, or did change quite a few civilizations for those extra added benefits the minus what is it 30 percent i believe minus 30 percent wow it's amazing tamar cultured victory everywhere vanilla russia yes exactly vanilla Russia. oh my god george yes you put it you put the finger on the wound <laughs> vanilla russia oh my 500 faith uh, pre-classical <laughs> yes i mean with Scythia, at least you have a gold problem with russia you don't have that problem right Yeah, terracotta army also coming up into from Lyon and we do have a spy in uh, Palenque and uh, it doesn't look like at the moment there is oh there is there is one from Maya over here in Avignon uh, when uh, terracotta army is gonna finish he's gonna give this spy an extra um, uh, point of um, promotion which will allow him to get the second tier going and that's gonna be important to extra tiers of intelligence um, uh, extra visibility i mean that's gonna be quite nice uh, maya does have at the moment uh, only three on him the courser uh, now from france uh, soon from france will have um, plus six so i won't necessarily say that bg makes everything easier faster compared to vanilla uh, okay 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 now uh, i don't like russia on deity ftw gets taken all of the feed the world gets taken all of the time well yeah yeah true you gotta be you know you gotta be on point with your choices over there looks like pompey is managing to deal a significant amount of damage by the way and he did get the builder that was about to chop the walls in sheffield if he actually repositions his uh, units towards the city of sheffield he might take over that city i don't see him doing that though he has a few knights on the way and i think he's um not that worried about how uh, fast the ancient walls are going up in sheffield i do think he sees this happening by the way he sees the walls getting built so uh, he should be aware that will be an option we do have uh, pompey also with the general focusing on the city of uh, Birmingham, where there is a swordsman over here in the forest that can be easily taken out by the knights um, we do have also defender of the faith for Birmingham. okay harbor shipping projects coming up from spain still no pre-built conquistadores even though he's getting his mission is to spread out his religion the great religion of crusade we do have uh, the english fleet getting upgraded in a cat he's going to start moving towards uh, nagoya and uh, slowly he's going to take out his uh, opponent over here or he's going to try to take him out first the first mission of these uh, english uh, boats is to take care of mitla either keep it on their side or take it out entirely mitla has been um, converted by sprig right now he's uh, getting envoyed it is disabled by the world congress by the way this is something that um, we don't talk about a monarchy getting one wildcard policy slot science city states do not provide a unique student bonus so no extra growth from mitla but still you get the science points that's the problem right you get the science points and the monarch did get uh, two diplo points
let me get some juice. Give me a sec. Okay, so we do have uh, new units coming out from Maya. He did get to his muskets and uh, looking on uh, France, uh, he did uh, get to 150 science. That's uh, 50 science more than Vladimir can actually output. Uh, we don't have a problem with uh, Sprig getting that uh, production though. With 200 production, he's definitely um, getting more units out faster than the Maya. And I don't see that many pre-builds also coming out from Maya here. Now, one turn away from getting Terracotta army, uh, Lyon is um, gonna get that extra spy promotion here soon enough which will uh, give him the damage uh, France is on gunpowder two turns, nationalism in six and um, of course they are on different continents over here so um, his um, guard imperials are not gonna work uh, let me actually take a quick peek over here on something there we go we do need to uh, take a look at what uh, naval warfare is going to look like uh, japan is going to realize relatively quickly that england is coming against him with the boats and uh, now at the moment they're actually standing out of their vision and we do have uh, pompey managing to take over the city of uh, sheffield which might be and uh, what should be deleted altogether Oh, Demon are actually starting to uh, get those Diplo points. Uh, he did manage to get the Diplo points from the World Congress session with uh, an advantage of three out of, uh, no, five out of 20. He is uh, putting down Mahabori Temple uh, from Bilbao, six turns away from finishing. He's going to get an extra two points from that, not to mention uh, finishing his religion. Uh, still getting a few theater squares going and uh, it looks like he is ignoring the fact that Rome is getting more army next to him. Uh, looking at the total tab in army, we do have uh, Demonar with 310 military strength while Pompey is 909. Well, I gotta say my heart jumped a little bit when I saw those uh, prophets uh, coming out and of course the missionaries and I was thinking, oh my god, yes, conquistador course with crusade pushing through opponents uh, lands and smashing and we see units taking down left right and center and you know like a lot of things happening over there and then i see diplo victory oh bro i mean i understand you go for the you know for the um sim option and i'm pretty sure uh, he's trying to keep uh, swat or uh, let swatik actually be the one uh, dealing the damage uh, there is uh, gonna be a problem though uh, pompey is at some point gonna get to his um uh, calves and cuirassiers which will allow him to have uh, quite an uh, extra strength unit over here against uh, victoria uh, victoria is also gonna fight on water as well as he's gonna fight on land and by the looks of it um, at the moment he's managing to do both uh, especially right now he's uh, getting those boats right in the face of japan japan did get a few frigates out he's gonna try to uh, help out to balance out the offense against uh, england with those while England is uh, first focusing on the Japanese Navy, or at least uh, getting in the face of it, uh, rather than going for uh, Mitla. Mitla getting ancient walls in three, that is going to be a major problem for these English uh, caravels to go against that city center. And if it doesn't go soon, well, that city center is not going to die anytime soon. And we got the Russia on the west side, uh, focusing to get a defense with the pikemen. These units should be able to withstand the attacks of um, the Rough Riders coming against them. While um, America lost its golden age, unfortunately that actually puts him quite behind when it comes to the stats. We barely have him going siege tactics in three, and he does have 150 science when he could have had a lot more. JR did explode. Oh my god, he's... <laughs> Right now, his muscles are ripping through the clothes, you know, like they're 
you can you can hear the ripping of the um, the tearing of the texture over here for JR's muscles. Uh, 216 signs, 135 culture. Man, if there would be a voice right here, it would be moo ha 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 ha. It will in the you know like in, in JR's mind over there, you, you can hear a little voice moo ha 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 ha. Definitely, definitely going big. 253 production 177 um, uh, faith he is going for statue of zeus gonna get those uh, pikemen going with much easier uh, production and uh, he does need to take care of novgorod as well as the last remaining tiles over here to the north of astrakhan uh, he is putting a unit on every tile and of course um, that actually takes a toll in his uh, gold generation that's why tirits would need to get as big as possible with a uh, 200 science and 113 gold a turn looks like tirits is able to occup his the allies here russia go brrr, yeah typical russia negative gold yeah poor economy is a tradition <laughs> well yeah i don't know man uh, anyway, we do have uh, France actually managing to push back Maya he, with the Corsairs so benefiting from a plus six inter on opponent's damage uh, or opponent's. Um, uh, movements we do have him uh, managing to deal enough damage with the crossbows to uh, tear through the musket line and now we do see a uh, sprig uh, getting in next to uxman uh, sprig is also gonna need um, to get some catapults or at, uh, at least catapults not to mention i think uh, trebuchets would be a much better choice to push um, successfully through the city centers uh, especially now that they are they are getting ancient walls we are also seeing him go for um, um a flanking maneuver here to the south so they are getting into the mines here we might see a uh, sprig managing to uh, get a decent amount of gold going there uh, there is a possibility also for japan to try to push from the south but it doesn't look like at the moment he's he's fancying that move uh, he does need to uh, pay attention to what's happening over here in the face of uh, england's uh, fleet while uh, both of them do manage and uh, do benefit from uh, great admirals uh, they do have uh, quite a bit of an issue and yeah there we go that's the retreat being called over here do, do, squatic is getting out of there yeah retreat retreat my boys they have cannons we do have shipyards coming up in the um, city centers of kyoto takamatsu <laughs> looks like nagoya is gonna get amphitheaters going some more workshops over the production queues and uh, since england is getting uh, quite attacked over here he doesn't have enough production to handle both uh, that is what is uh, keeping up um, japan alive I'm pretty sure if uh, pompey wouldn't have pushed over here into the english defenses uh, totally different uh, outcome would have been uh, in our faces we got rome actually not only pushing through sheffield and getting cities away from england but also managing to go through the defenses of spain on the west these are roman courses managing to get in there and looks like the arch is gonna be the first victim of uh, this front line pompey is just gonna ignore the units defending in the north he's just gonna go around them like okay oh no hey <laughs> uh yeah there we go so yeah I interesting interesting i i thought he's gonna first move that archer that didn't happen and it looks like spain did manage to uh, switch a few uh, turns over here switch a few units and got the defenses of the two courses so pompey looks like also will need to reposition to the north or uh, keep on pushing through these uh, looks like he's um managing to get to zaragoza and focusing uh, or forcing spain to get a defense there manchester is getting uh, walls up next turn but uh, rome's uh, units of course uh, did do some damage on the city center not gonna take it over though how did spain rail himself um going diplo that's a yeah tough question to answer sir we got we got a few cities from him going north here on the coast on the northeastern coast he could have settled another one didn't get uh, uh, that how to say the production from his uh, coastal resources but i guess we'll see we'll see if he manages to pull through it does look like um, pompey is doing amazing work to try to be as uh, much of as a wrecking ball as a nuisance as he possibly can and he's uh, succeeding in uh, that aspect 
Um, I, uh, irrel meaning irrelevant. It's the shortening that you use for irrelevant. Yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, we got uh, Spain actually losing a course in the south. Uh, he, the horses are going in through Madrid. Looks like uh, that archer actually was still the first victim. And while uh, Pompey is uh, now starting to pillage the tiles of um, Spain, getting those uh, gold juicy points going. Now he does have uh, more units uh, going towards uh, Saragossa to figure out what's going on there. And of course, putting the pressure on Manchester to the northeast. Um, Japan did manage to save up uh, Mitla and now Mitla has walls so that's going to be safe for quite some time now. Uh, there are some sea dogs coming off from the city of uh, Kar but they are nine turns uh, getting built there with a few chops available, only two chops available. Uh, Japan also is uh, starting to pressure uh, Maya from the south with uh, France uh, getting in there. Uh, fortunately for Maya, he, he did manage to get the field cannons uh, up with technology, so that will allow him to get, not to mention uh, Queen Asiers upgraded from these knights, but also very, very good um, strong attacks with the field cannons on the units of uh, France. Now, we do have another encampment training project coming up from Lyon. France is going to need to prepare himself for um, the next year units and uh, in the great people screen we do have uh, the next one john dark with the renaissance and industrial specialties uh, russia is two times the science against my yes yes russia oh my god russia piking shots Okay, we got Rough Riders now um, upgraded from, um, well, not upgraded, putting, being put into the production queues of America. Now, I was uh, lingering over here for a second, thinking of, okay, how is America going to deal with uh, this line of Pikey shows? See, these are definitely going to be very strong. Are these going to be strong enough to defend um, uh, Rough Riders? I think so. They should be more than enough, especially since Russia's uh, getting that extra production from his uh, Statue of Zeus uh, towards the spiking shots. He's also getting free units. He's getting uh, the ability to buy those units if he needs to. And he does have the core ability soon. If he doesn't have it, but he didn't core it. Yeah, he does have the core ability. So there we go. Piking shot cores coming out. 95 strength units when they're getting attacked by knights. Unless you bring some, I um, would uh, say, uh, some rangeliness to the fight, that's going to be a problem. Finally, we got some frigates coming off from England. He does have uh, three pre-builds over here. One of them did just get converted with uh, Cedo coming off from Ocad. He's going to get a decent amount of uh, range units on the seas to um, keep up with uh, Japanese aggression and the counter-attack. Uh, very important. Uh, there is a spy from Maya in uh, Japan's land. Japan is, from what I can see, he did not focus, or I don't know if he actually put a spy here in um, R Birmingham. I don't only see Rome's one. I don't actually see a spy from uh, Japan. He should have one though. Uh, looking at what's going on here. Rajendra. Okay, yeah, so he did equal out that extra diplomatic visibility, yeah, for sure. 
there is a spy somewhere. Uh, now that uh, th those Firkenas are coming out from Maya, you can see immediately France did retreat his own units. He does have level 2 Firkenas to uh, work with and that is going to deal so much damage against the Mayan units. Uh, especially in, in the upcoming uh, stage, we do need to see when he's going to get John Dyke or at least um, a next year general. And we do need to see if Sprig will want to keep on pushing. He does have the advantage over Maya. 180 science, 106 culture. He's in a pen and voice and even if uh, the next era will change a little bit the culture output it shouldn't matter that much he also has 202 production while um, we do have vladimir on 156 and looking at the production numbers we actually have every one of the players of la tabla ronda over 200 the production while um on we have no player from forever young on 200 production that is uh, quite a problem there quite a problem um, I don't see any knights getting upgraded here from uh, the into Rough Riders and uh, looking at the score screen, Teddy Roosevelt does benefit from 400 gold in the bank. He does have next and naval tradition, so maybe he is waiting to actually uh, put in the card here rather than do uh, anything uh, in between. Uh, Rajendra, yeah, Rajendra. Did I say Rajendra? I, I think, I'm, I'm sorry, that was a mistake. Rajendra. Okay, morning chemistry projects coming up from France. I believe he already finished one. Russia is going to try to get the next one, Renaissance Industrial. That's going to give him uh, a decent advantage if he needs one. Timur is also over there. Rough Riders, get, okay, now we get to see. Rough Rider course, not up to the challenge of attacking into the piking shots. 94 versus 98. That is a problem. We got military academies coming from St. Petersburg, and of course, he does want the ability to um, get those uh, cores directly. He did actually manage to build one, two, three of these um, uh, encampments and did manage to get on the east side an attacking force of Cossacks. And this is what I also wanted to see the Cossacks against the Knights. Yes, to deal a decent amount of damage, especially against those horses. I can't say we're actually going to see him push through the defenses uh, that America put into uh, Las Palmas. I believe uh, if uh, these uh, units actually turn into um, the Rough Riders, this is going to be very, very hard to deal with uh, for those uh, Cossacks. But of course, they're Cossacks. They can attack, they can move, attack, move, upgrade, and so on. So there, is, there is always a chance. Always a chance. And we do have uh, Quirasiris getting upgraded from uh, France. Looking at the Eels tab here, um, we do have Tirits also with 255 science, managing to double the amount of stats that Vladimir is benefit from. And uh, that is uh, definitely going to get him uh, an advantage in the next turn. And with 328 production, he should be more than capable of um, getting the land warfare at the same time as the naval warfare. The biggest problem here is the preparation and his... Um, awareness of what's going on in the other side of the map especially england over here on the west side he, he started building up more and more navy uh, he took notice of what was going on in japanese land and uh, got um, offenses going not to mention uh, that can be defensive units as well uh, while um, Kyoto, Takamatsu and Nagoya are not working on boats, uh, this might actually come back to haunt him. I'm not sure about uh, how fast he can build those boats. Uh, he does have 40 production in Takamatsu. Nagoya is on uh, 27 and Kyoto is uh, going to finish an industrial zone next turn, but he already has the shipyard in there and it's a 78 uh, production city. So he should at least to turn these uh, cannibals if he needs to. Uh, looking at the tech side here, uh, Tiritz is going for the bottom tree on castles, urbanization. Uh, on the uh, civic tree. Uh, Shizuoka can produce also. Shizuoka. Oh, this one. Yeah, you're right. Shizuoka can produce also can, because he can go through Kyoto, right? Very nice, very nice. So he has four cities that can uh, produce those units. I'm actually surprised that he didn't settle another city here to the south. Not a lot of food, but definitely was another production center that he could use. And with religious settlements, you know, he should just keep on spamming cities. Spam to the left, spam to the right, spam, just spam cities.
Okay, so Russia is getting some fast units. The Cossacks to um, scout for him. The American Rough Raiders are also six movement, one movement uh, faster than these Cossacks because they do benefit from a uh, general. Gustavus Adolfus is going to help out America's units. The Pike shots are uh, 99 strength, especially right now that they got the 45 on them. Uh, they are quite uh, strong to deal with and we do have some rough riders upgraded from las palmas uh, we do have them also starting to move now he is gonna see the cossack that is a cossack that's just a normal cossack with 72 strength roy here is gonna uh, to shut the cossack oh, e, oh, ah, e. but the piking shots he's getting in age of the piking shots guys uh oh i mean yeah, you know what's going to happen here, right? Uh, Roy is just going to... Oh, my God. He's going to see this. How many units does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 units? It's the wall. I think all of this investment from the beginning of the game will just go poof into the air. He can get two shot by the pike and shots. Like if this one rough rider gets in out of position, he can get slammed. Oh no. Uh, wow, okay. I mean that that's happening. <laughs> the wall. The wall of pike and shots. Man, this, uh, this is like the Spartan wall, but it's uh, with piking shots, you know. You can see the spears coming out. Uh, over here, we start to see English uh, boats uh, getting quite close to uh, Japanese borders. Uh, you can actually see England is going to try to get all of them there. And uh, I do see the sea dogs are going to be in front. They did not shoot yet. They didn't get revealed by these uh, caravels. If you take a look at the... Um, oh, actually, he did get revealed by the caravan. Oh, oh, he's close enough. Or is, do we see them or do we don't see them? Because this is weird. We do see them as... Uh, uh, how do you call them? As um, a zone observer, but they shouldn't see them. They shouldn't see the sea dogs unless they're next to them. Uh, how much temperature GPT is Russia? Riklum uh, asking the hard questions is minus 98. Wow. Minus 98 gold. Oh, he doesn't have the minus one card. He's still getting Corvi. He does, uh, sorry, Grand Army. He has a Merchant Confederation, Liberalism, Holy Sides. He's even using Holy Side card. Oh my God. Yeah. England will take Japan. Uh, I don't know. We got, oh no. Imhotep, Phoenician Arsenal in Kyoto. And you know what I'm saying, or no, right? How many times have we seen Venetian Arsenal built and never actually got the bonus going? How many times? Yeah, if Japan wakes up, this is going to be good. But if Japan doesn't wake up, this is going to go south really quickly here. I think England will take his good old time to try to attack Mitla. If, if he's two turns late on this attack, medieval walls will go up. And it's going to make it so much harder for these uh, units of uh, England to uh, take down that city. Thandorios, also good evening, sir. How are you doing? How are you doing? What do we have here? This is a stalemate. Roy doesn't want to push into this. Oh my god, he's dying. Look at that. Rough Riders are just dying, attacking into the piking shots. Oh man. Wow. JR just correctly predicting what's going to happen in the next part of the game. Correctly assuming he's uh, going to need to get that defense and did go crazy with it. Now totally taking out any of the abilities of America to do any kind of damage against him. He does have a problem with the gold and overall they're not making that much gold but they do have a lot of production to work with. Uh, JR is on a 300 production with a 230 faith while we do have Tirits on 400, Pompey on 200 and Sprig on 210. There needs to be somebody starting to get the gold going for them because otherwise uh, this is going to not go well for the next part of the game. 
I do have uh, friends over here with a uh, few field cannons, uh, definitely defending against Maya. Maya did get to 166 science and 108 culture, still slacking behind the Sprig over there is uh, 208 and 116. Uh, looking at um, previously recruited, I do want to quickly take a peek over here who did manage to get Newton. I know it got picked, but I... Okay, there we go. It was Russia that got Newton. And uh, Ip Khaldun by um, France is going to get that extra two housing, uh, the one amenity and the non-food yields benefits of happiness in your empire by 40. Very important, by the way. And I got to point out, nobody actually went for Colosseum this game. Wait, did Imhotep just charge? Okay. Uh, another important fact, the JR is starting to acquire the tourists, uh, 3 out of 43 in the era score screen. Uh, we do have actually the next era next turn and it looks like we got uh, one, two, two of those um, golden ages, one heroic I believe uh, from uh, Roy, but that's about it. No, heroic, sorry, from Demon and uh, normal, age for, uh, golden, normal golden age for uh, Roy. Russia, foreign culture victory imminent. 7 out of 43. He just rolled over so many of those uh, tourists. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Like this. Hello? Yeah? yeah no. <laughs> he can't get in anywhere. Wow. Okay. I mean, this happened. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens after playing too much Zulu. Yeah, the Rockers will uh, end the game. Uh, the Rockers will need somebody to play uh, or some territory to play in, and it doesn't look like at the moment uh, Rome does have a good territory to play in. He does have a few uh, theater squares and I guess a few campuses that he could use. Uh, one wonder. That's it. Yeah, that's that's the one wonder. Uh, definitely not. Uh, not the best place one uh and, and you do see he's on uh what two uh, on 100 culture right now not the biggest of them all but i can't say there's uh, enough uh, culture on uh, the other team to actually defend properly we're going to need to see them uh, ramp up their uh, theater square defense and uh, maybe america is going to pick up the slack here because uh, spain is still getting pushed by uh, rome i'm pretty sure they will try to get the advantages when it comes to ooh, vladimir disconnecting that Arctic wins. Thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Well, I guess we're going to need to see when they're going to get back. They're going to get back soon, hopefully. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back soon.
Okay, he's in. And we're going. Jamie of St. George from Mamaya is gonna get uh, him uh, the ability to build those uh, medieval worlds much faster, and that's gonna put him, um, put Japan at a disadvantage here. We do have uh, Kyoto and Shizuoka getting those uh, cannibals, and uh, looks like he's one turning three of them. Uh, he did manage to get um, some work done on the Venetian arsenal, but realized that he's not gonna have time to finish everything. He does need to get those boats up in front as soon as possible. England did get the ironclad admiral, and uh, Japan did manage to get uh, Santa Cruz. That's gonna give him the armada one. There we go, Eastern Sin over here from uh, England. He's gonna pose a problem, a challenge. We do have him with a very, very high strength. Now, uh, there is a chop available for TD. It's in uh, the city of uh, Nagoya. And uh, I do see him actually two turning these caravels in, or this uh, these weren't ever built. I don't know. There is like a sliver of production there. I don't know where that comes from. Um, it, it does feel like, especially with um, one turning these caravels, it does feel like it's a bit awkward to uh, get Venetian Arsenal. Uh, he does have a decent amount of uh, production to work with at the moment, and uh, he would need uh, Venetian Arsenal probably for the Ironclads and the uh, next tier units. The, the fact that he doesn't have that big of a fleet to work with is uh, going to pose quite a challenge here. We do need to see if he's going to manage to up, uh, to keep up with the challenges. And since they don't have a lot of gold to put into... Um, uh, upgrades or even buy out units that's gonna be a problem uh, you hope GDR is in nukes again yeah, it might happen yeah been enjoying the Civ commentaries keep up the good work dude it's appreciated thank you so much sir for your prime much appreciated and I, I do hope you definitely enjoy the show in and I do get to improve and get some uh, uh, entertainment bonus uh, going. Uh, it's an ongoing challenge to find um, what you guys like, what I do like to do, and how to mix that up with Civilization 6 content and so on and so forth. Yay, thank you. We got Zanzibar coming up for with the Statue of Liberty. He's going to try to snatch that away from... Um, his opponent, uh, Spain over here was trying to get it and uh, that is uh, by the looks of it uh, not happening at the moment uh, as in tried to get the Diplo victory, that's the biggest thing uh, they were um, trying to get an advantage here with Demon Arrow 7 out of 20 points if you would, have, uh, if you would get the Statue of Liberty that would put him on 10 out of 20 two full congresses away from getting a win quite... Um, quite a problem now we do have uh, Spain also managing to push back uh, his um, opponent over here is push back um, Pompey but I think Pompey did more than enough damage you can see the rows of these mines uh, getting uh, pillaged and of course um, uh, not actually giving uh, all of the full uh, production they have a second Okay, so I go A into hmm, silver, maybe? I didn't see that much silver on the map. Uh, when you expel a great ten minute, does it uh, always return to the closest city or does it go to the mother city? Always the closest city. And the same can happen with, uh, I think, all of the great people. Not only the animals, every, every great person. Okay, let go for this. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. Trader coming up from uh, Spain. Where is this guy going? To Washington? Why? Okay, in what world did this trader think it's a good way of setting up a trade route to Washington through the south, right in the face of Russia? Really? Oh my god.
I don't know. I mean, I, I, this this guy is just out of position. This guy is bringing supplies to to the war effort, but not the American war effort. He's giving it to the Russian war effort over here in the south. <laughs> There's another one coming here. Oh my god, another one. Oh no. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Shepard is asking for the team goal per turn. Oh, that's can can we not look at that? <laughs> we got Jay with minus 152. Uh, Tiritz is barely on 73. He now needs to build up his boats very, very quickly. He has a problem with the iron class pushing through him. And uh, you do see Tiritz uh, did manage to get a careful armada. At least, uh, at least he's gonna be, uh, I would say, uh, safe for a little while longer. At least a turn or something. Zondex Kind, hello, Desen, and welcome. How have you been doing? Good evening, good evening. Thank you so much for uh, the raid. Here we go again. Yeah, come real. Hello, Dersan, and welcome. Good evening. Uh, we do have um, the finals coming up for the CPL Premier League. Uh, on one side, we got Forever Young. On the other side, we got uh, La Table Ronde. La Table Ronde did manage to uh, pull off the win in the first game, and it does look like they're coming close to a win in this one. Uh, with uh, so much stance coming up from JR Tiritz and Sprig, and they are managing to... Um, uh, develop their parts uh, quite fast but there is a problem though the gold generation is not helping them at all uh, we do have him um, barely barely breaking even over there with uh, Tiritz on 103 uh, JR is minus 106 Pomp is minus 27 Sprig is 47 uh, looking at what's going on over here the reason Russia is not actually making that much gold is because he made a line of defensive um, piking shots to defend against America's rough riders have a good evening, sir, and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Big shout out, by the way, to the man, the legend, the Zondax kind. Shout out. Let me see. Uh, Zon. Uh, there we go. Big shout out. Uh, is uh, uh, LTR throwing? No, no, I don't think so. This is a legit strategy to go. Um, I would say so many of these spiky shots. I believe uh, they are st still acquiring those uh, tourists and uh, looking at what's going on over here. Uh, in the overall tab, we do have uh, JR on 72, Tourism per 10, Hojo is on 69. There's not much defense in the culture from uh, the other side, from uh, Forever Young. Uh, we do also have France managing to get um, more size than Vladimir for some time now. Looking at the total tab, is uh, 300 points over, while he does have uh, an advantage in the culture as well. Same as before, 300 points. Looking at um, what's going on between them, uh, the production is uh, telling a story, 257 production, Vladimir is on 144, and we do have uh, France uh, able to settle a few more cities over here to the east, at least three more that I can see. Now, he does have a problem though, he's on the same coast as America, yeah, he, is on, he does have Boston to take out, he's going to need to figure out a way to do something about it. Uh, we do have uh, amphitheaters coming up from Lyon. Paris is going to get us now the spine. Looks like um, the Forbidden City has been built here in Paris. Oh my god, this is an awesome place to have a castle, by the way, guys. Can you imagine actually living here? Oh, so much water around until, you know, that that's all fine and dandy until a hurricane hits. And then you're going to wish you'd be more inland, you know. Uh, looking at what's going on over here, we do have new boats uh, coming up from Japan. For Japan, uh, he is um, getting encircled with the Caraval Armada. He's getting walls in Nagoya, and I do see uh, sea dogs are uh, getting in there. Uh, the frigates of England are... Um, having a hard time attacking to the Japanese Caraval Armada and we do have uh, Japan also fleeting up his other boats unfortunately that also makes them uh, weaker when it comes to the full strength there we go that's a that is a problem that is a problem uh, I'm not sure if uh, that was the correct choice over here from uh, Tiritz uh, we do need to see how fast these boats are going to get on the front line and if he's going to manage to uh, save up his um, frigates Japan has quite a few challenging first moves to do against uh, Swatik uh, two turns from getting um, this uh, Venetian arsenal that will allow him to uh, switch to one um, one turn, uh, one turn in cannibals, and I'm actually there. We go. I was surprised he's actually building walls in uh, Shizuoka. He definitely would have needed to help out the naval support, uh, uh, naval power, rather than do anything else. 
And we do have uh, Rome uh, still with um, the power uh, is getting all of these uh, cuirassiers and he will try to um, attack him to the english defenses there we go he just started up his attack that will allow him to push uh, england and force him to get some goal going on this side uh, that also puts um, a bit more of pressure on his uh, goal generation or i should say uh, the negative gold negative Rome is still alive. Yes, Rome is still alive. Can you imagine Rome is still alive? Wow. Can't believe it. We do have uh, Rome pushing in. He's starting to core up his units and um, get new Corassiers with full strength on the front line. Uh, he's um, starting to also attack the English frigates on the coast and he's building up a defense with uh, trebuchets. Uh, we do have uh, new Corassiers coming up from Ravenna, from Kume, and uh, by the looks of it, it's going to take a while until um, they actually get on the front line. Sheffield needs to be taken over again with uh, Rome going into a Dark Age. He is uh, going to get to use his Dark Age card, but unfortunately, that also uh, means he's not gonna get a lot of um I want to say a lot of uh, loyalty pressure. Silver, no amenities. Looks like um, Hojo Tokimun, uh, this player borders will not grow via culture. Uh, Demonar loses two Diplo victory points. That actually allows them to uh, delay a little bit uh, Demonar's advantage. Uh, Demonar is trying to go for Statue of uh, Liberty, which will get denied over here. Zanzibar is building it in seven, while uh, I do see nine turns for it to finish in the cities of uh, Spain, in the capital city of Spain. He does have two chops though. If he gets a builder and he is gonna get one from Barcelona, he could try to chop it. The stone and the rainforest. Not very good chops, but still there are chops. He's also improving those mines, repairing those mines over here in the south. Or maybe just uh, take out to lose less gold. <laughs> yeah, just try to do as much damage as possible. Hey, Japan did get an ironclad armada. Hello. Did it did manage to get to um, armada technology? Yeah, he did. Ironclad arm uh, technology, I mean. Now these boats are uh, going to manage to uh, deal the damage with uh, one turning that Venetian arsenal. He is going to manage to turn the tide of war against um, England uh, slowly but surely. These uh, units are going to bite the dust. We do have England with only 114 science and 74 culture. Now he's not benefiting from a free inquiry golden age. While did, did retain 236 of his own science points per turn and 146 culture. We do have JR on 300 science, 108 culture with a minus 110 gold a turn. He's getting pushed quite uh, badly over here and it looks like um, at the moment with uh, the Dark Cage... No, these are Golden Age now. Wait, is it Russia in a Dark Cage? He's in a Normal Age. Oh, I guess it is what it is. Let's see if he's gonna manage to pull through. Some of these units are gonna die, definitely. We do have more Cossacks coming out here and it doesn't seem like he's uh, focusing on the Pike issues. He still wants to get the Cossacks going. Okay. How did he break the wall? That's a good question. Maybe, maybe Russia had a weaker unit in the wall or something. Because honestly, I don't know what to say about this. Maybe there was a weak, a weakness, a chink in the armor, you know? Uh, too many units in one area, I guess. Okay, so Rome unfortunately will meet a wall over here in uh, English defenses, but that also means uh, England was forced to upgrade more of these units and uh, go on the bottom three as well as the top three. Not really an ideal situation to be in, but he's doing his best to um, overcome this uh, challenge. Uh, he knew about Rome for some time now. Um, fortunately, that also means... Um, a Spain will not get uh, pushed that hard and it looks like he is trying to get the stone chop over here in the Statue of Liberty. Might take it away from uh, Zanzibar. We do have uh, Tiritz trying to get in there with a the builder or I don't know what he's doing uh, but he doesn't have a chop. One, two, three, four. 
one to three i guess but that's a rainforest job not really the best job uh does he have great person no me marcina that's not the correct one right and spain already passed this mm, japan is not gonna get it and from what i can see we do have uh, japan managing to um uh, deal the damage against the English uh, caravels here uh, with uh, the new frigates coming online and the uh, ironclads able to withstand the damage of their opponents uh, he should be able to uh, push back soon he does have uh, a lot of these sea dogs in the water and he needs to be careful not to have his units taken out but these sea dogs are doing nothing nothing to the ironclad armadas these are just tickling those boats So, slowly but surely, England is being forced to uh, retreat his boats uh, to his own lands and we're going to need to see if um, he's going to manage to get out with enough boats to uh, defend his um, next attack. You can see he just lost his uh, one ironclad. Uh, England doesn't have enough uh, technology, or I should say science button, to uh, manage to... Um, um, Managed to get to ironclads of his own until some time. <laughs> we do have uh, Kyoto and Shizuoka ready to start building those ironclads again. And uh, there is a bit of a problem with uh, probably that uh, coal per turn. We do need to see if uh, Japan is going to get enough coal per turn to uh, fix this. Uh, looking at what's going on over here. Statue of Liberty, four turns. And let's see. Three turns. Yeah, there we go. He chopped both tiles. It's one turn faster than uh, Zanzi. Zanzi and this is one two three to chop actually four to chop because he doesn't have any movement now that's too late that's one ten too late oh no oh well it happens we don't need to see if uh, Japan is also gonna um, uh, try to switch gears to attack my own land i don't believe actually uh, france is going to get that pleasure uh, looking at uh, the lands of uh, france over here sprig did manage to um, improve quite a few of his tiles but he didn't manage to get that many more science points or culture points um and by the looks of it it's going to take a while until he actually gets new cities out on the east side he is uh, putting down uh, more of these commercials so he gets the gold generation so now we know what he has been up to on 77 gold a turn and uh, all about to get 300 production he does only have uh, two of these, uh, three of these in camels. He was, he would need a few more, maybe two more, to actually get a decent amount of um, oil generation going. And looking at his uh, land, he does have in the north part, uh, in the tundra, some of these uh, oil tiles, the rebel oil tiles, so that he could get to uh, get those tanky tanks working. And the artilleries, I'm pretty sure that's the timing that he's going to look at uh, to attack uh, Maya over here, especially since... Um, he has been having a size advantage for some time. Vladimir, though, did not flinch and did go for his own timing attack over here, in, or timing defense on the south, on the bottom tree. He is pulling down a few more of these encampments, and he is aware that he might get pushed to tanks. He's going to try to build up a defense, and we'll see if France is going to manage to overcome it. Okay, really quickly tuning in here. Do need to see if this is going to happen or what's going to happen. Is it happening? Three frigates on one caravel. We got ironclads. One of those uh, sea dogs died. Another one of those uh, frigates died. Oh, this fleet is gonna die. Yeah, d d yeah, the boom, bam. Yeah, that's it. It's moving in with uh, new units uh, coming up from uh, Kyoto, from the north, from uh, ironclad. Very nice, very nice. Give me a second. Mm, trying to figure out something really quickly. Okay. Okay. Peter Pirate Pan. Pirate and Pan. Hello there, sir. And good evening. Good evening wow yeah we we got morning good morning good morning 
uh, GPT of Russia is uh, amazing. What can I say? He did dwindle down to minus 68. I think he actually switched a few cards. He did manage to push back those uh, Rough Riders. And looking at his cards here, he's, uh, he did switch conscription on. And he still has a Merchant Confederation. Uh, he's in a Monarchy right now. And uh, still got um, Republican, like I said, Liberalism. And that campus adjacency has a very strong advantage over uh, Roy and he has been keeping that advantage for some time. He's on, about to hit that 6,000 points mark while Roy is on 4,700. That is uh, quite a difference between them. Now we do have uh, actually Russia over here managing to uh, get the get more units he got the defense going looks like these american rough riders are actually protecting um <laughs> these uh these traders of demoner going from one side to the other uh, we do have uh, shipyards coming out from valencia looks like there are uh, now more units more or i should say better units coming up on the east side uh, it's just one on every day time oh i see so it's good day is that what it is? It's good day. That's good tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, also, very Nansen is very beneficial this time. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I agree. Justice is pointing out uh, exactly what it uh, needs to be pointed out. Venetian Arsenal actually for the one out of ten times it actually works uh, we got Zanzibar actually not managing to get that uh, statue and uh, looks like uh, Kilva Kisivan is going to be his uh, next choice he's going to two turn it quite quickly there because he did get all of that overflow while I did notice uh, there were uh, the units of Rome uh, pillaging all of the tiles of England. And that is going to be quite unfortunate for England because now he's going to be pushed on land and on la water. I'm pretty sure uh, Tiritz is uh, going to keep on um, getting uh, boats over here and is going to try to push his advantages against England. He does have a CAD to uh, liberate. That's going to give them um, 100 Diplo favor points quite easily and uh, manage to get an advantage in the next World Congress. Now, we do also see Colossus coming up from Takamatsu for an extra... Um, a trade route capacity, Potala Palace from Kyoto to try to get that, you know, one point of advantage there. And the one turning ironclads in the meantime from Shizuoka. Uh, looking at the um, Russian territory here, we got factories uh, coming online, more of these amphitheaters uh, and commercial hubs. Uh, okay, so JR is definitely trying to balance out his uh, gold output with its gold generation. We do have him on 350 production and 225 uh, faith per turn. Uh, looking at also the religions, Buddhism did get finished with holy waters and watts, while um, England didn't finish his religion, and then Spain did go for pilgrimage with a meeting house. Uh, one is hello. Oh, I see. Hello. Okay. Hello. Like, hi. Okay. Hello. I always thought like it's hello. Isn't it hello? You, like in Germany, you say with an a instead of an e um how is the russian american front is just stagnating there's nothing stalling here there's nothing happening mrq by the way thank you sir uh how is it dankation dankation right dankation We do have uh, Inkiamans being put down from uh, Spain. He's also trying to get Potala Palace from Bilbao and still has a chop in that city center. <laughs> we don't need to see if uh, that's going to be enough. Uh, I do see Filippo Bruneski is here and is uh, starting to move towards Potala Palace. So he should be able to get that away from Tokyo also. Uh, Japan does not have an opportunity to get a chop in and nor, nor does he have a great engineer to work. Uh, Japan is uh, only on 14 great engineer points of turn and even if Gustav Weiss Eiffel is the next one. Uh, it's going to take uh, quite a bit of time for him to uh, gather enough points with the projects to recruit that in to help him out. Uh, JR still 7 out of 54 uh, tourists. It doesn't look like in the culture screen he's growing that fast, but uh, he, he will probably roll a few more uh, tourists uh, soon. Uh, probably going to be on uh, 10 or something uh, soon enough. Uh, okay, Colossus got finished by Demonar. Ooh. took it away from japan like the man the legend okay demon are just going strong right now he's mad he is mad at what pompey has done to his land and he's like no i'll show you 
We do have uh, over here Pompey also managing to get uh, into the lands of Birmingham Hall and Leeds. It takes a little time to uh, pillage all of the land, but he's doing it. He's uh, showing up there with um, as many units as he possibly could build. And there's a second attacking force being prepared here in the north of uh, Ravenna. We do need to uh, take a look at what's going on here in the CAD. Well, now we do have uh, Japanese uh, battleships on the field with Tiritsa uh, getting also Iron Kaiser Armada there. Uh, he is getting spotted by an English Sea Dog and slowly but surely the CAD is going to get under attack. There is a uh, Governor Victor establishing there in uh, a few turns and we'll see if uh, that's actually going to allow him to... Um, uh, defend properly uh, on the western front it looks like america has stagnated quite a bit in his development even if uh, the beginning of the game he did have a serious advantage by losing that second golden age it did put him down uh, quite a bit and um, as you can see unfortunately he has uh, quite a few problems uh, getting back up in the same stats uh, he stopped settling he's on two four six seven cities for some time now on 166 science 100 culture 182 gold at 10 that is very good by the way that gold per 10 that do help does help them out quite a bit and it um, brings a good difference between uh, them. Uh, he does also have the production on 300 production. And now he's going for those military academies from uh, multiple cities. He's preparing for the next part of uh, the game. Of course, that tank artillery warfare. We're going to need to see if uh, they do manage to break uh, England in the meantime, while uh, there are more units arriving from uh, Pompey uh, to take care of the English defenses. Uh, still, the cities are going to keep on uh, strong with uh, the garrison of 200, 200 health with a defense of uh, at least 74 that is going to be a very very tough cookie to crack without uh, battleships of course the battleships are uh, going to be there soon and uh, you do see how much damage they can actually do to the cities of uh, England's defenses just trying to see really quickly something ba -ba 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 -ba. okay In the northeast, we do have uh, France also managing to get those um, encampments going. And now he's building his uh, specializing buildings of choice in them with the barracks, with the stables, with uh, or the stables with uh, the military academies, the armories, and so on. Uh, getting the coal power plants for the next production, and you do see he did manage to get more than double the amount of uh, Vladimir's production 168 versus 340 on Sprig. I gotta say he didn't get more science though he has been on this level of science for 20 turns now and uh, he just kept on building his economy and um, his production rather than anything else uh, did also stop um, uh, settling on the east side didn't want to get closer to america maybe that is by choice he doesn't want to actually um, expand and give america free cities on the east side uh, even though america is fully focused on russia at the moment delta eu thank you so much for the follow say uh, gold is a real problem is someone pillaging i think yes yes it's pompey pillaging pompey the pillage machine is uh, doing the damage in english territory Oh, I, I'm just here to get the gold, boys. Just don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Oh, ah, look, that's a gold coin. Yeah, definitely. Pompey over here is getting everything, everything over here from uh, the tires of England. We do need to see how fast the cat will fall. Looks like uh, all of the English fleet, when they saw the battleships coming, they were like, oh, <laughs> you know what? I got something to do real quickly, you know, <laughs> like there's a, um, I want to say, uh, there's a joke in uh, Romanian, which I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out how to translate it in uh, English. Uh, basically, there's a door and two guys, you know, the first guy goes in and they don't know what's behind the door. The first guy goes in and he gets punched in the face. And then when he comes out, he holds his uh, hands to his nose and he's like, you know what? You can go in. I'm laughing too hard. Oh, man, I'm really laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> like the second guy goes in, boom, he gets a punch too. <laughs> 
the, the same thing is happening over here you know like uh, english all of the english boats got out of there and then all of them are like oh you know what you can you can stay there i'm laughing too hard bro you can you know i can't go in right now <laughs> i can't go again <laughs> it's fine with the japanese battleships uh, getting in there we do need to see the cannibal fleets also uh, managing to deal the final damage on the city of uh, a cat uh, now the walls are starting to get down there and uh, the, yeah the trebuchet will definitely save a cat yes yeah we do have um uh, i would say uh, one two three four four of these uh, battleship units while uh, England, yeah, I mean, England just doesn't have, no, he's not going to have production from two cities. He's never going to have the production to actually uh, counter match this. Uh, way too many units coming up from Japan. He just uh, got control of all of this land. And that, I got to say, that also gives him control of Las Palmas of Valencia. It is the same land, uh, the same uh, water mass over here connected through the south of Rome, which um, they couldn't actually get yeah that's that's a big issue uh, our cat will probably get um, flipped will get liberated and uh, we will need to see uh, how much uh, they will get as an advantage over here i know 100 diplo favor points but now i'm thinking is that 100 diplo favor points gonna put them ahead or behind or uh, or close to or something like that and uh, looking at what's going on here definitely uh, they're gonna get an advantage there is a significantly more diplo favor on um uh, forever young uh, looking at the diplo uh, how to say uh, the city state screen we do have roy on uh, 23 on singapore mogadishu is uh, okay being held by vladimir bologna on tirits spring so they have both of those science city states bologna and mitra are being held by la tabla ronda uh, jr is on yerevan and then demon are on armag so one one each and the cultural city state is being held by uh, Pompey. That's one, two, three, four versus one, two, three. Okay. Okay, so it's four versus three in the city states. A little bit of an advantage over here in uh, influence per turn from city states uh, coming for um, La Table Ronde. Not a lot to skew the game, but I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be important. Uh, how many Diplo points? Uh, I think I, well, 176, 209, 192, and 248. Uh, will he be eligible to keep a cat? Uh, no, he can't keep a cat because he, uh, well, wait, I think you can keep a cat if it's uh, if it was your opponent's city state, right? So you can keep it. Uh, but I think he's going to liberate it anyway. It's much better. It's way, way better. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. The liberation comes in. A cat, a hundred diplo favor, acquired by Tirits on two hundred thirty-one right now. Um, by rule, you can keep a cat. Does England killed it? Uh, I don't think he's allowed to liberate it. Then take it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. I don't think he can take it again. But anyway, I, I think he's just going to move forward towards uh, London and um, Leeds. Uh, that would actually leave uh, England on uh, two, four cities in the north. And you can see, actually, we got some Mayan uh, cuirassiers coming out to help Rome. And that is how desperate this looks like, by the way. Uh, th that's going to be quite a problem. Um, England is getting pressure from too many sides. Demon is trying to get his stats up. And um, as you can see, he has a decent amount of gold in the bank. Now uh, he can upgrade all of his units if he wants. The problem is what is he going to do with them? Rome is quite hard and he does have a strong military. Doesn't seem like it's going to be easy to push through even with this uh, advantage. While um, Tirith, JR and um, Sprig 
all three of them have more science than Philip. Uh, that's Philip on uh, Heroic Age. We reformed the coinage with Sixun Dracones and the um, Exodus of the Evangelist on his side. Now we do need to see how fast those battleships will finish off uh, London and uh, Leeds because they can go towards Valencia and Las Palmas right afterwards. And uh, you do see that Russia is also putting a few of these Cossacks in the front line to see what's going on. They probably scouted everything anyway. Uh, so th these are just going to try to make a wall of defenses uh, to the north of Bandar Brunei to not allow any one of those units to get through. Uh, we do have uh, Rough Riders actually going on the west side trying to defend against the Russian Cossack. A single Russian Cossack tries to see what's going on here in the lands of America. Multiple Rough Rider Corps are also coming out from uh, the cities of America. Very, the biggest question would be where are those gonna go? Uh, there is a possibility for them to go towards France even if it will take some time. All of the French army is positioned on the west side towards uh, Maya and they will keep uh, being there for some time. Uh, if uh, Zanzibar is liberated, that's, yes, yes. I don't think um, uh, city states can keep wonders, don't can they? And if it's liberated, it just poofs, disappears. Colga uh, is also uh, saying that yes, you can't liberate and take it back. Yeah, so he needs to move forward. Okay, looks like uh, Japan did move in and starts to uh, take out the remaining boats of England here. There was a um, sea dog over there on the coast just pillaging the tiles of uh, Rome, uh, the, especially the mines, so he can get the gold. While uh, his other units are moving towards um, the English cities, Leeds and London. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can't build uh, Wonder two times. So one, once it got built in a game, you can't build it again. Like the, the game just remembers and it's not going to allow you to build it again. I don't think I've ever seen a Wonder in a city-state. Maybe that's just me. In a free city, maybe. But in a city-state, no. But that's actually a good question. Does it remain or does it not remain? Can anybody confirm or deny this? Uh, why do you remember game? You forget a hundred things uh, every day? I mean, sure. I'm pretty sure city states aren't forbidden to uh, do that. Aren't or are? Arsenius, also good evening, sir. Why don't you make sure this is one of them? Peter? What are you talking about? I don't remember. Also, yeah, I don't remember seeing a wonder in a CS, like, ever. Oh, by the way, we got aerodromes coming off from uh, Tokyo, Zanzibar. So you can imagine planes are going to be flying over uh, Maya's uh, territory soon enough. Uh, Vladimir is also going to the, uh, through the top three and bottom three. He just finished industrialization. Yeah, look at the one, two four mines and the one fives. And he is uh, trying to get combustion in four turns. Um, Japan here is uh, benefiting from uh, 100 more science on 293 with uh, 130 more culture on 202. Uh, still, the biggest problem is uh, the gold generation. And we do have uh, Japan on 545 gold a turn, as, uh, sorry, production a turn as well. 
the boats uh, of England did disappear from the south of Leeds, so probably the Japanese fleet did make quick work of them. We do have uh, Japan with the battleship fleets uh, getting in range of the cities over here, and uh, we do need to see how fast he's going to manage to overtake those uh, defenses. Uh, he does have a bit of a problem here. He does need to attack with the battleships and then take over the cities with uh, ironclads in that order. We're going to need to uh, take a look how much movement these battleships will have, and probably next turn is going to be one of these cities more surely it's going to be Leeds that's going to be attacked um, you quoted Michael of GTA 5 who's Michael in GTA 5 okay I've never seen a wonder disappear either okay uh, so many things to learn in this game even after many hours for me I've I've seen many wonders disappear by the way many wonders Um, okay. Spiking shots, spiking shots, spiking shots, etc. Webcam now. We do have uh, France coming up over here in Lyon. He's going to get the artillery armies, and it looks like with the planes of um, Japan, he is going to manage to get more um, army strength than the Maya soon enough. Vladimir is only on uh, 200 production and uh, we do have uh, both Sprig and Tirits with uh, more than double that. Uh, looking on the west side here, we do need to see if uh, there's going to be any chance of uh, Spain managing to overcome his opponents. He's uh, getting a few conquistadors very late in the game to get the conquistadors, but he's uh, putting down um, uh, aerodrome and I do see biplanes uh, coming up uh, from Madrid. Yeah, I mean, just like Kolga is saying, when you build a wonder on a coastal tile, it just goes poof when it gets flooded. <laughs> you Banks coming up in Novgorod, Russia, Russia, Russia. Man, I would love to see that happening, by the way, what we were talking about here. I would love to see if that's actually a possibility, but I don't see that uh, possibility at the moment of uh, any of that happening. Uh, we got tanks coming up from uh, Sprig, and they are a bit faster than uh, Vladimir. Vladimir is three turns uh, away from getting his combustion, and looks like uh, France is going to try to push uh, right now. Uh, unfortunately he doesn't have enough uh, gold to upgrade everything and looking at the yield stamp he's definitely not going to have enough um, the next turn uh, we do have him with a decent amount of pre-builds and this is the era that he's going to need to think about hard building everything um the CS now has one. Does the CS keep it or does it disappear? That's the biggest question. Yeah CC Pyro exactly the wonder stays look at that so look we got two uh, people saying that it stays the wonder stays so you could have Zanzibar with uh, Kilva Kisivani how is Rome also a tanks uh, I mean he's getting boosted by uh, his uh, allies I guess and uh, a lot of uh, I was like Vladimir also did go top 3 for uh, industrialization while Rome did not he's still in the uh, normal he just has apprenticeship. Leeds is getting also taken out. Looks like um, the walls are down and we don't need to see if uh, Japan is going to uh, fully take over that city in the next turn. I don't see another attack here from the battleships yet. Well, there is a discussion on Steam, which is kind of a visual proof. It may stay. Uh-huh. Arsenius is saying it might stay. Uh, can you give me the link uh, directly, by the way, Arsenius? It's much easier to uh, share it in the uh, chat. I, I'm sorry, but there are so many bots that link stuff to other stuff to get bots, and I don't want that on my channel. Uh, is, if a finished wonder is destroyed by the destruction of the scene, you can't build it again? Yes, indeed. I do have to second that. It's more of a question if uh, the city state can keep a wonder or not, I believe, rather than anything else. Like, uh, 
would have been nice if a cat had a wonder, for example. We would have seen it uh, being liberated and then see if it stays. Um, leads, leads, leads. Okay, got taken over. Looks like uh, that's the first city of um, uh, Japan to be taken down. He's going to move towards uh, London. That He's going to have a problem with uh, the... the rebellion though uh, he doesn't have enough um, uh, loyalty to actually keep these cities even if he actually puts uh, well that's minus 18 that's a nine pop city he's gonna get uh, london he might actually keep it if he gets london london is uh, putting a lot of loyalty here uh Tiritz is in a normal age we do have a dark age here for victoria mm -hmm. yeah that's maybe a problem um Oh, did you send it? No. <laughs> okay, we do have uh, some of the Japanese island class starting to move to the southwest and it looks like uh, Rome is realizing he might get uh, taken out especially with um, the drones uh, getting built over here in Spanish land he knows uh, he's not that far off from getting attacked with planes that is gonna be a no way out uh, we do need to see if uh, Maya is gonna get his uh, safety settled and yeah there we go it's moving to the northwest uh, and looking at his land over here we do have him with uh, tanks being upgraded in the Uxmal while uh, the French tanks are starting to get in there now we do have a packing shot uh, holding the line while um, the artilleries and uh, these uh, field cannons are getting into position now uh, there are artilleries in production it will take some time to finish them and also move them to the front line so they can start chewing on the city's strength uh, in the southeast uh, Japan is uh, building his own biplanes and it's going to take uh, some time to discover advanced flight. Oh no, it's actually two turns away from getting advanced flight. Uh, does he have aluminium? He only has two aluminium. I guess he just discovered aluminium. Does he have a tile of aluminium? Maybe? Improved? Maybe? Get lucky, bro? No? No luck? No luck. Oof. No aluminium. No aluminum num num. No aluminum num. Maybe it's underneath a tile and we don't see it. Uh, he does have only one per turn, so I doubt it. That's just the default that you get. Oh, Arsenios, you, you send me. Okay, there we go. No, no problem, sir. No problem. It's all good. Let me see. Uh, city states can build wonders. Hong Kong builds Petra. Ah. Oh, wait. But that's... Okay, interesting. This is what uh, Arsenius did uh, show us. Um, yes, I Okay, we do have uh, more military hardware coming out from uh, France here, and I do believe uh, England will lose another city really quickly here. Uh, battleships are starting to uh, siege London, and as you can see, they are tearing down those defenses. Uh, we do have uh, Leeds, uh, okay, rebelling in four turns. Uh, he's, 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 he does have a unit in the city, it's minus 12 uh, loyalty. That's still going to be a bit of a bummer. Just checking on something. Oh, oh, retweets, retweets. Uh, not for prayer, last uh, scene. I'm eager to hear. Oh, Werner Roth, good evening, sir. Hello, hello. 
Okay, so London's walls are down. We do have uh, that city just uh, a bit, a few um, moments away from getting taken out. I do need to send an email though really quickly because I'm going to forget. That's why I'm going to need to send it right now. Definitely going to forget. Oh, oh man, the timing on this. Um, steel walls go up in London just as uh, Japan was trying to take it over. Okay, there we go. Uh, outdated, uh, but still the best evidence we have seen yet. Yeah, I think so. Justice is uh, calling it out, and indeed, um, I do believe the battleship fleets uh, will still take a bit of time to take down London, which is a bummer because uh, Leeds might actually. Um, uh, flip back uh, it's, that city is still gonna go is still gonna fall uh, we do have also Rome oh my god Rome managing to push in through Spain defenses with um, Queen Asir of course he didn't just sit and take those um, aircraft kills he's gonna try to go for the counter attack over here on uh, the cities of uh, Spain if he does manage to push through Bilbao that's gonna be insane America does have uh, tank cores to use and it does look like uh, he got blocked over here from moving on the west side there is a French Queen Asir right on time to defend that one tile choke while uh, in the south uh, we do have some fights coming up from america two of these spanish uh, uh, biplanes are starting to deal the damage against the russian units a bit too far away though that's why russia did reposition back uh, they get they did get pushed back now we do need to see if uh, russia is going to manage to defend against this he does have a thousand military with uh, the ability to buy a lot of those uh, units with the uh, faith generation uh jokies good evening sir We do have uh, more calves coming off from uh, Rome. It looks like, yes, we do have uh, tanks uh, starting to do the damage. Rome is trying to get in on the airports and on the airdromes and, of course, uh, pillaging as many tiles as possible. Uh, Spain over here has uh, significant uh, problems uh, to defend and, of course, uh, keep his uh, lands intact, the tiles intact. Uh, I'm expecting, actually, Japan over here. There we go, to uh, hit with three units on the city of london it's extremely important to take down down take that city down uh, fast enough and you do see uh, he's uh, gonna need another turn to take it down while uh, he did put our money in the city of uh, leeds he's gonna try to keep the loyalty up as uh, much as possible we'll need to actually repair that monument i believe we got the uh, japan japanese of uh, fighter planes coming up to the north and they do, are gonna need to take down the mine units here uh, from um, the defenses we do have uh, also french tank armies uh, coming up in to fight with artilleries uh, artillery armies in tow i'm pretty sure these artilleries are going to start shooting soon and they will have the opportunity to take down even that the uh, governor victor defended city we do, we do need to uh, see what's going to happen in the next uh, turns uh, it does seem like we're going to have demon are staying in a golden age 136 out of 128 uh, sprague is uh, five points away from getting his uh, heroic with 11 out of 116 he's getting his guard imperial in two turns so uh, oh my god that's that's too late that's too late oh no can you get it next turn like can you no Oh man, that's one turn too late. He's also getting the banks, so he gets uh, his economy. 
And in the meantime, it looks like a JR did stabilize. Did it though? Did go down under very hard here. He's getting airports from multiple cities. He's trying to get the seaports going for an extra goal from the um, uh, water tiles. And I do see he is uh, gonna be in uh, Golden Age as well. 143 out of 125. Um, gotta be CC or clock soon. And well, we do need to see if uh, they will choose to do that. With uh, London going down, it is gonna be hard to come back. But uh, we do have uh, England actually going to the northwest. Uh, I guess the biggest problem is will Ma uh, will uh, Maya fall and what is their victory condition? If uh, they do manage to keep on getting those diplo points, uh, that might give them uh, some incentive to go on. Demonad is on 13 out of 20 diplo points. BSTR01 from a few minutes ago. What is the purpose of the rules around capturing and liberating city states? Uh, so the the biggest issue with capturing city states is um, uh, the fact that it's not balanced around the map you might have a player with more city states the city states are much easier to kill than the uh, normal player would defend and um, uh, for uh, somebody that uh, has three versus zero you can imagine the css are uh, gonna skew the um, uh, outcome of the game towards the guy that has more um, at the same time there are civilizations like germany that do have uh, extra damage points against them and uh, you can uh, imagine that is quite uh, tough to deal with um there is a, there was at some point votes going on and the players did uh, say that okay one city state is enough you know one for everybody not more just one why would you want to liberate city state for uh, three reasons you uh, oh and the liberate yes you do want to get the 100 influence points um you automatically become the citizen of the city state uh, getting some envoys in uh, and you get the useful um bonus yes and of course farming diplo points is not something that it should happen like diplo favor points london goes down london goes down we 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 london burning i don't see la table ronda winning the next one by the way i like the next congress there's so much deep of favor on um, uh, forever young now america has uh, multiple tankers managing to deal with the roman uh, aggression and that it should be fine russia is also putting some uh, tanks from the south uh, actually 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 managing to counterattack into america if he wants to he has um, tank armies 112 strength against these american rough riders of 97. okay how is this going observation balloons coming out from france he does have two of these artillery armies that should be able to shoot from three tiles away from the safety of that uh, river to keep on pounding on uxma Okay, so there we go. The French artilleries are starting to um, get in there. And Uxmal's defenses are going down. Surely, but uh, slowly, but surely. Uh, London cannot attack forward into Birmingham, though. He doesn't have uh, land units to use, but I believe he's going to get the planes if he does manage to chew through the defenses of uh, Maya faster. Now, he should be able to uh, do it. Only one fighter. That is very surprising. Usually, you do have a lot more. Oh, he's going bombers. Okay, he's going bomber heavy. He's going to try to uh, help out uh, France, break the defenses, uh, let France uh, deal with the units while he's going to break the cities makes sense makes sense uh we do have on the other side the uh, spain actually uh, getting a few more of these uh, biplanes no he oh he put the two biplanes here to stop any kind of aggression uh, japan can't go through this, these two tiles uh, of uh, being kept by the biplanes unless he actually settles no he he can't even settle a city here oh rip um 
with much pleasure but uh, just to say it's a balance issue some people get the city state lottery and it's just uh, depends on rg which is what you want to remove from a player versus player game yeah yeah you get it exactly Oh, actually, finally, Spriga got some more uh, science. Uh, he just went up 50 science to 173 uh, uh, with uh, 131. Looks like uh, now he went into another age. He's in a heroic. He and Demonar is in a golden age. We do have golden age for Tirits. They formed the coinage. They are starting to get back into the gold screen while uh, we don't have that much gold on the other side. Philip II did remain into his um, reform the coinage and Sprig did get two arms, heartbeat of steam and uh, reform the coinage. Perfect, um, perfect combination to go and uh, take down my cities. So at the moment there is a victory condition available for them and that is um, Spain getting that uh, Diplo victory. They need to keep Rome alive though, we'll see. Well, let's go autocracy. Quickly, wanna take a look. Uh, Japan has to uh, send a loaded aircraft carrier for the biplanes. Uh, yeah, he should. He should. I don't see one coming. Uh, the moment he's actually building those bombers uh, to deal with the uh, Maya. And I guess we're going to need to see if uh, he's uh, going to do anything about the West. Uh, he does know or he should know about the Spanish uh, defenses over here. Okay, Arankrad Armadas two, being two turns from Shizuoka. The bombers are starting to uh, be two turns as well. More airports. No, he does have a decent amount of uh, aluminum. Aluminum. Uh, JR also has aluminum with a lot of uh, that oil. I do see. Oh, actually, JR going planes. That's going to be quite good. But JR, is he going planes? I see an aerodrome here. So he is trying to get a hangar. I see another one here in Smolens, but he's uh, going to Oxford University there. No more gold on them at all, by the way. Sprig is also going for advanced flight. Okay, foreign culture victory. France is getting more. We got uh, Tirits on 14 out of 89. JR is on just 14 out of 89 as well. Didn't max that out at all. Uh, Ravenna is probably going to go down here with uh, the tanks uh, coming in. Finally, Rome actually got one of his own tanks. Um, and we do see him uh, putting it in the city. So he boosts that city thing to 106. Combined arms also coming up from uh, Tirits. We do need to see him uh, get the technology to actually get... Um, aircraft carriers now with the bombers he is managing to uh, deal the damage against uh, Maya much easily you see Uxmal did get taken down by France from the east side he's bringing military engineers to uh, get the connections uh, for the roads build the infrastructure so his uh, units move much faster through the land uh, looks like slowly slowly those artillery armies with the balloons are uh, tearing down the Mayan defenses 
Yeah, uh, we do have a bomber moving in uh, Nagano, moving in position, so he starts uh, dealing the war uh, the damage on the walls. Uh, you gotta take a look here. These are steel walls. It will take some time, but the bombers will definitely take them down uh, if they're uh, gonna couple their attacks. We do have uh, one, two, three upcoming bombers from these uh, cities, while um, Zanzibar is gonna work on getting more airports. Uh, that's a very good question how many diplo points we got uh, 17 out of 24 demonar and uh, looking at what's going on here it does seem like at the moment uh, la table ronde the french players do have more diplo favor because of course uh, forever young just uh, put everything they could into this <clears throat> Um, forever young yes they will try to play until the next world congress there are 20 more turns until the next world congress i don't want to quickly check what happened uh, lose as a uh, wildcard policy slot on communism victoria uh, did get uh, the new district sectors culture bombs and demon are just gained the two diplo victory points that is quite important america also putting more units against uh, ravenna against rome uh, we do have uh, defensive units to the south of las palmas while russia is bringing a lot of tank corps on the fight here on the map aerodromes coming off from um, the france is uh, gonna start ramping up the production of planes and we do need to see if um, any of them will manage to be taken down i'm not so convinced both maya and um who was it was it uh, england did get uh, safety settlers out in different locations actually maya has two of them moving around where is the where's the english one? Oh, there we go that's the there's the english one he's going for the aluminum tile Oh, they're trying to liberate London. Well, that's an issue. And next turn, London might fall. Who do be winning? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, the on one side we do have forever young three points away from getting the win on the other side we do have uh, uh every one of the la table ronde actually getting quite big uh, well except pompey because pompey has been in uh Irel war uh, from the beginning of the game but it's fine i mean he's uh he should be able to get a safety settler out he is getting a safety settler out he will stay alive just uh, to the south of uh, japan you do see there's a massive difference when it comes to the science and the culture of la table ronde versus uh, their opponents not to mention the production if you take a look at the yields over here we got sprig 481 we got the jr 419 and we do have tilts on 586 on this side vladimir is 165 sq is 80 and then we do have uh, two big guys there roy with 397 and demon Arno 392 um we're not sure that uh, la table ronde will win a uh, next congress no there's not uh, there, there are so many things that could happen so like for example london getting flipped and giving a hundred diplo favor to uh, um, forever young will give them an advantage uh, if they do manage to do that uh, that's gonna be awesome and it doesn't seem like at the moment japan can stop this from happening oh, well. i don't know why he didn't shoot the tank instead of the piking shot like the piking shot sure it's a unit you'd kill it but if you would have taken down the tank next time he would have been able to uh, uh, kill both tanks so you know it doesn't make sense uh sprig yes but he was still in um french team right he was on ulysse Yeah, there we go. London falls and gets taken back immediately, but not before it got flipped. That is an issue. That is a serious issue. Uh, 100 Diplo Favor just got uh, acquired, and uh, that's going to put him, put them at an advantage over here. Looking at the score screen, we do have uh, Roy with 163 Diplo Favor. And we're going to need to see if... Uh, the French players do manage to get enough Diplo Favor throughout the next era to manage to uh, counteract this. 
Uh, we do have uh, Copan getting uh, under attack here. The French units are uh, managing to push through, even through the piking shot uh, line. Uh, Maya is trying to build a few units to uh, be as uh, hard as possible to push through and to conquer. But with the uh, bombers coming into the fight here, the Copan has no chance of surviving. Uh, he did liberate. He did. He did. But it was so fast. It, it, oh, everything happened so fast. Uh, Wonder and CS was tested by Koga. C uh, CS keep wonders after being liberated. Contraya! We have an answer! We have an answer! Uh, Barsake also is uh, good evening, sir. First of all, hello there. Bonsoir, bonsoir. Uh, Barsake is telling us that La Table Ronde is a mix of Ulysses and Freritos. Oh, getting everyone the skills going. I see, I see. You know, it's the round table of the French players over there. I see scheming and getting good and the thing that I understand getting the fun in plus under the gun. Yeah, <laughs> plus under the gun. I see, I see how it is. You are mentoring under the gun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the biggest non French player, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, we do have uh, biplanes hangers uh, coming off from uh, Spain. I, uh, Spain does manage to get advanced flight next turn, and um, we do see we're 18, point, 18 turns away from the next whole Congress session. Mobilization also coming up in two from uh, Demonar, and uh, it, it looks like in the south over here. Um, we do have uh, Russia actually trying to push in through America's uh, defenses, forcing them to use more gold. Uh, now, it does seem like La Table Ronde destabilized the gold generation. Tirits is uh, growing um, bigger with uh, the science and the culture on the 390 and 280. Uh, we still have uh, this war raging, and uh, you do see that France uh, is managing to push through the defenses of Copan. Just got, uh, just uh, took a city, and uh, we do have all of that artillery moving forward. It's a bit surprising that we see so much artillery, especially how many, uh, no, knowing how many um, of these bombers did get built by Tirits. Of course, the the more bombers, the easier it is to take over cities. If you have uh, fastiness to uh, also help with that, it is uh, quite, um, I would say, uh, a good thing to have. Um, I want to see where the safety settlers out. So this one is going here. Where is he going? We don't know where is he going. This one? No, this is not a safety settler. There was another one. Oh, there are three of them. Okay, three settlers moving to the west. Mount Kilimanjaro, Tandra settle. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if it works, it works, man. If it works, it works. Uh, I sent you a screenshot if you want. Uh, will you send me a screenshot? Oh, you did? Give me a sec. Accept TM. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Oh, you went with Macedon. Massive Macedon. I see how it is. So everybody can see over here. Brussels did build a wonder. And it does look like uh, it did keep it after it got uh, liberated. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. Now, that's the value of testing over here. Yes, exactly. London might get liberated again. Oh no, they're actually allowing this to happen. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Well, we th we do have Japan with destroyed armadas there, and these are definitely going to put up a fight. We do have uh, those uh, battleships uh, also managing to deal uh, the damage against the tanks, and um, we 
do see he's getting the repair outer defenses now it's gonna be very hard to push through no it's fine it's fine actually he got it okay it's fine <laughs> yeah we do have uh, bombers also coming out from uh, spain do they have uh, how much is that how long is this what is it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen times okay he doesn't have jet bombers so at least that Okay, Kopal is going down, Yaks Chilan is gonna also fall, Wap Kamnal is getting attacked here by multiple artilleries and uh, slowly losing its uh, strength. Uh, you do see the tank armies are about to be um, rolling in through that city center and they're starting to deal the damage against the Pagans that around it. And I'm actually quite surprised uh, we didn't see one tank move in. Uh, anyway, helicopters are also coming up from France. Uh, we still have uh, two bombers over here in the north. Uh, there is an aircraft carrier getting uh, one turned by Shizuoka. And uh, another one actually moved to the south. Another one getting built in Takamatsu. is uh, going to bring all of that military to bear against uh, Spain. And that's their plan. The biggest issue is the time that he needs to get here. And uh, I guess that's actually the biggest challenge of the game here. We do have the aircraft carriers with eight movement. Uh, it will take them uh, eight turns just to get there. That's not counting how much time uh, the, those planes do need to uh, reposition to the aircraft carriers and so and get built and so on and so forth so i'm not so sure this is uh, gonna be enough time we got 16 turns until the next world congress session if they manage to do to get there and maybe this is the reason he's actually going so crazy with so many aircraft carriers an aircraft carrier can carry two of these planes right so uh, he's gonna need a lot of them to totally demolish france in one go especially dealing with uh, the fighters in uh, the chokes and then moving forward towards uh, the main cities uh, in the same turn or at least close to the same turn um well let's see if our server then yeah Okay, London getting another repair router defense um, uh, finished in uh, that city center. That's going to put him at full strength, or it should be very close to full strength. Uh, we should have... Oh, it got shot and it got... Uh, never mind. That's... Well, that's a bummer. Uh, Japan... Uh, is still gonna keep that city because it has a way too much strength for these tanks to push through. Without artillery, without bombers, it's gonna be very hard. Uh, another city is, has fallen, another capital has fallen. France just uh, took over Wap Capital, the capital city of Maya. Uh, this is actually one of the few times we see Maya fall like this. Uh, Yax Chilan is uh, also getting uh, taken over by uh, Japanese uh, camps, and uh, we do have uh, the next uh, cities coming up. Four more from the main ones, while uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a few um, uh, of these uh, cities uh, getting settled in out of the. Um, Oh, I see jet bombers. Jet bombers. Okay, one got moved there. That's a bomber. We do have a fighter coming up from uh, Tokyo. Do, does he? Yes, he, there is another one here. A bomber also is here. Uh, jet bomber upgraded. Jet bomber getting built. Takamatsu getting another aircraft carrier. And of course, uh, he, they're going to try to load these planes as uh, fast as they get there. There we go. Just got uh, two fighters. I gotta say another thing, uh, Spain cannot upgrade these uh, biplanes into fighters because uh, they are out of its borders. He does have fighters to work with here in Las Palmas, but he's going to need to be careful how he deals with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that when the fighters of Japan will get here, they will be quite strong against them. Tidio, good evening. Hello. Bonsoir, monsieur. Uh, no, I'm French. No need to find again. game. Okay. You are old? Come on. What is this making him more like that? I'm old too. How is this possible? No. Uh, 
Uh, thanks everyone can find it there whether they speak French. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good question. Wait, French players are speaking French on the CVFR server? Uh oh. Uh oh. Text to speech maybe? Google Translate, let's go. Uh, salty capybara good and up and hello ma'am how are you doing i heard you have been playing a lot of victoria 3 lately you got so much good content of that very nice very nice huh oh you're talking about the posting of that screenshot i see i see yeah We do have uh, friends also moving towards the north here. Um, uh, thank you so much for the follow, by the way, Litoxa. Welcome, say, welcome. Um, I have my driving. There is uh, another millenary. Oh, your driving license. Okay. Oh my god, that reminds me. I need to renew. Uh, we do have uh, friends also moving in towards uh, TKL and Koba at the same time. Looks like uh, he's uh, ending up finding a few of these mine uh, tanks, but not really dying to them. Uh, we do see, or actually, yeah, there's not that much fighting being done there. It's just a total takeover of the enemy empire. Uh, we do have aircraft carriers coming up from Takamatsu moving towards the west. The three of them did get fully loaded. This is going to benefit from a jet bomber. Another one just got repositioned over there. And um, we're going to need to see them arrive over here. I'm actually curious. Is he going to put them here in the Bay of uh, Kume in London and then uh, start shooting... <coughs> the Spanish cities uh, because we do have uh, bombers coming up over here so they can shoot down London it's gonna take a while until they go through that 11 111 strength with uh, just the bomber attacking into it I'm also pretty sure uh, Spain is gonna need to defend his south of pretty soon here especially with uh, russia trying to push in through the american defenses uh, he did lose uh, one of the positions over here while america is going to need to uh, build a new units he's getting more tank courts he's getting half armies out of uh, multiple cities and uh, looking at the economy over here we do have uh, roy keeping ahead with 29 and we do have him on 400 production uh, 200 science and 122 culture though Remember, this is um, turn, uh, 14 turns away from a possible victory of Forever Young. If they do manage to get that f last uh, vote in, the Diplo victory will pass on 20 out of 20. We're now at 17 out of 20 points, and this is just going to go crazy. Crazy, crazy. Uh, is saying, did you... Uh, did you... I posted a screenshot on CVFR do you remember how is culture victory looking for uh, tirits mm, that's a very good question but i don't think that's uh, yeah it's only 17 out of 104 it didn't quite go crazy with it uh, 123 tourism on uh, russia and we do have uh, tirits on 161 they will need a lot more if they want to push through uh, the defenses of uh, demona oh tell me if you knew okay tell me if you know okay thank you thank you eh? let me see Well, we do have uh, some tanks also from Maya getting repositioned over here to the west side since he is losing his territory. There's uh, not much that he can do to defend this. El Mirador is going to fall soon. And of course, all of that army from France is going to keep on moving towards uh, the, Eng the English borders and even Arma going through all of these cities towards the um, west side. Uh, we don't need to see if it's going to be fast enough though and of, of course it's all up to Tirits and um, at the same time JR I would say JR's aggression from the south will uh, play a crucial role over here of um, uh, keeping Spain from getting to that uh, Diplo victory uh, unfortunately for him uh, Spain does have multiple fighters in the south here and uh, with the two biplanes uh, keeping the choke points in the south that is going to be quite a problem and that's why uh, we do have uh, Japan uh, actually coming in with uh, those uh, aircraft carriers. He has uh, three of them fully loaded with uh, fighters and uh, jet bombers. Very, very, very good. The biggest issue is, okay, why is he not moving faster here? 
definitely need to move as fast as possible. Doesn't have time to linger. Or do they not know about this, Kalakmul? Oh! Francis getting it. He might actually get a city here. He might get a... Well, I guess uh, Vladimir is gonna spam B. Spam B! Spam B to win! Uh... Oh, you're talking about the um, testing of this um, wonder if it actually stays on the city state or it doesn't stay on the city state? No, no, I understand. I understand. It's uh, been it's a less. It's a uh, it's true that you that you can't keep a wonder. You can't build a wonder that won't uh, uh, capture CS. Uh, And it keeps it after. Okay. Uh, cinema battleships and destroyers being unable to pass through the pipeline is kind of stupid, though. Well, I mean, yes and no. Wait, where are those coming from? Where are the jet bombers coming from? Oh, I see. Actually, Russia did get jet bombers of his own. He's going to start te tearing down Las Palmas anyway, going through the fighter defense quite easily. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did Francis snag that man a settler? You make big progress in France. Yes, thank you. And no, he did not. Sprig actually getting a bit too late there. He didn't have the vision on the settler and Vladimir just kept on going with it. Moving on. Moving on, boys. Uh, we do have uh, uh, Sprig managing to take over the last three, three remaining cities over here of the, of, of the, of the um, Mayan early empire. Uh, we do have um, yeah, those... Uh, Aircraft carriers also moving to the west side here. Uh, one of the fighters did get repositioned in uh, London to help with the defense. And it does look like that one bomber could not actually manage to breach through the defenses of London. Especially with the uh, destroyer armada in there. I'm pretty sure the bomber is extremely low HP right now. The destroyer armada does benefit from very strong air anti-air defense. Uh, testing whether the city state keeps the wonder after it was confirmed that the city state does keep the wonder. Yeah, it, it, it was indeed confirmed. We do have more bombers coming on, uh, coming out from Demonar, and this uh, actually will um, will be a mistake because uh, those uh, he will need actually fighters to uh, keep out those other bombers of his opponent here, and with um, a lot of units coming out from Russia, he would need the fighters to also block the Russian uh, units and delete them, or I mean attack into them. Uh, he is uh, benefiting from a lot of these uh, tanks of America trying to uh, defend his uh, city. And, uh, it will take a little bit of time for Russia to move in. I'm pretty sure also Russia will probably try to uh, triple attack, triple slam this American tank core in front of uh, Las Palmas so he can deal enough damage so he can take it next turn. Yeah, let's see. Is he gonna do that? Bam, bam, boom. Got in. Next to Las Palmas. Las Palmas is one point one turn away from getting attacked, especially with um, those uh, jet bombers. He should be able to take down the full strength of the city so he can walk in with the tank and uh, fully take it over. We got multiple fighters coming in from the north and uh, I guess this is gonna be a question if uh, the fighters will get to attack first into these uh, tanks and uh, America get the position back. And yes, there we go. The tanks come in. We got a new tank going in. Looks like um, it's not giving up. And new tank going in. Okay going in full strength oh he repaired the walls that was fast he got steel walls that turn oh my god oh my god uh poor rome it's dying but really made a beautiful defense between two opponents yeah i mean rome is he dying actually is i mean honestly he does have a city over here and we do have what what is this doing with the aircraft kit at all I guess he's upgrading more jet bombers, but can he hit? Wait, 
So, jet bombers, jet bombers, jet bombers everywhere, right? Do we have... He's going for nuclear fission. He has 11 turns to go. And, uh, I mean, nuclear fission is 3 turns. Did he finish nuclear fission or not? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to need at least 4 or 5 turns to go for uh, Manhattan Project. Or if not, 6 turns. And then, actually, building a nuke is going to be like another 3. And then, actually, delivering the nuke. It's going to pose a challenge here, uh, going against uh, what they can do, domination. They could try domination, uh, but they can't get to Washington. Like, that might be all for nothing. Russia, Rome, Japan, Spain and England were on the same sea. Yeah, yeah England got taken out. England got pushed out of the, sea, of the seas there. How are the uh, favors looking? Good question, CC Pyro. Uh, we got... Oh, okay. Doesn't look like they're gonna get the last one, honestly. Like the last vote. Diplo favor looks very strong on uh, La Table Ronda. 277, 217, 258, and 286. Uh, so if they do manage to get the minus two on them, and I guess the... The best scenario that Demonar can hope for is to try to get uh, one point out of this World Congress. That's it. Uh, then he minuses himself, and then uh, he goes for the mine. Uh, he manages to think what they're gonna, what his opponents are gonna do, and minus with them, or go with them. That's it. well, win the other two with the minus two, with and the plus three, you get one. But uh, yeah, that is a problem here. That is a problem. We'll see if uh, he actually manages to do that. Uh, of course, with uh, Japan actually getting in there, uh, he's not that far away from uh, getting all of those um, aircraft carriers in position to start attacking the units of Spain. And it does seem like he's uh, directly attacking the American units now. Uh, and keeping uh, Rome alive as much as possible. There we go. One tank goes down and uh, America has a lot of helicopters that he can still use. Uh, we do have Japanese uh, fight. Oh, oh, he's tearing down the English territory. Okay, he's they're taking everything here. This is okay. They're taking everything. They're just not give, giving an inch. French helicopter course coming in. He does have the opportunity to actually take down Hull. Uh, we do have more uh, fighters being deployed and uh, attacking the city of uh, Hull here. Uh, units within the air should be allowed to pass through the tiles of enemy. You know, otherwise, uh, you know, choking with planes is too powerful. I do tend to agree that, uh, especially when you haven't here, you should be able to um, uh, do some damage on the place or try to get in there. No, uh, yeah. Like a tank with an anti-air gun should be able to uh, trade punches with the planes. But of course not the tank actually dealing the damage, the anti-air gun dealing the damage, the major damage. Uh, deserting good evening sir let's hope for the better uh, naval air unit in civ 7 yeah i can't wait to see actually what kind of uh, units we're gonna have in civ 7 or even la house if someone is gonna look like are, are they gonna try to use something like um, beyond earth are they, you know like beyond earth coupled with governor mechanics coupled with uh, bbg coupled with uh, maybe some multiplayer uh, shenanigans some you know something something over there oh man oh man uh, the c4 globe I, I don't know what that means actually the globe
There are so many ideas that they could uh, use. I'm also not sure about the Civ 3 Palace. I totally forgot about what the Civ 3 Palace is. Oh, makes the capital city and center of your empire. It eliminates corruption, waste, and uh, and decreases it in nearby cities. Uh huh. I see. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, is out of discussion already, or did they contact Civil Obviously, by any means? Yeah, uh, they did not. Uh, we, um, so the only contact I had with um, uh, Phyrexis was through the Civ Give, and uh, they, of, uh, as you've seen on the, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the Civ Give, but uh, they did uh, realize the potential of multiplayer. But that's a different thing from actually wanting to um, uh, go full into it, because uh, you do have to. Um, well design the game around it uh, now a big chunk a majority of uh, the players are still uh, very 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 into the single player aspect of the game the more laid back uh, i build wonders kind of stuff simming later on and taking out allies uh, uh, taking out ais i mean uh, rather than anything else so uh, but i do believe especially since uh, we've seen um, um we've seen them um like we heard them actually say like they really like how amazing it is to see the game being played from multiple perspectives of multiple players you know like you you got like 10 people in a game 12 people in a game and you can see it from different perspectives you can watch how they move you can uh, take in their opinions we, you can um, see how they adapt to each situation and so on and so forth that is amazing and there are people and people, Peter Pan. You can't count these out. Like you gotta respect their opinions. You gotta respect their uh, their needs and wants. And that is one uh, one thing that these companies, more than one company, I'm talking in general, the gaming community, um, do tend to uh, look at. What does the majority want? And if the majority wants to go one way or the other, they will follow. Um, and of course, they will try to um, find that niche in which it does address their issues with. Um, with the community uh, i mean we'll see i understand they were um, there were quite a few uh, job openings on uh, multiple webs on the websites uh, uh, that were related to internet for example um, like networking and so on and so forth and uh, development for the upcoming game so i, I do believe that they are hiring people, they are uh, trying to deal, solve with the issues, and I'm sure they are aware of this. But you can't really fix the internet. I, I gotta point this out, guys. We're, we're forcing as much as possible to play a game on multiple continents, and we want this. I know there's so much passion. I want this also. Don't get me wrong. I want this also. So I we're forcing to play with each other from and to be able to have a stable game from multiple sides of the planet on the internet uh, infrastructure of now there's there are things happening that are outside of the control of uh, us steam them and so on and so forth you know like mm, mm. And playing whenever you want, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, come on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. Uh, the software doesn't need to crash and burn if there's a network drop. True, true, but a lot of the even a lot of the other um, uh, games do boot you out when it's uh, when it's a problem so it i have seen this in all of the major titles like uh, and league of legends valorant dota 2 csgo um, escape from tarkov the last one and so on like if escape from tarkov even has like a upper limit of ping it boots you out of the server if you have like more than 150 ms but that's for other reasons that's for like Ping pushing, it's called. So I, all of them actually have this problem. The only way they managed to solve this in this, at the moment, in this uh, network environment is to get on a LAN. 
yeah not not just games and I, yeah true anyway we'll see like I, i'm not that much of a specialist i just see what uh how to say uh what has been done what has been happening and what uh, is being tried out we're going to need to see if what is tried out is actually going to give us uh, the result we want <laughs> you're getting PTSD from last Friday <laughs> kicked up yeah uh, by the way a lot of cities have been uh, taken down looks like London is liberated again America did go in with um, Oh my god, by the way, Daddy did manage to get uh, 380 Diplo favor. Uh, Sprig did give away his favor because he keeps one uh, thing to keep uh, city states for himself. He is uh, going towards the northwest there with uh, the air uh, aircraft carriers with the uh, French armies, artilleries, okay, moving forward. Uh, we do need to see if those aircraft carriers are starting to get into position. The Japanese uh, fighters have been uh, deployed and they can two-shot quite easily the Spanish uh, biplanes, even one-shot them if uh, push comes to shove, if they do get lucky here. We do need to see how fast uh, Japan can actually move those aircraft carriers in position for the jet bombers to start attacking the cities of uh, Spain and go through them. Uh, now, uh, Russia could not manage to breach the defenses of Las Palmas. And there we go. That's one biplane goes down about to get another one uh, Japan did immediately put um, destroyer armada there there we go that's another one going down uh, we do have uh, Japan moving in and with the destroyer armada sees one shutting these um, almost one shutting the units of Spain um, did it, did it, especially working software those companies make a huge investment in network engineering yeah they do but they don't always have uh, problems with uh, this real-time synchronizing. I mean, they they will have always problems with real-time synchronizing and they don't usually need the connection of uh, so many things. And now, I guess it's a, a, a big question of how you want to invest and how many, how does it, how much does it cost, right? At the end of the day, if it does cost significant a significant portion of your income you're just not going to invest in it is it worth for us i'm sure it's worth for them i don't know these are costs and ideas and um i would say infrastructure that we're not that aware of Uh, carriers with planes had to come to counter just two biplane chokes yes and also the um, upcoming uh, jet fighters that will need to uh, uh, deal with uh, all of the spanish defenses uh, london is going down again this might be a mistake actually uh, uh, japan should uh, abstain himself from taking down london again um, i don't think they want to give another dip uh, 100 diplo favor to uh, their opponents especially since now they are quite close to each other i think they're actually very close to each other they might even lose the world congress oh my god they might even lose the world congress there's i don't think there's a possibility for them to get washington looks like uh, russia is trying to get the tank army over there uh, he does have uh, multiple jet bombers here uh, don't think is that in range is that even in range oh they're trying to liberate the buenos aires that's what they're doing okay okay so that that might be a good thing liberating buenos aires yes yes i can totally see that happening yes yeah i agree linda i agree that's the problem right it's uh, how much do you get the multiple is a big selling point for uh, planes yes but it does depend on how much you need to invest in it like if, if it takes a significant portion of your uh, income out and your development for other games you might want to think again of the risks and i'm not so sure uh, the extra income is worth it i mean I, I don't know from my point of view i would love more multiplayer do you see me trying it every day right you see me streaming it you see me advertising it because this is what happens right when i'm streaming something like this i'm trying to advertise uh, the idea and um, make people like the multiplayer scene and uh, try to um, show them this and this and that uh, uh, is um, is an option at the end of the day 
it's not my call to uh, get the direction to set the direction their direction now we do have more aerodromes coming off from uh, Madrid over here it looks like uh, or it's also coming off from Barcelona raised no hesitation yeah yeah they, they needed to uh, keep that out of course with the japanese uh, fighters coming around uh, we do have uh, spanish uh, defenses that need to go go down here russia is uh, trying to get next to buenos aires as soon as possible and uh, we do see america is defending that with all of his um, defenses uh, that is a bit of a problem here it will um, take a while for the jet bombers and the fighters to chew through the defenses of uh, the helicopters and so on uh, to actually make an attack on buenos aires now it might not happen to actually uh Oh man, what do we have here? 11.66 Whoa, okay How much uh, Diplo favor are they making per turn? Because at this point, it's just so... Problematic to get that Diplo favor going they, 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 A lot of them do have industrial zones A lot of them do have uh, coal power plants uh, raging on yeah, minus Diplo favor, yeah, the CO2. Exactly. Okay, that tank, bro. Oh, JR is uh, watching that tank like a hawk. He wants to get in there. <laughs> yeah, they, they need one way. They need one way to get in that uh, Buenos Aires city to liberate it. And of course, I'm pretty sure uh, America is going to be on the buttons there to try to... Um, stop that from happening uh, we do have uh, valencia also getting attacked here uh, looks like the jet bombers are starting to deal the damage there uh, the fighters of japan are uh, getting uh, to attack the spanish units or did get to attack the spanish units until they couldn't anymore i would uh, love to for them to be deployed over here in the puteoli to get upgraded into jet fighters though that would uh, make them a bit more capable of dealing with the fighters uh, we do have uh, the units of uh, France uh, getting in here to the Spanish uh, defenses. The um, airstrip that was built is still housing three aircrafts, so one of them being a fighter, and uh, it does seem uh, two of them actually being a fighter, and it does seem that's uh, how they actually took out uh, London. They're gonna try to take out Leeds as well, slowly chewing through the defenses, uh, but it looks like it's gonna take a little bit while a little while longer, while uh, France is gonna put up a defenses screen for that uh, not to happen now five more turns until the next world congress session we do have in the score screen i gotta say more diplo favor now on uh, on um, forever young that those two liberations of london cost them the game like it it might be it just might be they lost the game because of those two liberations wow is Maya dead next turn uh no no he has kalagmul and chikanitsa he has two cities right mm. and then uh, liver and another one here actually he has another one here look at the yeah yeah they're they're only on uh pompey they gave it all away from pompey yeah that's the problem, right? They're not doing anymore. Well, they're doing actually. They're doing, but very little. I, I see they're doing some, but very little. And they're afraid to lose that advantage they're getting. Okay, let's see if this is going to happen. Do we have nukes, by the way? 
Uh, World Department, no. Uh, military Academy, no, no, no. No nukes in production. Nukes here. Three times for nukes. That's ooh, too late. Ixapa did get settled. England also settled another the city there. Uh, Kalakmul got taken over and we do have uh, French helicopters moving forward. Uh, two jet bombers are going to be able to uh, take down Chicken Itza, but you do see Ixapa is um, settled. So he did manage to get in. Oh, Madrid actually uh, might go down. And the city to the south of Madrid did go down. Okay, we do have a Rome tank that can try to get in there. He's going to need to last move, first move there to uh, get into the city of uh, Madrid. What they can they get to Washington? <gasps> That's what they're trying. They're going for it. They're trying to do the diplo. It, it can they? Where where's the where are the bombers? They need to start hitting Washington. And I, th I believe they're too far away from hitting Washington, aren't they? Aren't they too far away from hitting Washington? Like they can definitely take it with a helicopter, right? If they get the city down enough. But can they... Okay, they know what's going on. France has a spider. Oh man, oh man. Big questions, big question. The biggest question of them all, can they get there? Cause it's only three turns, that's it. Three turns and that's it. A chicken itza can be taken down with uh, these jet bombers, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the French uh, unit can take it over. The biggest problem is Washington. Can they take over Washington? Cause Madrid is also, able to be taken down. Oh, oh, they can start hitting it. I just saw something hit it. And another one. Okay, so they can hit it. Okay, jet bombers are hitting it. Now, can they hit it low enough for it to be taken down? Uh, no, I still have to have more diplo than uh, by Congress. Okay, that's uh, good information. Are you sure? Because it, it it looks like they have what thirteen hundred. Is the Madrid safe because of the planes? Uh, Madrid, Madrid, which planes? Madrid is like one turn away from getting uh, taken down the bomber is just gonna shoot once and... wait where is that guy shooting at is it shooting washington like the jet bombers two turns they have two turns to take out the strength Oh, you you saw the military. You thought the military engineers are uh, uh, planes, or the bombers is actually a plane and deployed. Yeah, it, they're not. It's like wide open. Uh, he does have a few planes here, but he's not. For some reason, he's not uh, repositioning them. Uh, he has been trying to get uh, leads back. Oh, he got leads back. Oh my God, he got leads back. Uh, that's another diplo, uh, hundred diplo favor. It's unbelievable. They got. 300 diplo favor out of those uh, cities yeah 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 so their only chance is to take down washington is there gonna be enough damage dealt to washington i don't know
16 tiles between the coast. It's it's gonna be close. Yeah, it'll be close, very close. Uh, wow. Okay. I mean, this is fitting for the final, right? They're so close to each other, right here. Okay, let's see the planes. This is where it stands. This is where it stands or falls. Oh, it's upper. It's also going down. Oh, they don't see this? I don't think they have vision over this. That's a one turn away from getting there. Like, immediately when the city goes low enough, that's gonna go there. And JR putting units in the south is gonna force America to put units to defend this. Maybe, maybe allowing the north to be to be taken out. Ixapa and Chikanitsa need to be taken down as well. Looks like the bombers are uh, doing quite a fast uh, attack there. Oh, Maya might fall next turn. Helicopters need to move. We got uh, Rome positioning uh, to take down Madrid next turn. <laughs> I think they have a serious issue with uh, <laughs> how much time they need to move. There we go. There we go. He moved here. Now Ixapa is going to die. Uh, Chikanitsa is going to die. That's the last remaining Mayan city. Those are the last remaining Mayan cities. And it's 110 before the Congress. Yeah, Maya is dead next turn. Yeah, they lose the deploy if Maya... Yeah, exactly. This, it, that's it. Okay, one. So, one city got taken down. Chicken Itza should be next. There we go. Bombed first time. Now it goes in. Boom. That's one player taken down. That's Vladimir going poof. And is that a GG? Or do they need to take down Washington? Do they have enough strength to take down Washington? Yeah, that's the GG. That is the GG. They managed to take out uh, Maya and that's it. So amazing, amazing. They were one turn away from getting this Diplo victory on one side. Forever Young was this, this close to getting there. Uh, they were about to be taken out uh, also. Uh, in the turn thereafter, um, the capital city of uh, Washington was about to be taken down. We did have um, the Spanish capital also about to be taken down. While, uh, wow, so many, so much effort actually went into this. Now, La Tabla Ronda managed to knew exactly how many units they need and exactly where to push to get this victory right on time. It came down to only one turn and a few points. Unbelievable. And we did also have... Um, um, 
Uh, throughout the game quite a few um, uh, defenses and attacks coming up from Rome amazing performance over there I can't stress this enough uh, I don't think there was that much that Vladimir could have done in this case uh, he had three safety setters moving out and forward and forward and forward further away from his opponent um, and he still got um, hunted down and of course um, uh, taken down by the last remaining choices unbelievable GG well played to both teams. La Tabla Ronde wins this series with a 2-0 different win against their opponents. We're going to need to see what they say over here. We're going to need to hear and see what they say. I don't want to um, uh, go for the post game one. There we go. Oh, good evening, Kacheshka. Good evening, Michael. Man, oh man, this game. This yeah. game, bro. I, I completely was unaware that they taking last Mayan city a little. Yeah, I mean, they were about to win domination anyway, like if Diplo didn't yeah. go in. Yeah. Oh, they tried. They tried to take it and Washington remain alive. Wow. Yeah, yeah but uh, unlucky. <laughs> unlucky, right? Unlucky. Oh my god, I mean, man. If we, if, we don't kill, if we don't kill Maya, we lose the game. <laughs> I know, I know. It was so close. Are you sure you can lose this? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I lose. mean, we lose on uh, we lose on Diplo. Yeah, they had more. Yeah, they had more. Favor. Washington, oh, they uh, have more Diplo favor. Oh. I guess yeah, because it's yeah, uh, for the. Uh, and one, Washington one doesn't die because it's pretty uh, low hold. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sorry for the beginning. I can't answer for. Uh, in oh, what, it's funny. It's the, okay. the message. I was talking with uh, the admins and I was giving them the pictures and so on, and that's why. Look at GG. GG. So close. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah. Wow. Wow. What was the, the plan over here with the Diplo, with Rome, with like, how were you trying to approach this? Uh, for Ever Young, of course. I want to ask. <laughs> Timon? Uh, Roy? We lost uh, our two the city states and we saw that our sim is much worse and we thought only option is diplo and we went for it okay it's very close we won yeah one turn half a turn oh wait looks like you're... yes but yeah. wait, did this heli last helicopter, did that shift enter or not? Which one? The one no, no, in the no, sea. No. First move, first move. First move, first move. Yeah, because I move, actually okay. selected my plane, I clicked on the water, but it was on the on the land at that point, and while I was clicking on the land, you captured the city. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, well, the UI close. for uh, selecting uh, planes is just awful. You know where when your scout uh, when your scout uh, came to pillage my site, I almost uh, rage quitted the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> man, man, I had the worst spawn ever, and uh, you you double pillage my site. I wanted to. It was a sassy holy site. Uh, worst yeah, spawn with uh, Torres. What do you mean, man? My spawn is so shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I lose, I lose free pop uh, from flood from uh, on Solum City, like turn twenty five. <laughs> uh, very nice game. Yeah, wrong, <laughs> wrong positioning did so much against us. Both Spain and England was kind of raw because of that. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I was so far of you, and uh, I was like, okay, I will, I will do things uh, with my horses, and then I see. It. 10 turns to, to come uh, next to your cities with like, meh. Yeah. I mean, you blocked uh, a lot of my settles and just my game was shit because of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that would, that's the I'm only also... thing I needed to do. And uh, just uh, you, putting unit uh, in your lands to be edge and uh, forcing yeah, your position out. That, like, oh, 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 actually, it felt like you had double my production at the round turn, like you started spamming uh, Corsairs and Knights. Yeah, I, I, I had a plus six, uh, plus six uh, in the square zone and uh, plus four on, uh, on B1, B2, B1, B3, and uh, 
Yeah, I didn't have like a third to to tile in my cap for the longest time. Just yeah, same fall. shit. I can't, I can't settle uh, above Kuma because uh, there is uh, two one tiles. Made a big mistake with my yeah, like... B two cho choice actually. But uh, I was tempted by two three two bananas, and then there was actually n nothing else to work. Yeah. And uh, th 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 on the 45 or uh, 50, I would like uh, 50 production capital, so... Yeah, I no, think our I season, uh, Our season went uh, pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I had 25 maybe. Yeah, those attacks that uh, you did on England and uh, Spain, oh my god. You kept them on their toes. On their toes In, uh, they first move me uh, three units before I can play, so I got the edge. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm host. I'm hosting. I'm being first moved by everyone. Uh, <laughs> nice, very nice. Yeah. How much gold did they pillage, actually? Oh, a lot. Uh, I saw it. I mean, we <laughs> were needed. I was a bit negative. We <laughs> pillaged a lot. For like, for like 10 turns, we were negative gold in the team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was your only in common, it was your only chance to get any uh, good units. So. Yeah, I it. it was nice. Yeah, one. thanks. <clears throat> okay, we, we blame Vladimir for not escaping <laughs> properly. Sure, <laughs> he, he did make right. three escape settlers, man. <laughs> I don't think he had uh, anywhere to run anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it, it, it's, it was the last game, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. JJ, congrats on the win. No, my uh, my game started so good because I am settled on the another continent. So I got uh, my red cause. Uh, yeah. And I got ancestral in my escape city, and my game just started for England. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, JJ, yes. JJ. JJ. Yeah. JJ, well played. What do we win? <laughs> That's uh, a good respect. question. <laughs> respect. respect. Yeah. So I think there is a, a small monetary price, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure. Uh, the How CWC has now a monetary price. Uh, CPL Premier, we're still working. Uh, oh, the CCCs, okay. we're, we did, uh, as far as I know, we're going to focus on the CCCs because it's coming. No, in may, maybe I confused the, the, the CCC, sorry for misinformation. Okay. I'll try to send so you my paper. Where? Wait, 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 wait a second. Is there any price on any tournaments here? On CWC, yes. There's uh, 500 okay. uh, euros. Okay. I'll uh, yes. uh, what, 500 dollars. euros? I can live yes. a year with that money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, joking, joking. Michael, Michael. Yes. Uh, do we at least have uh, like a Discord uh, tag? Discord tag. That's a good question. We need to work on that. Yes. We need to work on that. Okay, okay. Like uh, CPL uh, Division 1 champion or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See you around, guys. Uh, Goodbye. See you. Okay. Have a good evening. Bye. Good night, boys. That's Thank a very you. good suggestion. Well, well did you good night? Uh, did you uh, good night? Good night. Bye bye. Now, uh, there we have it. We uh, heard from uh, both teams. We did hear uh, their opinions. We did also see um, uh, JR over there quite uh, unhappy with his uh, early spawn. I, I, it wasn't amazing, but he didn't make it work. He did. He was complaining, but man, he had some very good stats during the game. Uh, I do hope uh, we're also going to see uh, them in the next um, uh, in the next games. We're going to need to see what's going to happen uh, in the CWC this weekend. Yeah, the games are starting to, um, I would say, appear on the website. If you saw the Civ6 Civ World Cup dot com website, you can actually see over there uh, what's uh, going on and how. Um uh, things are progressing. Uh, we do have uh, the casters actually um, uh, getting aside right now, and we're going to need to uh, check out uh, how everything is um, uh, going to go through the weekend. So, have a good evening, guys, and I do hope uh, we're going to see each other in the next stream. Uh, if you want to take a look at my schedule, you can also uh, you can always. Um, and join me on Discord on exclamation my Discord in the chat or um, uh, on um, uh, the Discord on the YouTube stream down below on the YouTube uh, sorry um, 
description down below um if you uh, did come from uh, youtube i uh, thank you for so much for uh, coming here and i do hope you're gonna throw this video a thumbs up and we're gonna see each other on the live stream on twitch.tv slash on spot tv that's where we get to interact with each other much easier than uh, on youtube thank you so much guys uh, for everything and um, for the followers for the um, for the subs it does uh, help me out uh, so much uh, and uh, i do try as much as possible to um, put as much as i can back into the community have a good evening and um, have a good night bon soir oh bon nuit mal hello hello sir uh, have a good evening guys bye bye bye